Twitter. It's a 140 character blog site, so you can put in a, a message any time of day or night, and people can follow you. But you're limited to 140 characters. Yeah, so you can't babble. You got to make it quick and easy. Yeah. You know, with just dumb little updates, and uh, your followers uh, get your updates. But 140 characters? How many words is that? That's uh, very small. It's uh, it's it's smart. a mere paragraph, my friend. So it's more like you know, hey. This is Jim. I'm about to go on stage at the Brigada. I just do the phone thing. I just do. Yeah, so my phone. you know, it's 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 pretty much what you're doing with the phone and, and stuff like that. Yeah. But if you want to find me, Opie Radio, one word on uh, Twitter.com. As we say hi to Patrice O'Neill. Good morning. How are you, sir? Not bad. I wanted you to sleep in a little bit. <clears throat> Why well, not all the way? Huh? Sleeping the entire day. Well, with, I like doing radio with you. It seemed like a, a lot more white people in the streets today. Some type of solidarity. I thought it was a day off. Yeah. All the black people. Interesting. All the black people went south. I haven't, I'm the only black boy I've seen on the streets. Not even a cop. Well, no surprise that Anthony took MLK Day off. Of course. <laughs> like, King I got a nice got... case of disrespecting black people. He's making a statement today, trust me. Oh, he'll say he was sick or something, but I got the call. I'm like, of course he's going to be sick today. He, Racist AIDS. He is being respectful. I think that we should be off today. It's yeah. a national holiday. And uh, and he's taking the day off in honor of uh, of Dr. Shape. Yeah, yeah. We did try to take today off. So is he either, it really is, either he's disrespectful or you two are disrespectful? Hell, honestly, I'll tell you. We wanted to take the day off because, you know, a day off is... Who who doesn't want a day Please, off? I take off. Uh, yeah, I would take off. And stump brain. What do they say? I mean, this MLK when it first started was sort of a holiday, but now it's pretty much a solid holiday. You look like an idiot if you if you make your employees work today. Yeah, and a lot of companies give you the choice of MLK Day or President's Day. Yeah. And we had just come back from a vacation, <laughs> so uh, they, they said, "Why don't you wait a month?" Yeah. So now they're saying, "Why don't you take yeah President's Day off instead?" When is that? In February, February sometime. February 16th. Yeah, it's mark that one down. Oh, right around Valentine's Day. Yes, we, sir. Can we take the long weekend? Yes, sir. Around Valentine's Day? All right, I could do that. Done. So I just want to say, I, you know, I wanted to acknowledge the MLK thing today. All right, and on behalf of all black people, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. I know what that means. I'm, I'm getting swept up in the whole freaking Obama thing. I'm loving it. I, I watched the TV all weekend long. What, what is, what's your problem with it? Nothing. Just waiting. Waiting for the what? Just waiting to see what For his, his first F up? No, I'm, I'm, you know, yeah, that's what I guess I am. I'm, I'm so cynical. I'm, I'm on the, I'm on the first line of defense team. I'm, yeah. not, even, <laughs> I'm not even rooting for him. I'm just doing all my planning for when white people would, I wonder, what supposed to do. I wonder if he understands that it's never going to be better than it is right now for him. Like he can't do no wrong for the most part, but oh. that first, that first uh, time he messes up, he's gonna go, oh wow, and then he'll watch that popularity, you know, dip a bit. But right now, they freaking love this guy, does, you know, without a doubt. More stimulus. How and, come? How come stimulus? How come uh, bailing out a car company is like democracy, and bailing out people is a uh, communism? Socialism. Why, why, why is that? That's a, that's a very good question. <laughs> why is bailing out? I mean, you should see the people in line to get money. Like, not right. even just car companies, like bagel companies and oh, yeah. people, just anybody going out of business. Well, like recently, a couple people from the porn industry. Larry Flint. <laughs> Larry Flint and uh, the Girls Gone Wild dude, was it? And I it was, right? Porn is not, um, Bo Bice. What? 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 Ugh. That's not, uh, who's this guy? Yeah, one of our very old interns. We're desperate for interns. One of our interns is 38. That guy can't be... How old are you? 29, 28? 28. So right, you're, he's one of the younger interns we have. What's going on here? We've been here for a couple of weeks or months or whatever it is. Look, he here missed, he is. He Carol O'Connor. Oh, he's, oh, you know, I thought this guy... <laughs> <laughs> he's 38. I thought he was... Um, I thought that was a guy that, that did the machine. I just glanced glanced at him. I Tim, thought, yeah, yeah. yeah I, for a second, and it's not. Oh, really? Not are, you, are people mistaking you for Tim? No, Patrice yeah. has. Oh, really? Uh, he could probably uh, do a better song parody than he <laughs> than he does. So. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, good morning, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm, I'm glad you got all ready to talk when no one really <laughs> yeah. cares. Yeah, he bolted right. <laughs> it, would, it could be the worst shirt in North America. <laughs> <laughs> so, a little round man just trying to get a break. He's married. He <laughs> quit his job to get into radio at the worst time to get into radio. Yeah. Like, the whole business is collapsing. The, the radio websites have just lists of people that are out of work just begging to be hired by anybody, 30-year veterans. And this guy decided, you know, this is the perfect time to try to make something of myself in radio. He has diabetes to look forward to. <laughs> 
watch a five foot two. Five foot five. Two hundred and sixty seven pounds. Of, twenty pounds. Of pure hell. You're five five two twenty? Five six, uh, five six. Two, uh, that means you're I five five. Who are you kidding? <laughs> five four is full. My wife tells you. me every day how fat I am. So yeah. who? It's not my wife. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Sully! <laughs> Sully! Oh, that creepy pilot. I read about him all weekend long, and man. It's getting more and more impressive what he's accomplished last week. I would have been. I would have, I would have been. I would have crashed right into the GWB. Well, we're not pilots. I wouldn't have done well. I would have crashed, taken off. I'm not a pilot. <laughs> I'm just thinking. I if would have I, just drove straight into something. No, it's like you know how we talk about like Anthony has the guns and stuff, and yeah. you and I both agree that we can't be gun owners because yeah. we would do something irresponsible like sure. we'd shoot our foot or our leg or something just kind of mm. trying to clean the damn thing yeah. i was thinking all right if i had the skills to be a pilot now i'm in that situation i, I would be like i would be panic guy That's right into the just, gwb oh old, old men are the only people i want to see flying my plane like it's just he's been in some type of, he's been shot down three times mm -hmm. and you know he's gone through something where he had to land in the jungle and do all kind of crazy stuff and this guy i mean that's why I, I go, where do you learn how to fly if you're under 60? Mm -hmm. Like, well, who's flying these planes? And that dude, he, and he looks like he drinks, too. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, I don't know if he drinks, but he looks like he drinks. Of and, course, he I must. Mean, to, to keep, look at the horror, and this is the thing we, we're not embracing is how much horror we are anyway when the flight is not anything happening, mm -hmm. but immediately something's happening. You see the engine, and then if you're sitting on the left-hand side near the engine, I'm always looking at the engine. I see a giant goose just fly yeah. in, oh my and, you, God. and you know something's wrong. They said they could smell the, the, the birds uh, burning. They smell the flesh of the birds <laughs> oh. in the cockpit. <laughs> Sully's saying, yeah, we knew right away we hit a, a flock of something, oh. and uh, you could smell them burning. Just holding someone's hand next to you that you're oh alive, but God. you start praying because you're all going to die. And, the same. and this guy pulls you. You see the river coming, yep. and then you open your eyes, and you're not dead. But the, How the, can you say anything but something special but dude, about this old man? He was so on top of it. The transcripts came out Saturday or Sunday. He, he announces what happened, lost both engines. Uh, they're like, uh, Newark, he goes, no. Then he goes, what's that airport? Uh, Teterboro. He goes, nope, going river. Like, it was like, boom, boom, boom. He knew that, nope, the only chance they got is river. And then when he, uh, when I saw where he landed in the river, because that's where Jimmy and I in separate buildings, but we live on that side, I'm like, that guy knew the river. Because if he landed it, uh, anywhere north of where he did, people would have died of hypothermia. Because it only takes a mere four or five minutes in the water. You're dead. I was talking to my brother last night. So he died four or five minutes. In <laughs> he that landed water. in a warmer spot. No, I, I'll tell you where he landed. He landed where the ferries go back and forth all day oh, long. Right, okay. So the guy goes, "I know where the ferry traffic is, and that that will give me an even better chance of saving some of these people." What if we kill some? <laughs> what if he <laughs> landed on a ferry? Oh, then we wouldn't be talking about Honestly, what as he is. But he, I think he saw, you know, as he was deciding where to, you know, touch down, uh, that the ferries at that point. Lucky enough, we're on both sides getting ready to go back across the river. He probably would have landed a little shorter, is what I'm saying, if he saw the ferries were actually in the water still. Why he had it figured out. You can imagine being on that plane and and living, dude. It's like, come on, man. You, he was, he was just... 10 feet from Newark Airport. What's wrong? He probably wanted in Jersey. <laughs> Something. Why, did some... they say, why did they say he didn't do it, though? Dude. He's probably wanted in Jersey on some sexual assault <laughs> charges. And he wants to get off in Newark. Dude, he lost, he lost everything so quick. That thing was in. He would have probably hit you where you you live uh, in the way. Yeah, he could have hit you. God bless that dude. For he could have hit you. The people, people are happy about that dude. Did you see the interviews? He didn't exactly save a bunch of scientists. No, Ugh. no kidding. Well, well the scouts. flight was from going from where to North Carolina, LaGuardia to North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, I mean, no disrespect, but if, if, any, was, if any flight's gonna go, if any plane full of people are expendable. <laughs> oh man, it wasn't going to Washington or yeah. somewhere smart. Yeah, <laughs> it was going to. North <laughs> These are not Yale students flying to Connecticut. <laughs> right. But it was a real plane, too. That's the thing oh I always ask. God, is yeah. like, yeah. I refuse to get on uh, the Buddy Hollies, even though they all go down. Yeah. I just won't, I just won't mm -hmm. get on the Buddy Hollies. If I got to take a Buddy Holly, I take a cab first. With the propeller? Uh, yeah. That always makes that. me nervous when all of a sudden yeah. you, you that think That was you're, a real plane going yeah. to North Carolina, man. You yeah. think you're on a real plane and you look out and go, oh, propellers. Great. <laughs> I had enough of Sully Monday morning quarterback, you know. I kind of suspected there was ferry traffic, and we knew that geese would be flying, so we took, shut up, Sully. You didn't know. 
You got lucky. This guy? Yeah. No, it's only that. <laughs> Monday morning. Yeah. Oh, I knew there was very traffic. No, you didn't. Jim. You don't think so? He landed an airplane. He's a bum. He exactly. landed. <laughs> he landed? Not only did he land the plane. He crashed into the water and got lucky. <laughs> it's always a bum. <laughs> he landed the plane. Besides that. No one dies when, when the air temperature is 20, not counting the wind chill, which made it a little worse. And then the water temperature, some said 40, but uh, they're saying it was closer to 32, This is 33. the first time I think I've ever heard a plane crash where people lived. And and do you know, who told me this friend of mine who was in some armed forces? He said, do you know why the people tuck their heads in between their legs when they, that whole thing? So they can recover your body. So they can, you can break your neck when the lane, when the plane. Right, make it easy for you. Just to put you out your misery. Right. And, and this is the first time that's ever like actually worked where people are alive. You know, the, <laughs> the stewardess is telling them they tuck their heads in there and this is what's going to happen. And they lived. Now they don't want you to break your neck. The reason they do this probably so your head doesn't snap back when you, when you, when you land. If you, if you jerk when you land or something, they don't want you sitting up and then your head snapping back. Right. And then breaking it—that's probably what's to prevent you from breaking Ma- your neck. Imagine to that. what? Prevent you from if you're sitting up and you and you hit really hard landing. They're probably afraid that everybody your your neck would snap back or your face would smack. That's just to kind of keep you as tight as possible. Yeah, break and, your neck when you land. Imagine from a thirty thousand foot drop. A thirty thousand foot. Imagine yeah. Sully makes this amazing water landing, all excited. He he goes into the, you know to see how the people are doing. <laughs> they're all just sitting there paralyzed. Come on, get up. Dude, they all should break their neck. I would be. I just thinking about how much I don't like flying, and this dude kept dude, me alive. Can I tell you something? I I said it uh, last week, or whatever. But my uh, my girl saw the saw the the crash from our apartment. She looked at it. She saw it. She saw the crash, and she would. She and a bunch of other people in my apartment. They were panicky and they couldn't get it on video. We would have had the video. She saw it. She saw it for at least thirty. Mm. 30 to 45 seconds over the river and knew it was going to crash. Got on the phone with 911, was on with 911 when it crashed. Jesus. Just amazing. Where's the proof? Well, there is proof, actually, but. You got to tape everything else. Let's, let's see it is. She was the frantic 911 call. Oh, my God. The plane crashed. She was that. Are you serious? Swear to God. She was the frantic 911 caller. What oh, my God. What you have? And then her brother kind of reckoned, reckoned the call a little bit because he goes, holy boop. <laughs> and that's how it was Are presented. you serious? Yes. And I missed it by 15 minutes. I went to the gym. It was, it was where Jimmy and I live. It was 10 blocks away. You should see what I was doing while it happened. <laughs> <laughs> required, a little, required a little cleanup when finished. <laughs> and I will say this. If Sully was so good, how about this? Don't hit the geese, stupid. How about that? When you see geese, fly around them. <laughs> fly around the geese. Don't aim for the geese, big shot. Was it on takeoff? It had to be on takeoff. Oh, yeah, was. right yeah, away. He, he, he probably was bored after 40 years, saw the flock of geese, and said, this is a nice challenge. Yeah. This is the challenge I was looking this for. Is, this is the retirement party I wanted. And, I'm going to get all this money and accolades right before I'm done. And uh, the paper today, uh, the headline, Florida man thanks lucky stars he missed flight. And I was telling Stunt Why? Brain... Yeah, and then he's shown his ticket. He was supposed to be on that flight, right? And I'm telling Stunt Brain, no why is died. he thanking his lucky stars? No one died. Yeah, no one died. If you if you now know no one died, wouldn't you want to be on that flight? You'd have a story to tell for the yeah, rest of your life. 2020, but on that flight. Uh. But he's saying after the fact, thank God I wasn't on that plane. Why? Thank God. Everyone survived. Uh, a few people got their tootsies cold. That was it. Have they been interviewing people on the fl- I mean, that plane must have stunk of scaredness. You know what I mean? No just, kidding. Just in your drawers, yeah, everybody. No kidding, man. Can you imagine? No kidding. It was, Damn. So, pretty Damn. amazing stuff. Oh, well, look, look at the way, I'm looking at the photos now and uh, looking at all. I knew he would get invited. I knew Obama. That's what I said. This pilot, he got invited to the Obama Festival. You knew that he would get. Uh, sure. To one day you're going <clears> to take <throat> off. And the next day, 10 minutes later, the President of the United States knows who you are. This might be a setup. This might be an elaborate assassination attempt. <laughs> you can't have Sully's walking around. Yeah, I don't. No, we can't have that. He can't get close to the president. This might be. A, we were imagining that uh, everyone's like rah rah Sully, and he's just an awful human being. He's just not yeah. flying plane. He pretended to crash. He knew what he was going to do. Right. All the people on the plane were operatives. Right. This they knew that someone on that plane to get invited to the inauguration. I'm sure. I don't like this. I'm sure the conspiracy theory, uh, theorists out there are already spinning this. Like, look. We needed a feel-good story, so they set this whole Something's Sully wrong. thing up. Something's wrong. I'm wow. just going to add to the paranoia of the inauguration security, because I know they've been sitting around in the room just imagining all the different ways 
and they just go, hey, listen, um, no matter what you think, no matter how paranoid it sounds, mm -hmm. just throw your two cents in. What do you think? Well, maybe aliens are going to fly from another place and drop you know, ticks on, and then they get they got the alien tick team ready to go because they cannot be the people who lose the first black president. You they see, can't be the what, people. What are they calling his uh, his his car? The they monster go, or something? No, there's a nickname for his uh, his limo. Oh. It is like <laughs> it's, it goes right with what Patrice is saying. They they got they can't be iron windows. <laughs> it's, it's five five inches five of. Inches. Deal. Yeah, could you get the details on his car? <laughs> a turret. And they have a nickname for it already. It's called the Monster or something like that. Some yeah, the protect, pretty hardcore the, name. Protect the N-word president. Mobile. His his car? Yeah. 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 It's uh, we'll we'll have the details of where the specs of his car. And it better be. I hope he doesn't just do this whole. You know, he I hope he's just wise enough to know that he's the first black president. I just hope he knows. Yeah. How heavy is the uh, car I mean, compared they to said, the Cadillac? You know, we'll have all the details after the break because it, it's pretty impressive. Uh, they've never had one of these like this before. <laughs> Patrice O'Neill helping us out today. As we go to break, we're going to check out the FU line. <laughs> See, we just continue with the radio show while you guys listen to commercials. Sorry about that. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, Son of Fritz from Whack Bag, The Beast. That's what Obama's presidential limo is called. Nice car, the man. Beast. Opie and Anthony. Uh, no Anthony, Jim Norton, Patrice O'Neill. And I, I just said, uh, just before we went uh, back on the air, I go, Patrice, have you seen any good movies? Patrice is a movie guy. He sees pretty much everything, everything that comes out. Oh. And uh, you said Taken? I saw Taken. Which isn't even out yet. you got to see Taken. But we're lucky enough in this business that we get, the, you know, screener copies and stuff ahead of time. I haven't gotten a copy of Taken yet. I'll give you mine. That's the Liam Neeson movie you were Liam saying? Liam Neeson is, is so simple. You got to see this movie. Basically, what his daughter? Is... He's looking for his kidnapped daughter, who she goes to what Paris or something to go to school yeah. or Let something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you first of all about the movie. Yeah. Just a quick thing. Yeah. There's no elaborate nonsense. It's just. It's not like hmm. Twist and turns. His, his his daughter goes on a trip, and she gets kidnapped. And it's not like hmm. Espion. He's an ex spy. Right. Who just he just retired. He's poor. He's a trained killer, basically. He's, he just, he de he's divorced his wife. Yeah. His wife is married to some better guy now, and yeah. he's just kind of relaxing. His his daughter um, gets kidnapped in an apartment. Her and a friend, and and it's not an elaborate thing you got to follow. It's just a dude, right, who's looking for his kidnapped daughter, some Albanian prostitution ring, just some badass. That's it. It's that's all it is. And he is. And and movies like this, which I love, are like Game of Death or video game movies mm -hmm. where there's levels. Like you find, you know, sort of bad guy. Right. Then you find batter guy. Then right. you find it. It's like that. And he just keeps finding who he needs to find. It just keeps he going up his the, daughter. And it's up the ladder. It's not. It's just about him finding his daughter. It is a bad movie, and I mean good. Bad. As far as uh, previews go, the preview for that movie, dude, wow! I'm it's, like, I gotta see this one. It's one of the best movies like that. It only movie that that comes close is uh, Payback with Mel Gibson. Yeah, just the way it is. It's just relentless. There's a scene in Taken that's so good that even if the movie was bad, it would have put the movie as good. Okay. If this, if it's, I understand, it's, it right. is just a great movie. I don't even know if Liam Neeson acts because uh, he he kind of lives around us, and I see him every once in a while, and you don't want to say hi to the guy. <laughs> he is that guy when he's just walking the streets. Well, him and some he, of these guys, I don't think they're real actors. I think they're just like being themselves in these. Alec movies. Baldwin is too. Alec Baldwin, you just see him catching a, a cab by yeah. himself. Yeah. No fear. Yeah. What up, buddy? Yeah. Hey, yeah, I love that guy. I love Alec Baldwin. I love that Thirty Rock. He's that dude, like in the streets, and, and Liam is that. But Liam is a uh, like uh, some some crazy make or something, man. He don't play games. Uh, he doesn't mess around. Yeah, hey, man. Whatsoever, <laughs> whatsoever. I should say. I saw Step Brothers finally. Oh, that looked like you. I saw a scene with Will Ferrell and John C. <laughs> Riley. <laughs> we're playing like the big guys who are like kids at heart, yeah. you know. It was really funny. I, I love Will Farrell, and a, a bunch of people said this Step Brothers movie because I'm looking for a good comedy. They go, you gotta check out Step Brothers. It's a funny movie. <sighs> that was rough. Some of the scenes were kind of funny, but the parents playing into the fact that their 40 year olds 
acting like 12 year olds took me out of the movie I'm like oh my god stop already it's crap I know it's a movie and you're supposed to kind of just go with it but I, it was like at one at one point the father's giving a 40 year old a, a spanking because he misbehaved I'm like <laughs> I didn't see that part. Oh my oh, god! It was, there you go. It was. It was. <laughs> it, was, it, was it was rough, man. Was it Will Ferrell and John C. <laughs> Riley though? Like, which one was getting this? Come on, which one? You know, I don't know because like they were it, they were interchangeable after a while because they were the same guy. That's how they related to each other. Ah, uh, those two are nuts. Oh, it was rough. There was a few good scenes, but I don't know. There are some movies <laughs> you just won't. You just go. I'm not going to see were, this. Were you the one that turned me on to uh, the Adam Sandler movie the last time you were in here? Zohan. Zohan made me laugh. I freaking like that stupid movie. Zohan. And because Zohan he, made on me your laugh. Uh, recommendation, I checked that one out and I was like, wow, Patrice is right. He, 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 you know, because I went in and I'm kind of already going like halfway like Adam Sandler. I haven't been an Adam and, Sandler fan in a while. You turn me out to this movie. Good. I go home, I watch him, I go, right on, Patrice. I right wanted on. To, I wanted to see Sin City and forgot it came out on Christmas. You know that movie made $6 million, man? Or something, not even ten. It didn't uh, do well. It did. Yeah, there was a bomb Sin at the Sin box office. Not Sin City. The Spirit. Sorry. What is the Spirit? Oh. Weird ass. Wow. Who's in it? You didn't even hear about it. No. Sam Jackson plays the villain. The it's one. Of, it's one of those um awful Sam Jackson movies. Those looking, you know, those movies that every everybody does a comic book, like three hundred. What do they call those those things when they do an ad adaptation of a, of a comic book that looks kind of. A Frank Miller. It's like a Frank Miller. Look. Okay. That you didn't hear even hear. Oh, yeah. that's what I meant. Not Sin City. I take that back. The Spirit. But you know, like the wrestler, I just can't even bring myself to want to see it. The Benjamin wrestler? Bratt or whatever the thing is. No, 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 no. The wrestler. Let's slow down a little bit. The wrestler, I really, really I, enjoy. I know it's probably good. I mean, you got to you know, understand that. You go. Oh, but you got to understand, it's a low budget indie type film. You're not, you know, you're not it getting brought, the big it Hollywood. Rock back, and I'm glad. glad. Well, I don't. Uh, when people say this is his big comeback movie, I'm like, really? What roles is he gonna get? When John Travolta came back, he you could fit him into a bunch of different uh, you know roles. This guy, what is he going to play? He's going to play a bunch of a yeah. bunch of bums, a bunch of people the way they got stung by bees. Right. <laughs> Muscular <Right. face. laughs> He looks creepy. There's plenty of evil roles like that. Man. He's been messing up his face for ten, fifteen years, so he was perfect if for the wrestler. Wins, if he wins an Oscar, let me tell you what Oscar does for you, fantastic. It it it, yeah. it keeps you in the game for like for ten years. Ten years, easy. And you talk about Sam Jackson. It kept. The other day, I was sitting with my girl, and I realized I said, "I said, oh my god!" And I didn't want to say it because yeah. I love Sam Jackson. Yeah. I go, Sam hasn't done a good movie since Pulp Fiction. Come on, that's crazy. Since there's got to be one. Him in there. or John Travolta. There's got to be one in there for since Sam Jackson. Pulp Fiction. All right, we're gonna Danny look that up. He's got to be one. He was great in Pulp Fiction, dude. He I couldn't watch the movie without him being. In. Without if Sam Jackson was not in Pulp Fiction, I don't. I only watch the movie when Sam Jackson's in the movie. Although walking scene was great, Christopher Walken had a great scene. The watch Fiction. scene, yeah, it was good. Yeah, but uh, yeah, he, what, what else has Sam Jackson done? He was great in that. I'm, I'm he looking at Danny in, right uh, now. Black, oh, come on. Black Snake Moan was this. that was terrible. Snakes on a Black Snake. That Black Snake Moan stunk. No, I know. It was a corny racial message and and and. Oh, uh, well, he's in Star Wars, of course. As well, Revenge of the Sith. Oof. Jungle Fever, I think, was the best role he ever did. That's my favorite thing. You know what? Jackson did. Uh, Patrice is not that far off as I'm we, you, as we it, look it, at... It just hasn't been... The, the man with that stupid Eugene Levy? Dude. Yeah. Just... But, so, but, but, but let's, let's, let's be honest, though. He, he was... Unbreakable? I liked Unbreakable. Could have been better, but I liked him in that. I, I'm always for a guy that's been that's been a soldier in the game a while, being able to enjoy his money. Mm -hmm. And he was he was he was working hard, and then he hit with Pulp Fiction. But since that, well, that's a good. Product. I can't think of anything. I I would. I, he stays in the game though. You also mentioned. Uh, I think you wanted to say uh, the curious life of Benjamin Button. Benjamin Button. It's just like who saw it over the weekend. Stump Brain didn't like it. Oh, come on, dude. Like I don't. Yeah, it was a little slow. It's a long movie. I mean, I'm being biased, you know what I mean? I'm, I think they did the movie in real time. I'm going to wait to see Notorious. And, uh, I, I, I want to see Notorious. I'm going to wait to see that a little bit when it all... I'm going to go to a nice 11 o'clock matinee. Did you see... Uh, Tuesday. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> did you see um, uh, Wally? No. 
And I heard it was a lot of people good. people saying one of the best movies of the year. I'm I'm a big animation fan. I was like, eh, that's what I heard. It could have been way better. Bolt was supposed to be good. I heard Bolt, yeah, and all that. But I just I saw um, Horton Here's a Who. Actually, really, really good animated uh, film. Are you serious? Jim Carrey, the voice of the uh, the elephant. I hate animation. I never I never oh. enjoy it. I, I enjoy. Are animations. you serious? Yeah, I liked it. I thought I wasn't gonna like it, but I liked it. Yeah, Horton Here's a Who. Well, I I want I I watched um on uh, JetX. What's JetX? Jetix Jetix. All these kids, these kids stations that pop up. Uh huh. Showed a, a old Fantastic Four um cartoon marathon. Nice. Fantastic little little X Men. You don't you're not into that stuff, huh? I used to love comic books. Then I stopped. Oh wait a minute! I tell you why. What movie? I, I popped. I was trying to think of what movie. Made me want to have a conversation with Sam Jackson. Mm -hmm. I just watched Jumper. Oh, I heard that was a piece of crap. Where he where he dyed his hair just completely like, just completely I like white. I, I wouldn't even know. And that kid who I'm gonna vote as one of the worst actors since Christopher <laughs> Lambert. <laughs> who? I just forgot his name. I that, the like... kid who who destroyed single handedly destroyed <laughs> George Lucas's reputation. <laughs> right. Who made me go, George Lucas? What the hell is his name? Not McGregor. His name is um, Hayden Christian. Right, 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 right. I'm, I'm telling you, and I hope, you know, look, I, I'm giving up on the idea that I'm going to be like in these movies with these people. Yeah. That kid is is devoid. It has to be something where somebody was attracted to him. That he is in, I, not as. Not as stratospheric in his badness as Keanu Reeves and Christopher Lambert. <laughs> Two of the most unforgivably bad actors. I, I'm serious, man. Keanu Reeves. I watched that when the earth stood still. Mm -hmm. Dude, I could not believe. Arnold Schwarzenegger and the Terminator had more, <laughs> more emotional range. Emotional, yes, right. than, 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 than Keanu Reeves in this yeah. movie. I just could not believe how bad it was. Yeah. Keanu Reeves was good in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure because he was supposed to just be that boob, and he was good in Devil's Advocate. Aside from that, everything he's done is terrible. Man, I terrible. I can't understand. How was he really good in Devil's Advocate? No, I liked him. I mean, in that, that movie. No, was, I liked him in that. That, that movie was. Why he did for his girl? That was still good though. I mean, that movie. The I, movie was good. The movie was amazing. I don't think you could do no wrong if you if you have any part in that movie, right? The movie was. He doesn't carry the, the, movie. the movie. The movie carries him, it, if that makes sense. I think maybe. It's one of those movies. Uh, I've never been think. impressed by his stuff. Matrix loved the movies, but wasn't impressed with him. Impressed? He is at. I'm telling you. <laughs> I know. I'm Why with would you. you? Let me tell you one of the worst acted scenes I've ever seen. It, it, it was in Speed. I'll never forget it. Oh, God. I wasn't even a movie guy when I saw Speed. And I watched it, and, and the girl's driving. Mm -hmm. uh, what's her name? Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock. She We're going to now have to find this scene if we can, guys. She hits. What she thinks is a baby, right? And she's going nuts and trying to drive his butts at fifty um, during rush hour traffic. So that's one of the and you, he, she hits what she thinks is a baby, and he sees it's just a, a a homeless woman pushing a thing full of cans. Yeah, yeah. And he just goes, "It's okay, it's it's just cons. <laughs> it's cons." He said, "I'm that. telling you, I don't remember. It's 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 cons. Yeah, it's." <laughs> we gotta find that. It's shockingly out. bad. I'm telling you, other than, other than, and, and I was gonna say, but she was only in one, in one thing that I, is, um, ultimately what could have destroyed an entire movie system mm -hmm. was uh, Francis Ford Coppola's kid acting in Godfather Three. You know, when you you watch Godfather Three, though, it's not as bad as you originally thought, though. Because you forgave her. You think? You forget? You 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 you. You the movie itself her is, out. is is a lot better than you originally thought yes. too, man. Yes, a lot better. But we had a lot of expectations, man. If if I guess if like he didn't hire her, that would have been just a mess. Winona Ryder. Winona Ryder was supposed to do it, I believe, but she was suffering from exhaustion from another film. I think she probably <laughs> just didn't want to do it. And Robert Duvall purposely priced you know himself out of it. That's get, why he get didn't some do sleeping it. pills and get your sleep together. Well, I think she probably didn't want to. Had do a it. chance to be in a Godfather movie. Hey, did you see uh, Seven Pounds? Somebody that's another one. Rob on Long Island. Did it. you guys see Seven Pounds? I did not can't, see can't that. See it. Some people saying it was uh, very good. Uh, let's go to Malik in Asbury Park. Malik. Yo, good morning, fellas. It's good. What's up, Malik? Yeah, hey, hey yo, Patrice, man. I seen that notorious movie, man. How was it? Um, 
I give it a, I give it a seven out of a ten, man. It wasn't. Now, how, you know, how, how old are you though? We gotta, we gotta go there though. How old are you? Because I'm gonna tell you why I'm asking. After you tell me, I'm thirty. I'm thirty five. Son, I knew big, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, see, I'm that's what it is. It's, 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 it's. Here's my problem with the, the movie itself. It's. It, it's not time yet because, see, it doesn't count for us because we lived it. It's nostalgic for us. You're 35. You was living it. I'm I'm 39. I was living the whole thing. So it's it's too many emotions involved with the people who will see it. It should have came out maybe 15 years from now. Really? When when it's everybody's is kind of it's it's even. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because. I'm I'm a big fan of of Big. I'm gonna see it just because I was a big fan, and but I know the story. I know I was going to end. I know how to begin. I'm. It's too close for that right mm -hmm. now. So so he's 35. He he knows like. Well, Malik, did you know, you know or did you just meet him? Nah, I, I met him like twice. Like you know, what I say I run with a bunch of Brownsville dudes and son from Bed Stuy. So you know, what I'm saying like my peoples. Knew his people, so I met him like right when he first got on. When he came out with the song "Party" and "BS," you know what I'm saying? Like I met Sonny Coney Allen, and, and he was a live dude. Like he was a real cool dude. But See, when you said "Party" and "Party" and "BS," uh, uh, at the, a, a collection a collection of ten white eyebrows um, wiggled like, hmm, I don't even know that song. That's his first song that he came out with, but that wasn't his hit. Yeah, "Party" and Bo "BS." But did you ever hear the song "Notorious"? Which one? <laughs> that's the only biggie song I know. Hey, hey, listen. Let me ask you a question. When you saw it, right? What was what do you wish was better portrayed in the movie? What did they What did they really get right, and what did they really get wrong? I think what I think. See, I think the whole the whole thing of the movie was it was told through like Mrs. Wilds' eyes. You know what I'm saying? And she knew like what kind mm. of person her son was. You know what I mean? But the reality, like one part I didn't like about the movie is they painted big to be out like some big drug dealer like you know what I'm saying? Like, he was getting it like that you know in the reality more than half these drug dealers that talk about they was kingpins they lying dude they was they was nickel and dime hustlers like the average person trying to make it in the game he wasn't making money like that you know what i'm saying and if he was why end of the rap game it wasn't that serious well you gotta you gotta it's pump up of, you gotta pump up the story no matter what that's what hollywood does you take yeah, all well, little truth and really it. huh yeah, but the way they did it, Opus, like they did it, like they did it too extravagantly. Like you want to tell a life about that man? And tell the oh, life they tried to they movie. tried to say he was like he was like a like Scarface in the movie before he started doing rap. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. kind of like they, they like he started off like his man put him on. He was nickel and dime, and then before the time he knew it, he was he was supplying other. Come on, man, let's get real. You know what? Though, you, know, you shouldn't be surprised by that. Of course, Hollywood's going to pump it up like that. It makes it a much better movie to watch. I guess what is it? Cre creative going. license, whatever they call it. Well, who shot him? Yeah, how do they, they handle they that? Don't, they don't. How do they handle that, Malik? I guarantee it was like a. Oh, let me. I'll tell you what it is. I didn't even see it. It's probably a guy. It's a silhouette. They know the car. So they had, they know it's a black guy. Yes, right. There was a gun came out right. and they hand shot. Gun, him. Yeah. yeah, but it wasn't. I bet they don't even show the shooting. I bet the hand comes yeah. out and they just they go somewhere else. You know, Malik. No, don't. They didn't even show. They showed it like when it, when when the um when 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 that part came about. They like showed the car, like you hear the voice. Probably you know, slow you know motion. What it is, you know what it is? And then you just heard the pop pop pop, and that was it. And you see him look at, you see him turn and look at who he thought it was that was shooting him. You know what I'm saying? But they didn't oh, like. Oh snap! Give me a little clip. Give you an indication of who kind of like perpetuated it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know where that go, the West Coast thing. They kind of give you like a. Like an idea of kind of who perpetuated, but then again, this is Miss Wallace's story. I was told from how she seen it. Now I'm pretty sure if you had like C's or or D Rock or Gutter or any of them tell a story, it'd be a whole lot more grimier and a whole lot more different. You did know, the kid, did the kid who played Biggie uh, do do a good job? Yeah, Gravy did his thing, son. Yeah, Gravy Gravy did his thing, and um, he looks like him. That's for sure. Face. Scary. Yeah, the, 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 the chick that played Faith, oh man, she was scary of how point how on point she was, man. Okay. Oh man. All right, listen. Like, they didn't they didn't really get into the story about even little Kim either. You know what I'm saying? Like, and she played a big role. Right. It just like went over, but I give it a seven, six, seven out of a ten. Yeah, All I'm, right, go, I'm gonna go see that next Tuesday Thank about you, nine bro. in the morning. You know, yeah. that's a perfect time. <laughs> yes. Give me a call. I'll go with you. <laughs> <laughs> you did your thing too at the Borgata, man. You were funny as hell, man. Oh man, I, I gotta admit, Jim, I wasn't a big fan of your comedy. I'm more of a Patrice dude, but yo, you turned me on, man. You was okay. Mad oh, that's you. Thank you.
Right all on. this, all this time, you haven't liked me on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you funny on you funny on the radio. It's just that when I see you do your stand up, it's like it takes me. A, I got I got to smoke a couple. I got to put a couple. Dude, in you turn him around. Know? He's well. He's when a did fan you, now. why did you come up and say hello? Yeah, uh, I had to get out of town real quick, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going with this little gun charge right now, so you know what I mean. So I had to make moves real quick. All right. Well, I was I was I got five cops here searching people. You could just put up and said hi. How cool is that, Jimmy? You got, you got gangbangers that are fans yeah, of yours alone. now. He's, he's just, yeah, you know. He's, and, and, and you hear who he's from and who he hangs out with. He can't even let people know that he's like a big fan of yours now. Yeah, that's, that's not, dangerous that for be him. Cool. Believe me, nobody else he knew would have been there. Yeah, but I'm saying people, you know, he's, 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 he's risking himself calling into the show saying hello. Nah, huh. nah, it ain't even like that. See, I put people onto the hood. To O and E all the time, you know what I'm saying? They look at me like, "Yo, you crazy kid," you know what I mean? Well, Patrice, no, you're not crazy because Patrice said it a while ago. He goes, "Black people want to like this they radio wanna, show. They want to listen and they want to like it, but it's just, but, a, it's, but they're in hiding. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> a lot of, they can't admit it. They can't, they can't admit it. <laughs> I think I understand. It's underground, it's <laughs> underground black fans in the right. show, and it ain't just crazy, dude. It's just, it's yeah. people that go, "Oh man, it's funny," but they go, eh, "Okay, yeah, you know." I'm right, always please. shocked if a black Black cab driver, because a lot of cab drivers listen to us. And if a black cab, he goes, uh, hey, man, I listen to this show. I'm always like, really? I know. Is I it an accident? <laughs> right. Seriously, it's man. It's like surprise, man. A lot of people, a lot of brothers in the hood support your show. I just know that when you guys have events like the virus show, y'all don't yeah. come out. And I know that was like the only brother, me and my man was the only brother up in there. All right, Malik. crazy. All right, Malik. We're going to get back into the white world after All the right, break. All right, <laughs> <laughs> Malik from Asbury Park. That was was that a special mock when we came game? Yo, Patrice, hold uh, this down. Patrice, hold this down. I'm trying. They're making it hard. No, man. we're not at all. It's very easy today. I'm putting up a black fist right now for I, Asbury. I have to. Uh, oh, yo, oh. yo. Oh, don't do that to me. Oh, he got you. Oh, he got you. No, hey, come there on, you go. Malik. There come you on, go. Malik. Good, good one, Malik. You know how bad. Good I wanna, one, Malik. You know how bad I want to be loved. <laughs> come on, Malik. Why do that to me? And let me tell you something. I gotta always be in tune, and I'm like, Malik's on the phone. I'm like, all right, right now it's all right. And then I'm like, dipping too far into the black culture here. There is, I guarantee, on this screen right here that mm -hmm. you look at, there are about 50 um, <laughs> emails going. If that had been a white guy, you would have hung up on him. No, nah, I like Malik a lot. Twelve actually. minutes a lot. Oh, no, nah, he, he, I, I like listening to him. He's a regular. He, he calls oh, us all. Man? Yeah, Malik's yeah. calling all the time. I, I like his little angle on things. So, uh, Patrice and Neil in studio, Jim Norton, of course, uh, no Anthony. We continue in just a bit. Uh, talk a little football, and then we got the specs on uh, Obama's presidential limousine. You think Anthony's home um, uh, uh, with a, a, a replica of a balcony, and, uh, and he just put a couple of <laughs> different, wow. a couple of different cutout boards, oh, wow. and it's down in his basement. He wow. was <laughs> he was pushing for James Earl Ray's birthday. <laughs> I'm with you, Patrice. Happy worst, MLK Day. Worst lyricist ever. 50 Cent. Never. Yeah, bad. In a club, drink a bottle of bub. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Come give me a hug. I'll drink a bottle of bub. I'm in a club. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> He says it eight times. I can't even argue with I you. don't like to do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even argue with why, why the mispronunciation of some of these songs, Patrice? I'm trying to understand that. What, what is yes. that all about? I'm anti- Like, there was that song, it's a, it's a bit old now, where he goes, in the air, air, air. Why can't he say just, in That's the air? something we in do the air. to try to be... In the air, not air. Why, air. They do it to bug us. Like, say, right. <laughs> scrimp. I'm telling you, it's... it's, it's it really is a battle for us to not be white, dude. So we got to figure out everything we can do to not be white. That drives me nuts, though. But it's kind of catchy. And the ayo, ayo. This is cool, though. He goes, it's your birthday. What's <laughs> that mean? You know what? When this song was out, it was kind of a guilty pleasure. I would crank this one up. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, by the way, uh, Coke Logic making me feel a little better. He goes, uh, oh, uh, Malik didn't hang up on you. His phone card ran out. So that makes me feel <laughs> oh, oh, a little better oh, today. Thank oh, you, Coke Logic. Oh. Coke Logic is always there for me. A seven seven two one two zero nine. A. Lots going on, but uh, we started this. I just want to finish up on the Obama vehicle. They do call it the Beast. Right. Uh, some of the safety and high-tech features include 8-inch thick armor-plated doors, 
each weighing the same as a cabin door on a Boeing 757. Which copy do you have? I got this this crappy copy that... Oh, no, I yelled that, at those guys. It doesn't said, tell you anything. No, of course not. An independent oxygen supply, an advanced firefighting system located in the boot, pump-action shotguns, Night vision cameras and tear gas cannons to keep <laughs> Obama's own president to keep our president alive while his citizens are dying around him. Right with the poison attack. Right, <laughs> Obama's it gets better. Obama's own personal storage of blood, Kevlar reinforced tires that are puncture and shred resistant, and special steel wheels that could drive without the tire attached. No, and was you talking about it? Was it was it this show talking about the um? Well, all the stuff they have to do, like when the president travels, he has to go to the bathroom, and he can't go to the bathroom, like, in the public toilets or the hotels or something. Someone has to collect his... his Get out of here. Yeah, somebody has all to right, collect I gotta it. I got to find that out. So that, so that they, they don't um they don't devise any kind of his his body weaknesses and study him and all that to devise something that could be, they can make to be harmful. His waste has to be collected. Yeah. I wonder who gets that job. God that's what I, that's what I was... Uh, it, they have to collect his waste. That's the low guy in the Secret Service totem pole. <laughs> so do I get to guard the president? Not exactly. Yeah. You carry a bag that nobody wants to shoot at. <laughs> also, five-inch thick bulletproof glass. He, he has to have it. Amazing. I wonder if Bush's was uh, as... There it is right there. Uh-huh. Yeah. I the wonder... Beast. It's called The Beast. Jesus. But uh, let me ask he you... probably has the biggest security in the history he of does. every president he that does. ever lived, man. And of course he does. Good God! But wait, he's so 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 they have to collect his waste. Where's he go to the bathroom? Like what? I always wonder. I you're think the... on, a, on, a, on the plane, on the Air Force One, and all that stuff. But you got to go when you're on transit. You're going to do a lunch or a dinner, and they're serving. Uh, maybe maybe it is a presidential bag holder. Come on, yeah, do a little research. I want to know more about this. It'd be great if like the Secret Service guy has to kind of be like there maybe he has a bag. He has a bag that he that he has to stay because you know he had to turn in his BlackBerry. But I guess no, I mean, now he, he's saying he doesn't want to do it. Right? He said, "Look, so so we're going to get some really cool emails that are going to be available to the public when he's just you know doing lovey dovey stuff with his wife and kids, dude. Because anything he types, you know, is public record, right?" Maybe he has like presidential bags that he has to in any toilet he has to go. He he has to be responsible for putting that bag down, and and go and put it like oh not like oh where the toilet is and 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 hook it up so it's like something that he takes a regular dump, but it's the, you know embarrassing for the president. <clears throat> yeah. What? But they but but it makes sense though that somebody could take his his mess in some one of these countries and you know do something with his doo doo. I don't just know. Get rid of it. Just flush it. What, what, yeah. Who's who's down there collecting that? Well, you saw um American me. That's how he got the drugs in. They unscrewed and they just. I catch, didn't see that. Catch his presidential no, dump. But they, the thing is this: they have guys that check everything out in the Secret Service that check, make sure there's no bombs. They they, they can't make sure there's not a guy down there with a screwdriver and a clamp bag. <laughs> <laughs> how do you sneak? How do you sneak out uh, through the crowd with that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I mean, he stays in all these hotels, and the president, dude, this is uh, you, you don't find anything. I can't see yeah, anything Patrice, out. shut up. That's I'm telling crazy. you, you're out of your mind. That's crazy. If someone can find that, please send it Why down. would I make that up? I think I heard it on this show. I think we talked about it. Uh, hey, what do you think of this quote? This is the big quote. I wish Anthony was here because this would send him over the edge. Uh, it's on the front page of a bunch of the newspapers. Rosa Parks sat mm -hmm. so Martin Luther King could walk. Okay. Martin Luther King walked so Obama could run. Okay. Obama ran so we could all fly. That disgusts me too, but I'm gonna have to act. It does in a way, right? It's special. Why does it disgust you? It, it just, it's just, it this it stinks. It's trying a little too hard. I yeah, think. yeah. It's just you know, anybody who's like a real human being can't get excited <laughs> about some of that nonsense. That's just, it's just nonsense. I like it up to the fly part. First couple lines were all right, good, and then it's like, all right, shut up. <laughs> My thing is, I hope he does well for the whole country. But as a black person, you you want him to do a little bit more for us. You just want to feel like there's something out there with a little bit of wink for, hey, here you go, black people. But I want the whole country to be right. You know what I mean? Because <clears throat> out in the streets, it's bad. All you hear is bad stuff. Just people talking bad, mm -hmm. talking about, you know, robbing and stealing and dying. There's a lot of bad conversations just happening in general. If he makes the country <laughs> better, I'm in. Simple as that. That's what I'm hoping I'm he in. does. I'm, I'm hoping in he in does the, the right thing, man. And I'm not a big political guy, but if he if he fixes a, a few things and make this a better place to live, I'm sure. And worse come to worse, make it better for me. Well, that's your thing. You know. Here, you're fine, though. 
You do just fine. Oh, Jesus, it's getting bad. You do just fine. Oh, man. I want to show you guys. We're taking pay cuts. I want to show you guys a picture. Got to thank WWTDD.com. When I give these guys plugs, it's rough. But it's uh, What Would Tyler Durden Do? Dot com, also known as WWTDD.com. You got to give me the uncensored, though. All right. Are you ready for it? Uh, Well, uh, I think they were the first, and now it's spreading uh, around the Internet. But they they have a picture of Madonna. Don't go there yet there, uh, Danny, please. Um, I guess it was a picture she did. She did some kind of nude uh, modeling. I think she got like $25 to do this or something yeah, back, back in the late 70s or early 80s, I whenever it was. I and didn't even go to look at it. I thought I, I, thought I saw Madonna already. Does it look hot right now? Yes. What we're seeing is a very young Madonna, dark, dark black hair, a little hair under her armpits, got the censored barb uh, across her boobies, and you don't see what's going on below the belly button, okay? Are you ready? All right. And I want your natural reaction when you see this. Okay. Hit it, Danny. Boo! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> you need to show that to a child. <laughs> you know, it's just like <laughs> Boo! How do you describe that? She uh, she should have borrowed her neighbor's weed whacker. <laughs> that is horrendous. I think in a mere like twenty twenty five years, girls can't get that. That so yeah, we can't really and go Alex, too far and, with this without getting Alex that. Rodriguez is looking at an old version of that right yeah. now. Yeah, you know what? There is old? you 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 can't see her. You know what? Because there's so much yeah. going on down there. Oh, it's seventies, Jack. I mean, it is like not even a hint of like trimming up the size or nothing. I mean, it it almost blends into the leg hair. She has hair under her arms, and yes, you can see the laugh. Her legs are spread, but you can see like part of her calf. She has a hairy leg calf. Yeah. Or calf. But let's be honest, there's something uh, completely filthy and nice about that. Not leg no, hair. No, 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 underarm hair I can I can deal no, with that, a little that, bit. It's no specifically Madonna that's awful. Being that, that despicable, like uh, even as a young mess. I can I can understand like And um, her desperation and she made it. That's what that's what's great about Madonna. You can just see how desperate she was to be famous. Yep. And she is a role model for any girl who just desperately sure. wants fame. Danny, how much did you get for that picture? Is it true? Twenty five dollars? Yeah, Twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollars in uh, in nineteen seventy. Now she's a uh, oh, like a uh, like a hundred millionaire or something like that. Seventy nine. Pushing, she's pushing, oh, she's pushing toward a billionaire. And, and back a uh, mere twenty five years or, or so ago, she spent twenty five twenty five bucks for that shot. What an unkempt mess. It's disgusting. Oh, she don't care. I can I can understand what's going on above. But I don't understand what's going on on the sides. Like it is like I, I wish we were at the other joint right now to, to describe this. Yeah, but it, it's that's what that's what happened when you if you let your hair grow out of control. If there was there wasn't even lining it up back then. It was just that's what I'm saying. Pure, it, it grew. Well, I mean, it all started with just one woman out there going, "You know what? I'm going to line this up a little bit better." Let me tell and you. And then it, it then it advanced to what we see today, which is pretty much uh, nothing. When I went to the public pool when I was a kid, you know, ten, eleven. The, the 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 whole thing of the day <laughs> was to see an older girl with the bush coming out the side of the um of the bathing suit. Right. It, it that was the whole that that was the thi- that's what excited us during the day. Ten, eleven, and you see the like the fifteen, sixteen year old girls, and they all they would have that that mess coming out the sides. It was. It looked like it was amazing. It looked like she was making uh, Jiffy Pop popcorn in her bathing suit bottoms. It was. It was. That was what it was back then. So back then, this is not a bad picture, man. That's uh, how it was back then. That's how they was. You kind of forget, though, man. I gotta give it to it. We've come a bad. long way f- from that look, and it's uh, thank God we have. That's rough. My brother was a big fan of that, though. Big fan. It's something, brother like, Elmo. MySpace. You could you could send him a little message right now. He's a big fan of that. Huge fan. Yeah, I, I, I'm. I am. I am too. Sometimes Oof. you go back and forth. Sometimes you, you like, you like to go it old school. Like, yeah, sometimes you just don't like it looking like a, a a damn child. You just want it. You want some bush. <laughs> never, never do I want anything. But I want it to look like it, it's 500 years in the future. <laughs> just completely <laughs> like glass, like glass. I really do. If, if I touch, I want my hand I, to slip just, off. It's just not. The only way I could deal with it is if it's. If it does, if it has personality without it, yes. If you got those ones that don't have personality, that's the, that must be Photoshop right there. Well, now uh, Danny's yeah. finding some fine pictures. <laughs> that's a mess, but I take that too. That's yeah. horrible. Yeah, I that's, want that's a that's a that's really a mess. 
All right, let's. Uh, yeah, that ain't sexy. You know, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, we have to go back to the Obama thing because people are finding facts. Bob in Jersey, go ahead. Yeah, the reason they collect their number one and number two is because it, every every piece of that gets analyzed, yeah. and that way they find out. Yeah, that way they find out if there's any health problems with the president before it gets out of control. And I'll thank you, sir. They, 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 they've done they've done that for about the past fifteen years. That's why all these presidents. So here they go in for an undisclosed physical. That's why. I don't know about that. Dude, they go in, they get tested so many times in blood work. That is exactly why they do it. It came that came right from the Secret Service. There you go. And they they do that for that reason. Apologize to me, Opie. I'm not yet. What do you do? To you? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Apologize to me. <laughs> He's not even playing around. Cause he, I, I need a backup. I need a, one more. It's not call like he had one of those a Secret Service phones, so you couldn't even trace this call. Yeah, you hear that? You hear that humming in the back? This guy's he works for the CIA. Who Let's, does that for a living? And how do you go through? Like with a cold? He's or only something? president for eight years. They act like they got they got to keep him alive for forty years. Are oh, you assuming he's going to get the, the well, okay? The worst, four, huh? Okay, worst. He's got four or eight years. How how healthy does he have to be? Make sure a bullet doesn't hit him or he doesn't fall down a flight of steps. He'll be okay. Because I, people are trying, first of all, people are trying to kill our president any way they can in these crazy countries. You know? They maybe might, they want to make sure he's not you know being slowly poisoned. That's what I'm saying. you got to keep it. But do, do you think there's a lot less countries that want to try killing him now? No. I think the... the there's more people in the world that uh, you know like this guy than like Bush. When they find out he's just going to be another American president after that, which I that whole I, thing, I agree with. In the they're end. going to try to kill him even more because they're going to go, he tricked us. But the other thing is, a lot of these countries are acting a little funny because they see how this country treats black people. So they're just acting funny, going to war without permission. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't have did that if Bush was in there. He's like, you know, like a substitute teacher right now. What do you got, some Bray? They don't have to collect all this stuff because there are toilets that will analyze. Everything you do. We're There's talking one... on the road, stunt but, brain. We're talking these the... other countries Wait, when he, he takes a dump. He, he he has a special toilet that analyzes everything? There's a t a I ain't toilet. buying no toilet. <laughs> I'd love to have one. <laughs> I ain't it's buying no a... damn toilet. What is wrong with you? It'll tell you how your blood sugar is. It'll check everything. It's not us checking him. It's the these other places that are trying to, co to create things to kill presidents. No. Especially the black president, because I'm sure he has diabetes and sickle cell and high blood pressure. <laughs> so they're going to try to get him. By the way, when Israel attacked Gaza, yeah. Bush is still president. But they oh, did it. They did it. S. No one really oh, is doing anything. S. They know Bush is gone. They did their last little throw a shoe at him just one last time. Yeah. And <laughs> Take this on your way out. Take, take a shoe. <laughs> You idiots. And all they did was make some guy who made those ugly shoes rich because he had to. <laughs> there's like 400,000 of those shoes being made right now. Yeah. But uh, but they wouldn't have did that. They wouldn't have just went to war. They're doing they, yeah. the, the rest of the world is acting funny now. He's got to come in and slap somebody around, man. Let him know he's the HN, you know, I see up in there, man. Let's go to Fontaine. Fontaine, you got more on this Obama waste thing? Yeah, hey, boys. But hey. he's another black listener. Whoa, whoa, whoa. wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I, I've been taking your phone calls for a long time, had no clue you were black. I'm Solidarity, Martin Luther King Day, I'm here, just let it happen, to talk to the man, let it happen. All right, let's get they're some more black out. callers on the show out. today. Who is this caller? Fontaine, calls all the time, I had no idea is that you were name? Really no, black? <laughs> I know, Fontaine? I know. that's like Leroy, <laughs> the white guy, what's this Fontaine? <laughs> What's the matter with you? Disconnected? How could he not no, be black? I don't think I've ever met a, a, a Fontaine before. I don't Fon know. Fontaine. I thought he was. I thought he was like French Canadian or something. That's an old pimp know. name from an old movie. Fontaine. <laughs> yeah. What's All right, Fontaine. You? What do you got on? Yeah, that, that that's a very black name. Damn, I'm a. I was waiting for. Uh, out of touch ass. I was waiting for a frunkus on that last guy's call. I think people make up stuff just to get on the air. Yeah, I don't but believe that. The team that guards the president is called the Eagle Team, and there are three folks on the Eagle Team that have a dissipator. And when the president goes to, you know, where, when he's in public, one of those, he's not allowed to flush. But one of those. Wait, wait, okay, Fontaine, stop right now. Let's, 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 we're talking logistics. But he cannot just take a regular newspaper reading dump, can he? No. Thank you. Why not? What do you can't flush? What's he do afterwards? Probably what all of us want to do is no. take a picture and show your friends. <laughs> hey, look at my friend. Look at my that's girlfriend. Why, that's why he's keeping that BlackBerry. Just... <laughs> I, just, I just know Obama had that going on. Oh. Where he's doing what Jimmy does. 
Yeah, yeah he's, as a goofy show. <laughs> hey, look at my inauguration. They looked like, oh, dude, you got me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this one looks like this one looks like Teddy Roosevelt. Uh, look at this one. Ah. You want to see a picture of the Washington Monument? <laughs> <laughs> I would love to know that he's like that. <laughs> we don't get to see the real guy either. He's got to have something going on. Oh, man. You can't take a real dog. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You can get into all these little yeah. arguments that I'm, I'll lose, but I'm, you can't, he can't just go and go, wait, ah. I want, it, fun, I want wait, it on a news site. I, I hung up on it. I'm sorry, Jimmy. I want to see it on a news site. Then I will give you your apology. I want an apology. Hell no, not yet. You're not going to get... Do you hear... That guy, that guy knew what he was talking about. The other guy about, did. We'll pencil in the apology Wait. for 820 so we'll get a little Hold time on. spent okay. listening today. How all of a sudden is Fontaine... <laughs> who does... I'm looking at a photo of Fontaine. <laughs> and uh, he's a black dude. He, in this picture, he's wearing a blue, red, blue, he's, white, blue shirt, leaning up against a tree, trying to look sexy. Uh, why is Fontaine why all of a sudden the White House minute, correspondent? Right, right. <laughs> he's wearing... He's why wearing are you a, discrediting the black man? Look, because of his bad choice of dress. Because he dresses like a white man. He's this, got is, a this is how you dis not not only, get into discredit black on, people. Not only does he dress like a white man, that's like a shirt from 1987. So you can't maybe. discredit him because of his dress. He's leaning against a tree that a five-year-old should be leaning against. Stephen Hawkins doesn't dress nice. He just, he's a mess. Exactly, but you know what he is. He's a mess. He's not... But he's, he's considered a genius. You don't discredit him by his dress code. Well, he's not calling radio stations. All right, how about, about that? Presidential Patrice? dumps. How about that picture of Fontaine? <laughs> is that Fontaine? <laughs> yes. Fontaine looks intelligent in that. He looks like the black, he looks like the black evil Knievel in that he looks picture. Like, he looks like a retarded Larry Fishburne. He's got a purple black, like, uh, tight superhero outfit on with stars up the leg. What does Fontaine do? We'll put do? these pictures up on onaradio.com. He knows what he's talking about. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. And the other guy collaborated also. They're it's both boobs. Who are these guys? They don't know anything. Yeah, There's not. more people on here. That's telling you, right? There's just more uh, people on here. There's no Secret Service always checks here. public bathrooms before use. Yeah, that's true. Uh, right. Jim collects people's waste. It's not hard to believe. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the phone calls coming in. Hey, with the inauguration, we're going to get more info on that. With the inauguration happening tomorrow, uh, just some uh, some details of what's going on down there in uh, Washington. You've never seen uh, the level of excitement uh, energy and love for your country that you're seeing in Washington, D.C. They're coming from every corner of the country. People set on seeing history in the making. It will be the biggest inauguration, and the, the past uh, largest have been around one and a half million. D.C. Mayor Adrian Fenty has called for all hands on deck when it comes to security. Joining the 4,000 D.C. police officers, another 3,800 are being brought in from around the country. When you tack on the 7,000 National Guardsmen, plus FBI and Secret Service agents, close to 23,000 law enforcement officials will patrol an area of roughly three miles. Wow, 23,000 people on the job tomorrow for this whole thing. And they only have 5,000 porta-potties for the... Well over a million people going into this thing. DC is going to stink, and are they, yeah. and are they going to um? They allowing the mayor to just the mayor is in charge of this? They must have just demoted him down. Uh, of to course the, they did. Not, right? Okay. They, like he can be they're in charge gonna, of this whole thing. The, they're not going to say in the the public. He's like the service. He's the figurehead. Yeah, they want, Obama's going to have trouble getting in. They gonna treat him like an N word. It's like I'm the president. Where's your ID? <laughs> You're protecting me. Jerk. So, so Chris, going with the they check the public bathroom. So the president can't take a courtesy flush. Got to be able to take a courtesy flush. I guarantee no. they check it to make sure there's no. They check the bathroom first. He goes in. Maybe they do like a stool sample analysis every week. That would surprise Not them. me. them. The wherever he is, what they're trying to do to to see what his weaknesses are. They can. But what weaknesses could he have? Diabetes. What could he have? Like they, they realize that they analyze oh. a, his, a urine sample or something, and they realize what. Right. That, you know, that he's a person. I like to think, what is it called, the football? Mm -hmm. That's actually Obama's waist <laughs> that he's just carrying around for analysis. If an, if that has so nothing to do with nuclear weapon codes. <laughs> uh, I might be in trouble. Scott Martin from uh, Japan, of all places. Uh-oh. He's a smarty pants. All right. Presidential poop classified from Huffington Post. Say sorry to Patrice. We'll get the Huff Huffington uh, Post article, and then we'll... Uh, We'll uh, go for an apology. We'll apologize maybe. now. Hell Why no. you gotta wait? Hell no. Just say sorry, Patrice. You you you. Hell no. You know what you was talking about. Hell no. I want it. Uh, they collect this so people I, don't I have DNA. I kind of want Michael Norton a little bit because you you did you didn't you didn't quite say you didn't believe me. You you reserved judgment, but I want one from you too. I want to apologize um, because I I don't 
care what the Huffington Post says. <laughs> you just got a disc. Until a guy calls up and goes, look, that's my job. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, who are you? <laughs> they call me the glove. <laughs> <laughs> ah, let's step aside with that line. Perfect. Opie and Anthony, stay there. Fight the power. Thank you. It's for you, Patrice. It's for everybody. All of them. I like to fight the power, too. All we're we're picking some good ones today. Uh, MLK Day, huh? Yes. Opie and Anthony. I think every other radio show is off except for us. Anthony, of course, isn't here today. Celebrating. Anthony's celebrating today. He conveniently got sick on Martin Luther King Day. 877-212-ONA. Patrice O'Neill helping us out, though. Spike TV uh, show called... Mansers did an episode on presidential poop. Mm -hmm. I'll take one more call. Tim in Rhode Island, what's up? Hey, pleasure for me to talk to Opium and Anthony. Uh, what are you going to do? <laughs> this, on uh, Spike TV, there's an episode of uh, Mansers where yeah. they discuss presidential poop. Yeah. And uh, apparently they do save all the poop and put it in the lab for analysis um, because the president of Egypt's poop was stolen. And people found out he had cancer, and it caused a lot of like civil unrest. But how could you prove that you had the the, the guy's poop? Exactly. When you just say, "Nah, that's what, some other sign dude's it? poop." Yeah, really. A silver sharpie? How they know it's his? <laughs> it's all rumors and conjecture. <laughs> a lot of rumors. Time for you to apologize. Man, if it's true though, if I was apologize Obama, to me. if I was Obama, I'd eat a lot of chili dogs if someone has to deal that's with that. That's all crap. I would eat. I take Metamucil. Right. Some White Castle. Yeah. Throw some White Castle in there. Yeah. The club, I bet you the guy who collects it better be nice to the president, otherwise the diet's going to change. <laughs> right. Have some chocolate milk, Mexican food. There you go. Have a nice day at work. Yeah, enjoy this. <laughs> All right, Patrice, I apologize to you for your obsession on Obama's poop. Thank you me. were right the whole time. Don't, don't give me a backhanded apology. That's, Just say all, I'm that's sorry. all you get today. Just say I'm sorry. That's, that's all you get that's today. That's all you get today. I was wrong, that's all you and get that's today. all you need. That's, that's all you get today. Don't worry about how about we talk uh, Super Bowl? What do you think? You're you're into sports. Cardinals, Steelers. Anything? Exactly. Who cares besides Cardinals fans? Besides those crazy Cardinals fans. They're insane. Who have more <laughs> fans. The, the Dallas Cowboys have more fans that go to their home games than their fans. Yeah. They're, they're fly-by-night fans who are now going to deal with, um, I, I guess, the fact that Philly didn't win. Philly fans and Pittsburgh fans in the same building. What a that would have been huge, ugly. That thing would have been a great been. Super Bowl. Oh my God, those people, Pittsburgh. But it's going to be those Pittsburgh fans uh, raping Arizona fans in the stands. They're so polite. Those uh, St. Louis sports fans, very white, very polite. What Arizona? I mean, Arizona. Well, yeah. What am I saying? Well, Never Arizona's mind. taking. So, they've sucked for so long. I mean, what kind of fans do you want them to have? They haven't won since what, nineteen forty? Nineteen forty-eight. When they how were great the could the fans Chicago be? Cardinals. They're all going to be there. They got some money. It's a night, you know, some money over there in Arizona. How yeah. many games are you going to go to when you know your team is never going to win? That's why there's probably more Dallas. I'm, I mean, I'm rooting. You know, innately, I'm rooting for Arizona to they yeah. haven't won anything. I mean, and then Kurt Warner. Had a good game yesterday. Yeah, it was like to see a big comeback from Kurt Warner, man. Yeah. Like a good quarterback again for some reason. Mm -hmm. And they stopped showing his wife. Remember, <laughs> remember back <laughs> when he played for the Rams, they just continually showed his wife. And I'm like, why would they keep showing this mess? And they stopped doing that, and he's just like a dude now. How old is he? He's, he's probably 40, 39. He's got to be way up in his 30s, right? Yeah, he's in, he's close. And he's good, though, That from playing in that, uh, what's that awful league? USFL? No, no, no. Canadian the, football no, league? No, no, keep going. Arena? No, Arena. And that's why he's so good in the blitz and, and all that. And then Larry Fitzgerald, they got. I've never see, even seen a re receiver as good as him, man. He's amazing, that dude. So, I mean. It's gonna be, I think it's going to be a good game. I hope so. I hope they don't. Cardinals are strong. I hope they don't poop the bed. The Cardinals. Yeah, that'd be fine. You know, I don't want to see Ben Roethlisberger. That awful name. Again. No, that's like a Nazi name. Yeah. I, we got the speed clip that Patrice was oh, talking good. about. We're talking about Keanu Reeves and how he just sucks as an actor in in everything. This this is what like the movies me. have always been have always like kind of carried him instead of him carrying a movie. There's actors that carry movies, and then there's movies that just carry everybody in the cast. And I I think he's one of those guys, and you certainly agree, uh, Patrice. And you said his worst acting ever was a scene in Speed, 1994, when the bus uh, crashes into the baby carriage. They found I, the scene. I, it, it was shocking. Where do we get an escort? Look out! No, baby, it was full of cats. Are you sure? 
Yes. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> I forget. Cans. <laughs> you nailed it. Cans. The best acting in that clip <laughs> was by the cans. <laughs> they sounded like they were clanking and scattering. They were very good. That just couldn't. It, why, sh it why, shocks why, me how bad that is. Why, when you look back at these blockbusters, you, you see horrendous acting. Yeah. That movie was so big. But it was. It was it's like it, another twister thing happened with that movie. I didn't realize how bad the acting was. It was the doorway to speed too, which was really, which was good. <laughs> <laughs> With Patrick, who's who's in that one? Patrick Temuera Morrison had a part in that. Oh, that poor guy who was in who starred in one of the best films ever, Once Were Warriors. Dude, they took him. This is what good. This country is good for taking foreign, famous foreign actors with respect and turning them into fifth leading bums. Yeah, they did it to him, and uh, they made him a fifth leading bum in that movie that Pamela Anderson was in, that awful barbed wire that she got a tattoo on her arm to do. Remember barbed wire? Was he in that? Um, and they, and he, he was on the island of Dr. Moreau. Oh my God! And he, I just seen him in a bad sci-fi network movie. Mm -hmm. Tamaru, ta what was his name? I, I think it's Tamaru Morris. He's a huge know. star oh, in New Zealand. Dude, he, you never seen Once for Warriors? Uh, no, it's great. You got to see that movie. I'll, I'll, but, I'll put it on was, my list. He was like a big. He was like you know the Marlon Brando of uh, somewhere over there. Yeah. In New Zealand, yeah. Yeah, no, nah, they, and they did the same thing to Chow Yun Fat. You notice how he wasn't going out like that. Chow Yun Fat, they he saw what they did to him, putting him with Mira Sorvino. He went, he just went back to China, good, and and stayed respectable. It's said hell no. Yeah, he did that. He did two movies. One with uh, Scott, whoever it was, the karate movie, and one with Mira Sorvino. And he just went back. Did home. he do replacement killers? Is that Chai Yun Fat? That was Mary Sorvino. Okay, Maybe. but you know what? Chai Yun Fat doesn't speak the best English. He's lucky they gave him anything over here. Temuar Marson speaks perfect English. Chai Yun Fat speaks <laughs> Chinese. What are we gonna do with him? <laughs> well, we're, we're doing something. We're doing something with that squeaky voice, Jackie Chan. Yeah, but Jackie Chan speaks a lot better English than than Chai Yun Fat. No, I think. no, 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 no. Well, he's charming. He smiles. He kind of has a Pete Rose haircut. We like Jackie Chan. <laughs> I don't know. Like, Chai Yun Fat did violent, vicious yeah, films. He's a, he's a serious dude. Oh, yeah, that's what they should keep him in. But they just always bump you down to bum. Just bump you down to just. They bumped him down to Mira Sorvino's partner. Mm. Ugh. Hey, Kurt Warner's thirty-seven. And uh, Patrice Cardinals sell out every game. They have real fans. No, a lot the of the Cardinal fans, fans are, are Dallas fans. Listen to how many cheers you get for the other team. I sound like my aunt the way I just phrased that, but you know what I mean. There's a lot of. Did you see how many how many people cheer was when Philly scored? Yes, absolutely. Dude, they, they don't they don't. <sighs> Dude, uh, people want to defend Keanu Reeves. He was good in uh, Point Break. Oh, with Patrick Swayze, that stunk. <sighs> Come on, man. I, 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 I haven't That's seen like that movie. Somebody was good in Red Dawn. Like it's just one it's of those. It's been movies. too long. I don't. I don't remember his acting in that. I anymore. can't. I just can't believe how bad uh, he is. Dave in Boston. How are you, Dave? Not too bad. What's up, guys? Welcome aboard, Dave. How the Celtics doing? They started falling apart a little bit on you guys, huh? You know, I couldn't care less. Oh, uh, you're one of those. <laughs> we we went over yeah, this. Yeah, pretty much. We went pretty over. Much. Patrice brought it to the table. It's like Boston finally has a really good team, but the uh, the race is up there. They just don't want to follow a, the all black. <laughs> they need a white. <laughs> they need a white hero in Boston. <laughs> right. <laughs> I need a hero. Sports, sports. It has to be white. I'm pulling out for a hero. Sports <laughs> fans up there in a quandary. They're like, this team is like one it's of the all best ever. Right. But it's all black, and they're like, <laughs> they come from. <laughs> Remember that break we did? <laughs> they admitted it too. They came out of the woodwork. One black hero is Bill Russell, and that was just. They, they just they, see one white dude. They can at least go look, you know. Yep, none. You see Larry Bird recently? What's he looking like? They did some uh, commercial with like some of the old legends. I forgot the commercial. And Larry Bird looks horrendous. He looked like that in '89. He looks horrendous. Like, uh, who would have thought that Magic Johnson, because I believe Magic's in the same commercial, <laughs> would look way better than Larry Bird in the year 2009? Being that Magic, Magic should be looking like <laughs> like Kareem Abdul. The best Bar line ever said at a roast. Oh, uh, I forget who it was. It was some more, some more who said to Flavor Flav, "You look like Magic Johnson should, should look." look. Oh, <laughs> right, greatest, line unbelievable. Roast. Man. And he and Larry Bird always looked bad. But <laughs> when he stopped working out and yeah, time hasn't been kind to this guy. He's got like Michael a, a Jordan massive, starting to drift away a little bit. Massive uh, pelican neck. Oh Jesus! It's kind of sad to see Jordan losing a little bit, getting and that, soft, and that, right? And that finger turned to the completely east. Right. That pinky finger that's broken. He never get a fix. Yeah. 
But Matt Bird. I helped his shot, that's why. Magic look, is looking look at this. fantastic. Look at this Larry Bird. If uh, He looks a little better. <laughs> he looked like a bird. <laughs> no kidding. Like a pelican. Look at this. He's his. awful. <laughs> He looks, he looks better like there than Elmo. the commercial I saw. <laughs> oh, Jesus. He looks like Elmo. <laughs> oh. He looks like he's missing his teeth. He's just like a, a healthy junkie. Larry Bird's a mess. Let me see, let me see sad, uh, Jordan man. now. I want to see Jordan. I haven't Jordan seen is getting a little soft, getting, and, yeah. and that depresses the hell out of me. How like it? when you see old footage of uh, Muhammad Ali, you're like, God damn. People forget he's how great he was. He's not always freshly cut. Like back in the day, Jordan you never catch him not being cut. Yeah, and he has he now you can see the 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 gray poking where his hair still grows. Right, and and is the where he could easily fix because he's young enough to fix that crap still. Oh, jeez, man, he just. It's, how about Tyson? You want to talk about someone that got a little chubby? Wow, wow. Yeah, Tyson is. Uh... Mike Tyson put on a few pounds. <laughs> oh man, there's nothing. No one wants to see a fat Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> That's sadder than anything I can think of. It's a fat Tyson. Is that a picture of him now? Jordan? He looks all right there. Yeah, right there. He looks like a... But he looks a little tired in the eyes now. Oh, he started losing in the eyes. Patrick Ewing has that going on. He looks like he's way too old. I guess that's what happens though, when you're age. famous, when you're young and delicious. When you're an athlete, yeah. Oh, man. And then you just become what you should be when you're 40. Look at Mike. You would think these guys would... Continue working out, but I guess you get sick of it after you retire, right? Yeah. Uh, let's go back to Dave in Boston. Uh, Dave, you got a can of Reeve line or something? My Reeves? God, if you think the one uh, from Speed is bad, yeah. take a look at Little Buddha. My God, uh, Keanu Reeves trying to be a, uh, a God guy, and when he comes up with the line, you mean I'll die, you've got to find it. It is, yeah, let's try to find it is the, worst, the worst acting ever, ever. Okay, we'll try to find that one too. It's about time he gets a beating. I don't, I don't, I don't, I can't think of one movie where he was, he carried the movie just He's with just his awful. acting abilities. Cause like Jimmy brought up Devil's Advocate. I thought that was just an amazing movie. It didn't matter who, who played his, uh, right, his right. character. The movie was just good. Look at Tyson. Thank you, Dave. Yeah. Yeah. Just look at the girl he's with him. Still with a gut. Girls are great. He has chubby legs. His look legs are great. chubby. Look how great girls are, man. He's just a mess and they still just there. Yeah. God yeah. bless him. Probably has bad Red Bull breath. <laughs> you can see that Red Bull <laughs> cans there. Red Bull makes your breath stink like sugar <laughs> and dry mouth. I hate Red Bull. I'll never drink it. It stinks. <laughs> Dude, you want a Red Bull? I certainly don't. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> what is... why, don't you, why don't you drink this? The, one of the president's aides is carrying it in a bag. Make your breath better than Red Bull will. <laughs> Danny, what do you got, Danny? Uh, this was something I found a while ago. It's it was before he was famous. He was doing like he was like reporting for I think it was like a college TV station. Keanu Reeves. Yeah, and uh, this is him doing some report about I think a teddy bear convention. When Going Great sent me to check out the first Canadian international teddy bear convention, I thought I was in for a lot of craziness. But then I met 13-year-old Grant. He thought he was in for a lot of craziness, Jimmy, at the teddy bear convention. How could you not? I mean, you know. That, that sounded like a scene from Devil's Advocate. That was his wife dying scene. That's exactly the same range of emotion. No, I liked him in that one. When he was trying to get mayor, I thought that was the best thing he's ever done was that scene. Yeah. He was very, he was very, uh, very believable in that scene as his wife cut her throat. <laughs> <laughs> no one's worse than Christopher Lambert. But Keanu Who is, is he? very. I know the name. I don't know what he's done. Chris Lamb. He played Great Greystoke in The Legend of Tarzan. Oh he played. Give me a picture Tarzan. of that guy. But then I met 13-year-old Graham Abbey and his 53 bears, and discovered there's a serious side to collecting teddy bears. What do your friends think about you collecting bears? <laughs> <laughs> they don't mind because it's collecting. Uh, that's great. Them. Damien from The Omen collects teddy bears. <laughs> <laughs> what a creep this kid is. <laughs> no eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> he has the same hair that Stump Brain wants. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Just putting charcoal and bleach on top of his stupid head. <laughs> this looks like he rubbed his head on a balloon. <laughs> he probably he probably grew into a plushy lover, this kid. Oh, he's a creep. He probably yeah, dresses he... as a teddy bear now and has... has... <laughs> he got that bald transvestite face. Yeah. We... <laughs> his hair like the Illinois governor. This kid's a creep. <laughs> <laughs> it's collecting. It's not as if I play with them, and they know I'm not the kind of kid who would really play with them. Look at this fairy, so soft and cute. Oh, oh let's see, let's see. Cute. Oh, she's so cute. Hey. Look at that. Oh, back down, RJ. I've been looking all over for you. We gotta go down to the Bears Only Cafe and talk business. Listen, you know that Bears Necessity Contest? 
we've got problems. So listen, we'll go down, we'll talk business, and hey, everything will be okay. I love this guy. Well, as Graham Abbey says, if the bear fits, wear it. You know what? I should have hung in there, Jimmy. That is no better than the early stuff I was doing that I put up online recently. What year is that? 84. 84. 1984, Keanu Reeves. We'll put the uh, the the video up on onaradio.com. Oh, my Oof. God. He's a handsome dude, though. Jesus. Who, oh, Keanu? Yeah. Stupid Keanu, but, you know. Mm-hmm. He's half something, half something else. Of course he is. Why wouldn't he be? <laughs> half awful, half yeah. terrible? <laughs> <laughs> you got to be half and half, and then you're like a supermodel. That's how it works. Half and half. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, Spiro says it. Old uh, Keanu sounds like the old Opie tapes. Absolutely. He probably has and, a kind of American Indian in him. And Chow Young Fat was good in Pirates of the Caribbean, someone is saying. Oh, who and cares? Of- but, but he played, he played um, a Chinese guy. Like he played, a, uh, you know, he played what he's supposed to play. Chow Young Fat belongs in China with John Woo in China doing what they do without the American rating system ripping the, the, the bag off of both of them. Because John, there's no way John Woo is going to do a great John Woo film in hard, this Hard country. target with, um, uh, what's his name, uh, uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme. That was a good movie. I didn't see that. That was a John Woo film. I John saw Face Woo. Off. Face Off was a great movie. I'll throw my coffee in your face. You didn't like Face Off? How can you? It was pretty good. Oh, that stung with the awful touch that Travolta did. <laughs> the creepiest move ever. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever he would leave his wife, he would take his fingers and brush them over the middle of her face. And that was the move he would give her. Like, that was supposed to be the affectionate couples thing they did. <laughs> <laughs> and then when Nicolas Cage was in the body, I'm not Caster Troy. <laughs> Who, by the way, this could be very dangerous for me to say. Who, by the way, could be in in the top all time worst actor? Nicolas Cage. Yes. He is a bum. Oh, He's a bum. I he was good in Valley Girl with that performance. Uh, he, he, or, or Arizona. Raising Arizona, why, why is he that had me in tears? Why is he? Because he's royalty. He's like you f know, royalty. He takes me out of every movie he's in. He is oh, just every effing movie. He's terrible. Ghost Rider was just shocking. That fingers oh, across the minute, face. Oh, wait a you making me turn on Facebook? <laughs> but it was just that was the it big was a move. Good movie though. It was a good movie. <laughs> they had to say how could they connect? <laughs> how could they make Travolta oh. have such a bond with his wife that she would have the moment where she knew it was him with a new face? And that irritating thing he did every t- picture you, any girlfriend you're dating. Picture if your move was to go goodbye and then take your fingers and brush them over the center of her face. She would hate that. <laughs> movie stunk. Bunch of doves. <laughs> it was horrendous. I gotta go see the movie. Now. I gotta see it again. It was terrible. <laughs> I know we gotta take a break there. Uh... Lack of hair, but give us a minute here. I think that movie did stink. I'm sorry, <laughs> Norton. Holy moly. It's dumb. It's dumb. Oh, his little, oh. His little brush across Castle his face. Castle Troy. This is Castle Troy. Oh, it was horrendous. Oh, that awful name. Oh they're, oh, they're going around the column looking at each other. Oh, boo. <laughs> boo. Oh, it was terrible. <laughs> Jesus killing me. <laughs> You're killing me. Those awful doves. Oh, just so John Wooish. Oh, I forgot. I forgot about Harry, I take it back. It's dumb. That movie stuck. I forgot about the doves. With that dumb. Oh. Oh, that was horrendous. Oh, John Travolta oh. and his tour divorce when he played Castle Troy. Yeah. The mean Castle Troy and the nice him. And they just reversed it. Oh. And they both thought they was amazing. And those <laughs> those dumb method actors, they probably sat in there, like, sucking each other's vibe. Oh. Up as they did. Just terrible. Nicholas Cage probably put on Travolta's awful wig. <laughs> <laughs> tried giving a Hummer to a guy in a 727. <laughs> 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 oh, face off, stop. <laughs> Oh my god! I saw Oh, that's stupid! Cast Detroit that dumb hand! Oh. That's how I found out! Did you ever see Face Off? Of course! Oh my god! Oh, see, hey, see if you can get a clip of that for when we come back. Yeah. That stupid 
oh. annoying finger brush that you smell your fingers. In the state of the art prison oh. with the magnetic boots. Oh. <laughs> terrible. We got to step aside for a second. Yeah, and Danny, what else you got? You got terrible oh. Nicholas uh, Cage acting? Yeah, there's, oh. a, there's a clip from The Wicker Man that uh, wow made me laugh really hard the first wow. time I heard it. All right, so F Nicholas Cage and his stupid royalty. Wow. Well, how about in, in Tin Man or whatever? What was it called where he played where he got he plays the guy who he, he added Tourette's oh. to try to give his character depth <laughs> and it had no bearing on the film whatsoever? <laughs> Matchbook Man or Matchstick Man? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. He tries to add Tourette's to people like, wow, this guy really goes another level. <laughs> <laughs> he should be shot. Wow, he's got some range. Oh, you changed my mind. Uh -huh. My face off. It stinks. You see a lot of dumb movies. Patricia. I'm so sorry, dude. My life face off. It's annoying. It just made it stink. It just stinks now. It took him two minutes. Oh, my God. We'll continue. Also, speaking of bad actors, uh, Joaquin Phoenix. A little story about what he's doing now. Well, hopefully have his lip operated on it. <laughs> Stacy, keep face. We don't need you. Yeah. <laughs> he's remaking Kill... What was that? Twinkle, twinkle, killer cane. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Mike Hammerface to shut up and, and, and retire, you bum. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Obi and Anthony. Anthony's out sick today. We got Patrice O'Neill killing for us. We were laughing through the break, man, because he's apologizing to Jimmy over Face Off. It took it took Jimmy two minutes to Dude, to turn you on a movie you thought you loved. I I I I knew it was bad, but the things you were picking up on were, were things I was ignoring because I was just watching this. I I don't know why I thought it was good. It, that's why it took so fast for you picked out the things that I was hiding and inside. You questioned your detail, yeah, yeah, and it just was as dumb. That movie stinks, and I'm anti-face off that quick. <laughs> people, people are like, "Wow, what a hell of a heel turn Dude, I, you made with face off today." It just make I like logic. He just mm. broke it down. I couldn't even break down why it's good. That's why I, immediately he wins. He broke down why it stunk, and I agree. What do you say? It starts with the name of the movie. The name of the movie's face off, and it's about faces coming off. <laughs> it's about faces coming off. It stinks. <laughs> it really is. It's a heinous movie. Face off. And we just saw the clip what? where Travolta comes and hugs his wife, and uh, the daughter runs in, <laughs> and they look at each other lovingly, and he does that that awful, it's like a blind, it's like David Patterson says hello to somebody. He just puts his hand. <laughs> <laughs> he just brushes his dumb hand over her face, and her lower oh. lip drips a little when his finger brushes. No, the way, wait, and Norton, wait. See, I remember that he squeezed it like he like he would hold it and pull the face like as he's like he's pretending to pull the face off. He he takes his hand and strokes down the entire face. It with his open fingers across each region of the face, down over the mouth, over the lips. It stinks. That's not even acceptable if he pureled right before he did it. <laughs> his dirty hands. It just I can't believe Norton. It, this, I have no comeback for how bad that movie is. Well, we, I, I'm right with you. And uh, let's stay with Nicolas Cage. Danny found something that's really funny, Danny. You guys been making fun of Face Off for a while, you and uh, Travis? Yeah, me too. Every dude. Since, <laughs> since since we've all known each other as a group, we've been just bragging on that. Especially especially the part uh, where uh, Travolta is talking to his crew. Uh, he's the Nicolas Cage character now, but he's talking to his crew. He's talking about what happened. He goes, they took his face, and then he makes this gesture like he's taking the face off, like Patrice had mentioned. Off. And like this big dramatic pause. They took his face off. Oh, <laughs> oh, and he's walking around with the with the lower uh, derm. What's that? What's the second layer of skin? Oh yeah, I, just, I was just watching that on YouTube. Yeah, where... and he's just walking around. He's doing acting with the with the muscle yeah. tissue. And he's, he's, he's smoking a cigarette, and it's just muscle tissue. It's muscle a tissue and a cigarette. Just walking around, angry that he has no face, with his magnetic boots, and then he. <laughs> Why did they come in and they have completely different bodies, but since they have the same faces, <laughs> you think it's him? Oh, yeah, John Travolta, who's pudgy, and Nicolas Cage, who 
see he works out every day. You know what? I got his face. Let me put Opie's face on my face. And I'm going to walk around it now. <laughs> so his face off now. This is, this is, I got Opie's face. This is the same person that loved the movie 15 minutes ago. It's stupid. I, I, I will never be your friend, Let man. Me you, tell you suck. Just because, You'll turn on your friends like that. No, I will not. Because if, if someone comes up with a better reason... Like, if I'm going, hey, yeah, I'm friends with Opie, and you go, why? Because I'm here's why I'm not. Right. And somebody systematically breaks it down, and I go, wow, I was thinking I shouldn't be friends with him for those reasons, but you, just, <laughs> you said it. You didn't, even have, a, in it. You didn't even have a, a counter argument to, have, you to know Norton's uh, observations about the movie. Because he picked out the things <laughs> that were dumb, and the things that are good about it are dumb. Yeah. Like, everything is dumb about the movie. Now i got to go F and F. See that movie. Yeah, I but he picked out the worst long. of the dumbness. Yeah, with the hand and the doves. The hand and, wrote it for me. And the bullets, you can see the bullets, and somebody's moving. And they're doing a video game thing. Oh there. God, hey, damn! Let's go to Danny. So you got a clip of Nicolas Cage? Yeah, this is a clip from The Wicker Man. Oh. And uh, to be perfectly honest, I never saw the whole flick, but uh, I was I was shown this, this piece you. of audio. And I immediately busted out laughing. This could possibly be one of the funniest things I've ever heard. Good it's for you. It's not supposed you. to be funny. Obviously. No, it's not no. supposed to be funny. Obviously. What's happening yeah. in the clip? <clears throat> uh, to be perfectly honest, I'm not exactly sure, but 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 something is attacking Nicolas Cage. Let's just put it that oh way. God. He's being attacked by something. Oh, I want to put one of the Coppolas. <laughs> hold on a minute. Is is it the is it the scene where he actually finds out? Like I said, I'm not sure because okay. I haven't seen All it in right. its entirety. But just give give it a listen. Let's take a lesson. Oh, no, not the beast! Not the beast! Ah! Oh, my eyes! My eyes! Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and that's it, but it makes me laugh so hard. Can you <laughs> move? you got to put that in my replay now. Wow. Ah! We're, we're going to make that a big one. Dude, It's you got to go from the moment he finds that's out that there's a, a cult, there's some kind of weird cult, the moment he finds that out to the moment he's burning to death yeah. is the worst. It's excruciating. Let's go to San, Di <laughs> San Diego from uh, Santiago, probably, in Denver. Yeah. Uh, Santiago, yes. Oh, my God. Hey, guys, how's it going? Hey. Um, I, I watched that movie when I was 16 in the theater, and I have not Peace stopped off. talking about it ever since. I tried to tell my girlfriend about the, uh, mm -hmm. the brush move with the fingers, but my favorite part <clears> is when uh, John Travolta... It's switching over to Nicolas Cage, and they put this voice box in him, and they go, repeat after me, peach, I can eat a peach for hours. And it's John Travolta's voice, and all of a sudden it gives this little, and it turns into Nicolas Cage, peach, I can eat a peach for hours. <laughs> well, I bet you that Travolta, Travolta probably couldn't say I could eat a peach for hours. There's something in his real life that won't allow him to say that. <laughs> I wonder why. I can chew a ball for months. <laughs> no, repeat after me. I can eat a peach for now. No, 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 no. I can chew a ball for a month. <laughs> that stupid face brush. Dad, were you eating onions? Oh, no, Daddy's bag was itchy. <laughs> it, no, I, I'm telling you, I can't, I have no retort because I, I just liked it. And if anybody, there's some movies you go, I liked it. But if somebody can give you a good example of why it's bad, you yeah. know, I'll turn right. on that movie. In a minute. All right, uh, speaking of actors that uh, we're shaky about, Joaquin Phoenix. Jimmy's talked about Joaquin over the years on the show. He was good in Gladiator, but he whispers his dialogue. He likes to whisper. Oh, he whispers. <laughs> He's terrible. He's terrible. He was terrible as Johnny Cash. He was terrible in, uh, who was that, that bum sh M. Night? Yeah, what was the name? Uh, I'm trying to The Village. The Village, the village the right. Village, yeah. yeah, he whispered through the entire movie. The home. Why would you do that? Yeah. Horrendous. You want to know what he's up to? No, I'd love to. He's blown off Hollywood. Good. He's had enough, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Lucky Phoenix is going from acting to rapping, believe it or not. Phoenix said goodbye to his career in Tinseltown and debuted his rapping skills over the weekend in Las Vegas. Fellow brother-in-law and actor Casey Affleck is following him on the road as he's set to direct the documentary on Phoenix's latest endeavor. Even P. Diddy is on board with the project. He's set to produce Phoenix's first album. This has got to be a joke. Hold, he, this is not real. This has to be a mockumentary. Nope. Nope. They're going to take it as serious. Serious stuff. Joaquin Phoenix is going to be uh, a rapper. Do you have any of the rapping? 
sort of, but it's so much, so noisy, it's really hard yeah. to hear. There, there is a clip that's on, you know, ma- most of the major celebrity sites, but it, it's it's like cell phone video, so it's so muddy, you can't really, really hear what saying, and it's just. What's, I'm, I'm sure, sure I couldn't anyway, it was crystal clear. Yeah. Fix my lip, I gotta fix my lip. <laughs> Stinks. <laughs> uh, which is, <laughs> hair lips of. <laughs> They're Matt horrible, and 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 keloid ear bubbles are, uh, and and that's something black people get. But but hair lips and keloid ear bubbles is just one of them things you just can't look by. I can't look past it. He's growing a beard real quick. You notice that he grew a beard? Uh, Wouldn't you to hide that? He probably, that's why he didn't want to be in Hollywood because every role he did, he probably said, I, I, I grow a beard or do something to hide this. And they said no. Can I wear a mask. That's why I couldn't ever look at Stacy Keach. I enjoy my hair, but I'm just looking at that yeah. lip fall up into his nose, and I'm just like, ah, it's terrible. Just, Go, get away. It's terrible. Fix that or just go home. <laughs> You're uncomfortable to look at. <laughs> By the way, eat popcorn and enjoy this. <laughs> wrecking it in your face. <laughs> By the way, we got a celebrity among us today. I, I didn't forget about you, JC. I noticed your mom was so bored she was reading in, uh, through the yes. entire show. Thanks, Mom. Nothing makes us feel good about what we're doing. Oh, it's than, my book. And seeing a, a, a mother reading the entire time while we're trying to entertain people. But JC is here, 13-year-old JC. He's uh, wise beyond his years. You having a good time? You want to come in for a minute? Hang with the big boys? Wait, that's that's Joaquin Phoenix. It looks like Zach Galifianakis. That doesn't look like Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah, he's got a... He looks like he's in the, the beard wars looks that like Ron and Fez Tom. are doing. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah a little bit younger Tippy Tom, right? With less talent for acting. Yeah, that's a uh, compliment there, guys. Thanks. I Tippy Tom. Know. No, not you. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin oh, okay. Phoenix. Yeah, what, you, you don't look anything like Tippy Tom, JC. Uh, yeah, I know that. I just you guys make those jokes, you know. Yeah, that's a uh, thirteen-year-old JC calls the show all the time. Patrice. Oh, cool. Patrice Welcome could care Patrice. less, but uh, cool. What are you doing here to get Jimmy's book signed? Uh, yeah, that's part of the reason I came. Sure, man. And that's got to be your mom, right? Who was completely bored with yeah. with the festivities going on in front of her. Yeah, of course she is. I don't blame her. Uh, it's not a bad show today. <laughs> Thanks, JC. <laughs> We're busting our asses here trying to entertain the people. Can I point out the best part of Joaquin Phoenix's face? Yeah. Is the way the beard, the beard <laughs> hair, <laughs> refuses to hide the hair lip. Dude, he's trying to do a comb over with his mustache. Can you see that? <laughs> he's taping part of his beard to hide that abominable lip. It, it splits. There's Nothing will grow there. It's like nuclear he's, waste in the middle of his The face. left side of his mustache is a lot more bushier to try to hide. And then I think he's pushing it over a little bit. Oh, what a nightmare. Poor guy. Looks like a uh, middle-aged rock star. That's exactly what it looks like. Yeah, it's definitely. A bum. Are you excited about the Obama thing there, JC? What's going on in your school? Uh, well, we're watching the inauguration, but all my teachers are like, "Oh, Obama is our savior, Messiah. Oh, joy." Yeah. Do you think that? No, I, I don't know. I don't really care. But you're interested in politics for the first time in your young life, right? Well, yeah. Well, to a certain degree. Uh-huh. You can only put up with them so much. It's the same <laughs> speech. I believe in America. We can stand up together. Says it a hundred times. Apparently, people just love him even more. Mm-hmm. We'll uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. What are you doing, Jimmy? I'm signing the book docs. I run right out after the show. No, so it, the you know what? I, I know what you're doing. You going where? You know, you know the segment where JC's not doing well, so he ran and got his book to, to get the kid out of here. No, not at all. Here, so I here take run. Jimmy's book. Here's his you're autograph. Now scram. I am. Yeah, but I I leave right after the show, and I walk right over. So I, I was signing his book now, so I didn't have to rush it and just. JC, just... is your father still in the home? Uh, no, he's actually at work. He had to work. Today. No, I mean, no, I mean him and your mom still there. Yeah, you got there. You got uh, you're still together, mom, oh, with yeah. pops. Yeah, of course. Mm. Yeah, right. he's a well-adjusted kid. I'm he's just a little, saying, I was asking. A little too smart for his age. Mom's looks a little, you know. What? She looks a little. What? Go ahead, put the compliment Want, out there. Wanting. <laughs> Dirty old house broad. Look at him. Oh wow. No offense. I'm just saying she's a. She's a. <laughs> she's a yeah. <laughs> well, I don't even know what to do with that. <laughs> That's why I asked. You know, look at her, Travis, right? Oh, she's giving yeah. her yeah, finger. She, nice. Let me tell you something. Nice. She stuck a finger at me, which I, I, this is that says a lot. No right? offense, JC, but your mom is not who she claims to be. <laughs> she is. Um, yep. yep. She yep. looks like someone famous. Who does she look like? Um, I tell you exactly. What? She looked the mother from. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Home Alone. Yes, with shorter hair. Is that what you get? She looks like. Uh, hey, mom. Pay attention. Is that what you get? Look at Home alone, mom? Trying to keep that housewife look. She probably has a hidden closet full of batteries. <laughs> My dad does support the Second Amendment. Mm-hmm. No, we're talking about the, uh, you know, the, the toys. You ever find your mom's toys? Uh, oh, God, no. Yeah, don't, don't introduce that to this kid. His mom's knows, though. When she's packed, look at her. She's got a nice little figure yeah, on her. Nice uh, little JJ. shape. Get your mom's in here. Do your, do your friends like uh, coming over to check out mom? 
I don't have any friends. No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah. No, she, no. No. And, no. And, and, and kids no. don't have friends anymore like that. Like, you know. Yeah. When, hot I, was mom up, I, when I was growing up, I hung out with this one kid because mm, his mom was yep. really hot. Yep. I couldn't wait to go over there after school. They got play dates, man. He comes in the day. They don't, they don't have friends. My, my girl's daughter don't have no friends. She has to plan her friendship. All right. Stupid, Today right? at 3 o'clock, I'm going to have a friend. Like, it's just ridiculous what they do to kids. They're saying you look like Annette Benning too. Annette? Yeah. A young Benning, Annette that's Benning. That's who it is. There it is. Annette Benning. We're in. Hey, Mom. JC, your mom's hot. She actually looks better Get than Annette Benning. Let me talk to you for a minute. Yeah, let's talk to Mom. See your hot mom. Look at no that. No offense, JC, but you're bombing. We're yeah, your mom. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> yeah. like a 30. Uh, I, I think it. Oh, yeah, I'm trying. You're, you're better on the phone. She's still no, hanging in there. Just give me a little bit of time. My, my, my. Hanging in there. She's probably not even that old. She's in her mid-40s, close to, right? Okay. Delicious. <laughs> Delicious. Yeah. She likes you. This is Mom Luther King Day. What can you do for us, <laughs> our people? Your people? Yeah. What do you want me to do for your people? Oh, God, look at her. Your, <laughs> JC, I think you should leave because your mom's is She's ready to go. She's exactly <laughs> She's what I think go. she is. She is, exact, she, is a, she is a category on a porn site. If you, t if you type up <laughs> certain sure. category, beep, beep, beep. <laughs> I'm not going to say which one, but uh, she looks a little bit. I, I Honestly, she, you remind me a little bit of a much younger version of my mom in, in the shape of her face. She looks like my mother. Really? Yeah, but younger. Just like a, a so woman. JC's going to look like you? His age? Oh, she's lucky, yes. She's smart, too. She's like uh -oh. a smart mouth. <laughs> I'm an older man. I'm 40. I look very young. I'm bubbly. Mm -hmm. She just wants her librarian haircut oh head pulled around. <laughs> <laughs> Sexy. God damn, JC. Your mom is good looking. Well, is little... she racist? Tell the truth. Uh, no <laughs> is she racist? Is she racist? Does no, she call us no, them? No. She's not. She's no, a... she's not. She's she never says them? What does she do for a living? Uh, she's an attorney. So you oh. Oh. <laughs> I want to thank JC's oh, mom for boy. stopping by. Oh, oh boy. She understands slander and all oh. sorts of stuff. Oh say. boy. Oh, yes. well, I'm saying oh boy because she's a lawyer. Yeah, but I do criminal defense if that helps. Mm, see what I'm saying? Smart mouth. Let me tell you something. The three dirtiest women you ever meet lawyers, mm. doctors, and teachers. Any cases we know that you could talk about? Uh, probably not. You can't talk about. Can't talk about. But she handled a couple of rappers who who didn't have the money to pay her, <laughs> so she took it in other ways. She said, "Slide everything off my desk. <laughs> I want to hear that that Does staple she, hit the floor, Jack." No worries, Fitty, it's covered. <laughs> right. Is, is she a slide everything off off right. her desk? Everything except for her, her desktop, her her giant desktop calendar that she marks her meetings in. <laughs> just, this is just uncomfortable. <laughs> Why? So she's a nice person. She is. She's gorgeous. JC, you're going to take this? You can't take this. What he's, making to do? he's making fun of your mom. Yeah, I'm not me. making fun of her. She's gorgeous. Defend me. On what? <laughs> I'm saying, I'm being a little vulgar. Let me stop. But you, you're a lovely lady. Well, thank lovely. you. Lovely, yes. Thank you. Yeah, your dad don't say it every day. What's your dad do, JC? Uh, he's, what, vice president now? Oh, George. Uh, an energy company, basically. Oh, oh my God. Oh, perfect dude, that's family. what I'm saying, dude. Yeah. They don't. <laughs> they they're just holding on for your sake. <laughs> Things are gonna change when you turn eighteen, JC. But five more years. As soon as they get you out the house, it's it's over. Yeah. Is your dad good looking? Oh, I don't know. You don't know? Yeah. He's all right. He's got all his hair. Yeah, sure. mm. overweight. How long have you been in the chart? Brain, don't listen to that. Sixteen, seventeen years. That's how long. What? She's been a lawyer. Lawyer. Oh man. So she's bringing her home. You got, you got brothers and sisters, box. Casey? Well, I have a half-sister. She lives right here in New York City. She's 31, too. 30, from 30, him? Three. Yeah, from him. Oh, so he's an older gentleman. So he's older. Slightly, yes. Your mom's are smart. How long they been together? How long you guys been together? 20, 19, 17. 17 years. Oh, so he caught you young. There you yeah. go. <laughs> there you now go. He's not interested no more. And you're just running around bringing your son to places, getting book signed. Hanging out in the city today. With your expensive pearls that mean nothing to nobody. <laughs> I don't know that they're expensive. Yeah, they're new. They're, they're, What's wrong with you? I'm gonna tell you, they're not white pearls. They're they're so uh, they're black pearls. What's wrong with black pearls? Is racist towards pearls. Yeah, top of the line. <laughs> That's top of the line. Black pearls. Top of the line pearls. Yes. Black pearls better than white pearls. Yeah, I didn't know In that. In the pearl market, yeah. Okay. Right. She knows. I think that's true. Abs there you go. She knows. She She's knows. trying to downplay it. Yeah, this isn't about. I, I want to apologize to you, Miss Jay Z. J J C J C right J C's mom J C's mom because it, it, it there is a uh, energy here that is uncomfortable for most people but I'm just saying I picked up right away what you are 
As soon as I heard, his, as soon as his father kicks the bucket, it is JC's mama time. Um, I just need a sign off from a doctor in your last three years tax return, so we'll talk. Hey, well, check this out. Let me ask you this. Do you need the sign off from the doctor? Is that really important? <laughs> you know, it came this. first. How about my promise? Is mid is mid seven hundred good enough credit for you? That that'll get us started. Yeah. Be and, as, and for a black man, mid 700s might as well be perfect score. Okay. That's a good All right. grading on a curve. That's that's rocking for serious. a black man. Because yeah. you get an extra 70 just because you're white. So, yeah. if, you, <laughs> so if, you, if you're a white guy, you're born with 70, <laughs> 70 points in your credit score. <laughs> so if you have a 720, it's already a 790 just because you're white. Well, you're married for loved ones, then you're married for the money. Oh, see, JC, you know, you shouldn't be listening to what, what your mama She's really smart. is. Oh, she is, and she teaches you very well. Miss JC's mother, thanks for um, yeah, right on, talking man. to me. I really appreciate that. Well, thank you. Oh, We're going to take a quick break. We're going to do a little mopping up next. I have to plug something I forgot. <laughs> no, what do you got to plug, Jimmy? Uh, Fedor oh. Emelianenko is coming in studio we have him, uh, in about an hour. Yeah. We have him. That's huge for us. He doesn't speak English, though, right? Uh, we're very little. He has a translator. Oh, but, you know, oh, oh I'm going to mess with him. Talks though. like the Terminator. He oh, speaks the language of fist and the teeth. <laughs> right. Oh, Understood universally. Oh, he... You think he'll attack me right away? Like, just because that's his... He'll that's just his look instinct? at you. Well, well, he's, I, I think he's probably... He's, I mean, in, in MMA, I think he's the best Everyone's fighter in the world. Everyone's talking about him. Uh, you're also going to Miami? Wednesday? I, I, I go. I'm doing one show Wednesday night. At the link, it's, I think I forget my theater. It's at the Miami Festival. Right. Wednesday night, I'm doing one quick show, and then flying back ashamed and dejected Thursday morning. And Patrice, what do you got going on? Anything? Uh, f Fort Lauderdale, Florida, um, this week. All right, cool. My damn prof. Oh, let's hang out. What happened? You guys are close. Aren't you coming back? When are you coming? Oh yeah, he's coming back. Oh, we'll wrap up next. Yeah. Well, then you click. Do you actually like have physical contact? No. Or? No, never. No. Then how do you do a tickle? Exactly. Fight? The computer decides who wins. Oh, I didn't know at that far because I never did anything but hit deny. How about this? Yeah. Tim Norton invites you to a beheading. That'd be great. <laughs> well, but then you could see who has won the most tickle fights from all your friends. Yeah. Oh, all right, I didn't know. It was. All right, well, that kind of makes it better. Let me tell you what, I'm I'm also an eye reporter. That's oh. right. The Opster is an eye reporter. Wow. Yeah. You know what eye mm. report is? On CNN? I enjoyed the eye report on CNN. Very good. It's like a paparazzi. Hey, you see news? You, you, you send them some news, and then all of a sudden you get credit and you get some hits. Citizen journalist. What is it called? You're a citizen journalist. That's right. That's what I am. All right, we got to get that out of here. Uh, Patrice, thank you. He already left. Yeah, we'll, we'll meet him over there. You can't be bothered with the mop-up portion of the radio show. He's grabbing a burger right now. <laughs> we got to talk about him being a, a vegan. A vegan. Not, even, not just a vegetarian. Patrice is all in. He's doing the vegan thing. That's right. It's been seven hours. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Kenny singing awfully for literally 50 seconds. So hang in there for the music marathon that's going to start right after Kenny singing. Yeah. Actually, doesn't the Kenny singing start the music marathon, yeah, sort of? Not. What are they doing today? I, I think it is MLK. So you too. Huh? We did that already. <laughs> Danny, what's the first song for the Music Marathon? Oh, give me a second. I'll tell you right now. Well, they have to have some kind of, like, black and white theme, uh, political no, it's, theme. Uh, it's going to be uh, Get On Your Boots, you too. We played that already. Well, they're playing it again. I played it. That's old hat, Dan. By the way, eh, it's okay, and I'm a U2 fan. Well, that's cool, because after that, then there's a whole bunch of stuff you ain't never heard before. Like what? Running with the Devil, uh -huh. Under the Bridge. Uh-huh. <laughs> What do these songs have in common? Bob, Bob what do these songs have in common, Jimmy? Running with the Devil, Under the Bridge, Baba O'Reilly. I don't know what Baba O'Reilly is. That's Teenage Wasteland. I don't know. I never heard it, but I like the other two. You've heard Teenage Wasteland? Maybe. What do I know? Teenage Wasteland. Yeah, don't know it. Dun, dun. Come on. I don't know it. I don't acknowledge that. <laughs> Under the Bridge is the only thing that's the You don't acknowledge the who. I don't get it. You never got the no. Nah, I don't know it. Um, but the the only uh, <laughs> the only Chili Pepper song I like is Under the Bridge. That's the only one I like. So they'll play that. That's fine. Na, 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 and Running with na, the na, Devil, na, na, one of the very few Van Halen songs na, 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 I like. Na, na. Opie, that link for Twitter says the page doesn't exist. It exists. Opie Radio, one word exists. Maybe you should spell Opie right. O P I S. Yes. Or radio. radio. They, they probably put an E instead of an I in there. Yeah. Radio. Radio. All right. Kenny singing to start the music marathon here in New York. We'll Come see on. over at the Sound Light. A live uh, studio audience, they're filing in. They had to wait in the cold for whatever reason, so everyone has off today, so they came by to see the show. So thanks for that. 
Uh, we got Jim Norton. We got Patrice O'Neill. And we got uh, Robert Kelly. I'm sure Robert's here because what? You're a big Fedor fan, huh? Yeah, I'm excited. I get to meet. Yeah, this. he's he's coming in at ten o'clock with some kind, of, him. some kind of translator. Yeah, I'm gonna fight him. Yeah, sure you are. I am. Watch what I do. And uh, Jimmy, you missed this. What? Patrice said that he uh, likes Dr. Phil. No, he doesn't. No, I I said this. Matter of fact, you tell him what I said. You said that he makes a lot of sense. No, keep going. What'd keep you going say? Until you get to the truth. <laughs> You said... You keep going. Uh, he makes a lot of sense. No. You said... Knows what he's talking about. Knows what he's talking about. Yeah. So then that means makes a lot of sense. But that doesn't mean that he's, he doesn't I, stink. It's just that he knows, what he's, he, knows his, he knows his shit is basically what I'm saying. He, he knows how to give the right answers. I mean, he's not a dumb guy. He's any he, and he, his But approach, he should die. His approach is whack, which I agree with. But I'm just saying he... I watched the show where he was like trying to help some people, he some camp or whatever. But he just knows how to, hey, he knows how to handle Electra somebody, and I, I, you know. And but I'm not a fan of his, but he knows how to do what he does. He knows how to what? Handle Electra guy? Yeah, get in your head. You you have a you have something you want to attack, but it's just nothing. There. No, no, I was just trying to understand what you're saying. Jesus Christ, what the hell? I'm doing? just looking at this because you repeated Hannibal Lecter, a guy. Because <laughs> you know what that meant. Are you doing that multiple, to me right now? Multiple <laughs> migs, exactly. <laughs> multiple migs, a guy. I would love to be able to talk to a motherfucker, have him just oh, die right, while I'm so. talking to him. It'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, many of us have wanted to while you were talking to us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> That's what you get for flicking cum in her face, buddy. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, yeah. He threw it right. What aim Migs had? He must have been a ball player. <laughs> Jimmy, your your Facebook discussion at the end of the show was very funny. I think I want to continue with that a little bit. It makes me sick. The fake, the fake. What was it? The tickle snow fights. So and so has invited you to a snowball fight. Well, I just got. I got. Someone sent me flair. And uh, I was, flare. and I, it's flare. Like you know, when you go to Fridays, they have all the little buttons. So it's yeah. called flare. I got some flare today, and uh, I was someone bought me as what? a as a as someone bought me for fifty thousand dollars. What? I got bought. The internet uh, sucks. It's just <laughs> corny. What? It's a fucking scam. So it you, makes me sick. I don't want to be on it no more. You do the Facebook. I do Facebook, yeah. Now I do because it's on the iPhone. It's real easy. It's better than MySpace. Fucking people. Yeah, but no I gotta listen to somebody's CD what's an, dropping every week on what, MySpace. What's an umbrella nudge? Whatever it was, I, I made that up. It was like oh, was that, that was the kind of what are the nudges they give you with the little like the little invitations? So and so right on your wall. I have a wall. So and so wrote on my wall. Oh, Want to read each other's walls? <laughs> I tell you, I guess. Facebook We're is trying to change my space. I'm you're, dating somebody's friend. You're dating? Yeah, I'm dating. I got bought for $59,500. Just dollars. drivel. Who gets uh, the $59,000? No one. It's just for fun. Oh, no, it's you pretend. Get, you get the money. How do you, you know, get the money? You know I what guess. Facebook does that MySpace doesn't do? Like when you have friends, you can't just mass click them. You have to actually go through one person at a time and say you're my friend. MySpace, you don't do ten at a time, so it doesn't matter. I mean, it's like it's still, if you have four hundred people, you have to do forty clicks, not four hundred. That's annoying. But you can only have five thousand friends on Facebook. Someone thinks I'm loyal. Oh, you today. can't go higher than five thousand. No. Wait, what, Robert? I'm loyal. Someone thinks you're loyal today? Yeah, they said I'm loyal. Oh, you checking your Facebook page? That must be fun. Mm -hmm. I was compared with Patrick Boyle's friend, and I'm better. I'm a better dinner companion. <laughs> I'm a better be dinner companion. You should be compared to a Boyle. You're even. Uh, Nothing? You should have got something. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're just all too tired. I'm not that tired. Oh, yeah, don't fucking put us in Yeah, what shit. the fuck, dude? We've exactly. Been, we've been killing today. We've been having a whole bunch of fun, and you fucking suck in with your Facebook. Misery love company, motherfucker. Yeah, no, what, yeah really, man. But no yeah. fuck, Bobby. Exactly. We're all tired. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. We're, we're having a fine show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Been, Obi, you're Obi, tired. Obi was with me for like 5.2 seconds as soon as Hell everybody no. turned. Obi was like, yeah, Bob, fuck Jesus, you. Jesus, that, that, that was worse than the face-off thing. That, was, that took you fast to turn on Bobby. Yeah, he turned like a motherfucker. <laughs> I was with you with the face-off. I mean, the, uh, the Facebooks, you know, talk, but jeez. The fuck, man? Fucking internet. Hey, there was something, uh, we got another... Where? What? Did, uh, Tim gave me another uh, clip from Nicolas Cage or something. We've been talking about Nicolas Cage today and how awful his acting is. I don't know. I just, I just don't uh, like how somebody just say you suck so easily. 
<laughs> you send your letters and you suck. <laughs> what I want to, I do want to get into uh, big, news and, big news and big news, big news in Patrice's life. I want to talk about this a little bit. What? That you're a vegetarian, actually a, a vegan. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Fuck what? No more barbecues. Yeah, how are you going to do the barbecue? Oh, how, much, how much fun is your house not you know, going to be anymore? Uh, remember those? Remember seeing yeah. him right in front of the big barbecue no. with all Come kinds on, guys. of meat? Well, Have I, some tofurkey. I might do that. <laughs> I'm, I'm not against hey, Who wants eggplant? Eat? If you still want to eat. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hops on the grill. I didn't, I didn't even mean it like that. Who wants eggplant? I didn't. I swear to get it. I, I, know, you, I know you I, I know you swear. I know. I didn't I take did, his I, 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 I saw his face light up. It's really mooly on, but eggplant is the worst food ever. But it I, just, I wouldn't uh, stop cooking meat. I wouldn't, I'm not a fucking asshole. Well, vegetarians have this uh, this attitude like it's like it's really <sighs> their thing, and if they don't really feel like you're one of them, they'll look at you funny. I went to a couple of vegetarian places, and they just you know, a couple of sissies and some big giant head Chinese girls that just look at you like you're not really a fat. Like hey, fuck you, cunt. Just give me my soy ribs. Your What's a soy rib? You know, fake ribs. They, they can make they can make uh, soy fish and shit. They can make a lot of stuff out of that soy. When when Vegetable is it? Is this because is this a choice or is it because you had to? Nah, it was like uh, this Noriega. I was on this radio show and Noriega was on it, the rapper, and he read this book called Skinny Bitch, and he was like five foot seven, three hundred pounds or something, and he lost like seventy pounds, and he's he just loves it. But the, I read the book. And it did. It did the same thing for me that it did for him. It what, did, skinny bitch. What it's what it say to make you stop eating meat? It just. It, it just. Because you cook some good food. Yeah, man. It's just We're what depressed. It is. We want to be at your barbecue this summer. Exactly. How do you cook some stuff? How do you cook some stuff for us? Yeah. And you have you have an onion. Yeah. Okay. I would do that. I'm right. not, I mean, it's, it is you'll, this. You'll be able to sit in front of the barbecue, cooking up the steaks and the ribs and those without foot, even without even foot long hamburgers. Yeah. And, and a matter of fact, I may not. I may not because of why I stopped eating meat. It's not necessary because if it was all about health, I would have stopped a long time ago. So you know, when, so, when somebody's shocked in the not smoking or not drinking, it kind of, you know, I was shocked in the not eating meat. I mean, it's an animal thing. Yeah. Like that's why I don't eat. I don't eat veal. I haven't eaten veal since I've seen how they make veal. So I made a, a point not to watch how they make food, but um, you know, watching how they make animals and. The suffering the animals actually just, they have the same feelings and the same shit that goes on with them. Well, I, so if I, I fucking, wait a minute before you get in a clever quip. No, I wasn't, gonna, I was actually going to comment on that. That's <laughs> interesting you were saying that, they you cut off, fucking they cut off, psychic. <laughs> they cut off, <laughs> they cut off um, birds' beaks and, and, and fat, and you know, you're just eating their misery and that cruelty and that suffering. Yeah, so but that's you have why to, I, I agree with you, but birds should be taught to quit pecking. <laughs> They they slice off their beaks and they fill them. And the fact is, after they slice off their beaks, they fill them with antibiotics and stuff, uh, just so that they can live until they kill them. But Patrice, this and goes then, against uh, our classic bit that we did with you. Remember, yeah. like cheetah knuckles and. Yeah, I can still do that shit. Remember that bit? I'm not. A, I'm not. I'm we not a, that I'm not a it. fucking white girl about it. I just. Yeah. I just stopped. That was one of the funniest fucking segments ever on this show. When it's we're, hilarious. When we were talking about all the cheetah heels. It's well, nothing funnier. What was the best one? The whale blowhole um, fucking saute. Jesus, whatever the hell it uh, was. Koala nose. <laughs> right. With a. Uh, <laughs> Owl scalp, <laughs> right? Some owl eyes and some fucking whale blowhole. Yeah, it was. It, you know, I don't give a shit. Keep eating. Here's, here's what the book does. It just says things that you do bad, right? And it tells you we all know we do. If someone drinks, right? They already are at. They're standing there with two knives, ready to say, you know, drinking is no good and smoking is no good. It's just they say, look, it's smoking is fucked up, but keep doing it. I don't know you. But if you want to be a certain way, don't smoke. Right. But they like, who gives a shit about you? I don't care. Just buy my book and die. That's basically what these two girls did, and and it works. It's interesting. So I'm trying to not to eat fucking nothing. But it, so, you, but you did it partly because of the way they kill the 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 animals. That bugs you. That's why I didn't. I haven't eaten veal my whole life because I saw how they make veal, and I stopped anytime there was something about. An, how do they do it? They. They keep a baby cow still mm -hmm. in a in a box, and feed it and feed it and pump it full of whatever it needs to be pumped until it falls down and that that's then they know it's ready. So it's like a, a little prince for a little bit. They treat a what? It like, they, they treat it like a little no, prince. No, it can't walk. No, it just doesn't move. It, it's it's you know and it gets sore. As soon as it falls, then they know it's ready for. They harvesting. know it's ready for just 
t- you know, killing. That's how they kill it. But in the abattoirs, you know, animals, you know, whatever. And the, the what? Abattoirs, the 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 slaughterhouses. The slaughterhouses. Wow. You know, they just murder them. They murder. It's murder. I saw they kill turkeys. They hang them upside down and stick a, a electric electric pipe in their mouth, and they hit a button. It just goes whack, like, and they just Good night. every single one does the same thing. Just goes. And just their wings go straight up and then fall. And that's it. Yeah. I, w- I, don't, I like eating animals that just die of old age. <laughs> like, I would love to eat meat if all animals just died of old age or whatever, uh, heart attacks. They'd be fine to eat. They didn't, they didn't have... Just give me. And they didn't have Give me burgers. They yeah. didn't have a, an explanation. A 500-year-old lobster. Right, right. For fish. They didn't really... They said don't eat fish either, but they didn't really have a real explanation for why not to eat fish. So I think people... We, our bodies are made to eat fish. I, like, our fucking intestines are... You know, if, if well, fish were able, if fish, fish were able to like blank, then it would be a well, different that's what story. I, I used to do a, 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 a fucking thing. It's like it's yeah. just, it's just. That's, I know. I'm, I'm thank, thank God, fish don't have eyebrows. That uh, my food, <laughs> right. my food comes murdered for me. Like if you had to, if I had to murder my own food, I would have definitely been a vegetarian years ago. But I, but if I had to eat a ham, I could eat fish. They just don't. We were having this discussion last week. No, no eyebrows. We said <laughs> we said things would be different if you had a if you put the head of the of the meat on the plate with what you're eating. Yeah, with the face it, would it turn made up, right it would, before. Right, it would turn a lot of people around. They say pigs, pigs, and those things beg for their lives. Like they 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 know that their friend got killed, and they snuggle up to to the killers, like puppies. To say, don't kill me, please. Like, because they, they know their boy just got, you know, fucked over. You know, for my sandwich. And also, when something dies, it rots. We're eating, dying. We're just, it's just death. Meat is death. But I know that already. I knew that before I'm talking this shit. But it just. Yeah, but how good is a pork loin? It's fucking but, delicious. God. Why does shit that. I had some pea soup just now. That's what exactly what it tastes piss right. it tastes uh, like <laughs> shit yes. i, I can't wait. throw it up against the wall <laughs> remember that <laughs> fucking remember those shit. steaks you made this summer the yeah. big ones at the end you held fucking them fucking i don't play you filled up all the women on like bread and salad yep. and the Stay, guys i save i save the uh, I, patrice I, I, is the best barbecue ever nice he saves all the good shit yeah. for Men like meat. three hours into the barbecue everybody's full Drunk, and then he knows the fatzos. You'd be like, all right, let's throw the steaks on. I can't wait to replay this uh, segment in about six months when Patrice is back to eating meat. But the only thing keeping me not is is (laughs) what I'm saying about the thing. If it's it's about health, yeah, won't happen. But I tell you what, my shits are much better. Yeah. Boy, oh boy. They're not like just like mooey, like eggplant, like grass. Mooey. What's a mooey shit? It's like, <laughs> I, 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 when, I, when, I eat, when I have like a steak, my shit comes out as nice, uh, rounded log. And, you know, when you, you, know, eat, when you have like just salad for you a couple know, of days, it just like when comes out of my meat. ass like a... Patri- it, it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, Bobby, the type like of shit where you know, you know it's cleaning off the walls on the way yeah, out. Yeah, it just comes out and still has like... <laughs> nah, man, my shit is it's ju- it's it's despicable. Yeah. It fucking sticks to the side of the toilet. It's just... Ugh, does your ass... Does, does, does it smell like because really bad? it stays bad? in their beef and all. It stays in your intestines. That's why everybody's putting fire hoses in the asshole to clean out that their true. fucking colon. I actually had the lady, when she was doing my colonic, she was like, do you eat meat? And I'm like, yeah. She goes, you don't chew it, do you? You just eat like... You, don't you chew. had unchewed meat in your dude, colon. I had the machine went like this, dug, 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 and she went, wow. Wow. <laughs> I swear to God. She had to restart the shit clean yeah. machine. Yeah, but you went to like a, a, <laughs> you went to a questionable place. That's another great. Uh, it was a chick's apartment. She's that's not a, questionable. That's another great segment we did. There was a, what did she do, ago. hooking up to a fucking sink? There, there was a window in the room. I could see like an old lady cooking pasta yeah, there, there was, in her apartment. And where was the shit going? The shit, that sounded clean. The shit, I don't know, into a bucket. I funny it's a bottled water. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, and you get colonics too, right? Hell no. I I, I, I tried it. I did try it once. I got the new I, it colonic. Was, it was too fucking. But you don't eat red meat. I tried it once a while ago because I was having a little something something happen. Yeah, but that. they have a and new. It's just too creepy. They have a new one. And I went to a, a legitimate place and it was uh, nah. But you, they have a new one where you you do it yourself. You just go into a room. A self colonic? Yeah, you lie in the you, you lie in oh, this You bed. just get on a tippy toe squat. It's like, it's like a chair lying down, and you have to stick. You have to stick the thing in your butt yourself, the little hose. 
But I actually pushed it in way too far, <laughs> just right, and I unplugged it from the machine. Look at I, had to, I had to wait for the lady to come back in and and like scoop my ass backwards, and she had to plug it back into the machine because I just kept jamming it oh, up my ass. That's hilarious! Oh, you it was a long hose. She said one inch. I put it up like six inches. Uh, Mr. I, Kelly, this is the fire hose. <laughs> Why do oh, one when you, you can have six? Out. You just prolapse your asshole. I have no asshole muscle. It just oh. fucking just went right up. It's just the inside of your asshole was outside. And you just fucking, that's what I'm saying. But this one was cool because you lie down this bed with your feet up, kind of up to uh, your knees bent, and you, once it gets going, it just shoots water up, and then you just shit. You shit the bed. But it, and it, it's shaped so the shit goes right into this canal, and then right. you can watch it through this yes, big I've tube. Done it, yeah. And you can see, like, you know, well, you can see, like, a fucking sea urchin, an Pieces octopus, of feta cheese. your mother's face just coming by. It was awful. A uh, couple more things on the pigs before they, they go away, and then we'll get back to this. Uh, Lance in New York. Lance. Yeah, uh, I just wanted to say, it's like, what's going on, guys? Hi. I want to say to Patrice, um, th not all slaughterhouses that, like, that uh, they write about in these books are... <laughs> As bad as what they seem, like. A so, lot of the can you right tell me? Give me an stuff. example of a wonderful slaughterhouse. I don't know names of slaughterhouses, Patrice. No, 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 not names. There, smart face. <laughs> Fucking, give me a wonderful way to kill my food. No, like a lot of a lot of these books and stuff write about how like they cut uh, cows' necks and stuff, and like kosher killing is really disgusting. I don't like that shit because they really do just slit the throat and let the thing die out, but. A lot of the um, stuff they write about in these books are these like little tiny Alabama slaughterhouses that do like ten chickens a day, and they're just horrifying. But for the most part, it's any of the big places that you get meat from. It's all humane killing. It's all clean. It's not like disgusting and dirty. Mm. Shit. But how do they humanely? Is there? Let me ask you if there was a place that just killed human beings, right? Right. And is there a humane way? Like even if they like executions, yeah. right? Lethal they're, injections. They're, they're just killing you. It's that's right. what it is. All right, let me what go. was the humane method, Patrice? Ask, ask the question. What was the humane method, sir? Yeah, um, well, like the, the way they used to kill cows by just flipping throwing stuff, they don't do that anymore. They do uh, like that thing in the No Country for Old Men, that bolt gun. Oh, that's oh, yeah, that's much better. Sure. Gun. And then what do you do? Does the cow lay down with his eyes open and he closes it for him and kisses him on the cheek? It, it, it goes right into the brain and kills him instantly, though. Like, they don't feel anything. It's just done. All right. But still, let's say let's say this. Let's say all animals was were were, were uh, killed humanely. Well, all that shit. That that's that's what it does to help me eat right. But the the fucking we're not supposed to eat meat. We're not built for meat. That's what I'm telling you. If we're not built for meat, then how come all the vegetarians have to like uh, take all these vitamins and pills and shit? That you we all have to take vitamins uh, and pills, but they don't. It's, it, you, we can eat vegetables and not have to do anything else. It's no one ever had protein deficiency. It's just no. You've never heard of it. Why do vegetarians have the worst farts? Yeah. I'd love to know that. It smells yeah. like grass. I don't know. And my yes. farts have been horrible. Vegetarian yeah, farts like, are offensive. They're horrendous. Very bad. All right, thank you, sir. Let's go to Gooch in Cleveland before we lose Because it's coming right out as, as opposed to being stopped by a clog of meat that's running by <laughs> and looking like your mother's face. It's not <laughs> <laughs> this fucking... And here's the thing. Don't attack me, motherfucker. Everybody knows being a vegetarian is a better way of eating. Just stop. I'm not fucking... I'm not one of these people. I don't give a fuck. Eat uh, meat. Are you a vegan or a vegetarian? Vegan. vegan. You're, a, you're the big one. He goes all in. You're all in. Vegan. All in. Yep. Vegan. So you can't... You Jesus, man. Isn't that hard, though? How are you going to find food? Of course food it's hard. I eat cakes. I, I'm eating cakes along with steak at the same time. I can't eat steak. <laughs> <laughs> That's two pieces. It's, it's a cake steak sandwich. It's a cake steak sandwich. Two pieces of steak with cake in the middle <laughs> and a live and a live cat foot Sir, to follow. <laughs> cake and steak, nigga. Absolutely. Cake I watched steak. this show, Man vs. Food, and he oh, just goes around. Oh, yeah. He had a fucking a cheeseburger. Eight, it was eight it cheeseburgers. Was eight che I, I, I got up against the TV and started crying with my face against it. <laughs> Rubbing my face against the TV. Too, it yeah. looks so fucking good. Fucking good. They had to put, it was in Boston, right? Dude, it was um, some of the food. The fried clam he, plate? The fr Wait a minute. He had, they have a sandwich in Chicago. And this is what I'm saying. They, it's a roast beef sandwich. They, and they dip it. It's a vat of gravy. They t after they make the sandwich, they dip the entire sandwich in gravy, <laughs> and and then give it to you. So the sandwich, the bread, Just everything so has gravy. In gravy. And it, I I loved it because the health part is not. It does not phase me. It's just what it is. It's 
It's rotting flesh, right. and it's and we we're not supposed to eat meat. We're not meat eaters. I never thought of it like that. All right, let me go to that. It's rotting fresh flesh. It's that's, rotting flesh. It's dead. That's why it has a date on it, like eat before this area. You know, so you're, 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 rot, you're not rotting right now because you're alive. When you die, you we start, start rotting. rotting. Whether, whether you're in a freezer or not, there's no such thing as fresh death. I Vegetables fil- rot too, though. I had a fillet last night, though. That was oh. I bet it was. God, it was like butter. I'm it was b- melted. Dude, I can't. What, what can I do? Argue? Bacon? You're done with bacon? I'm, oh, no, you can't I'm be a, done I'm with keep, bacon. I'm gonna keep eating bacon. Oh, you are. I say I'm a vegan. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Wouldn't you be? Wouldn't be your best? I'm, I'm a vegan except I eat steak and bacon, <laughs> and I love cheese and fish products. <laughs> <laughs> but I no longer eat liverwurst. But I, I do fuck girls with hairy armpits. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, got, I fuck girls with hairy armpits. I got, I got some more pig knowledge for you. Gooch in Cleveland, go ahead. What's up, guys? Hey. My, uh, my cousin works at a slaughterhouse and was telling me that sometimes when the pigs are all lined up to be slaughtered, that some of them just drop dead of heart attacks. <laughs> that's that's kind of funny. And that's what we're eating. That's kind of funny. If you saw that... You'd... <laughs> the big one. I can't take it, Murray. It Murray, I'm going to die. B, 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 B. Hey, later, guys. Love you. All right. All right See man. a pig walking like Fred Sanford? <laughs> <laughs> His little tail just goes straight in the air. <laughs> oh, oh, I hop. I'm coming to join you, honey. <laughs> uh, Josh in Iowa, what's up? Hey, how's it going, fellas? Hey, man. Hey, hey uh, Patrice, who told you that when you kill a pig that... Another one will come up and start nuzzling you, like trying to be your buddy so you don't kill it. Just somebody who wrote it. Where did you read that? Let's say this. I read I read in a book, Skinny Bitch. But well, that book is full of crap. When, pigs, when you kill a pig. But listen, listen, hold on, hold on. Let, me, hold on. let let let, let okay. me get this thought right, out. Go, go ahead. ahead. Okay. Josh, go. Yeah. When, when you when you kill a pig. It's buddies. They'll just come up and eat the damn thing. I mean, they, they don't come up and start nuzzling you like your best friend. But uh, let's say, let's say, do I believe? Do I believe you? Because you're passionate, first of all. But second, second of all, you, we're not pigs. Are bad to eat. So whatever it, it, it is to stop me from eating pig, whatever I need, I'm gonna take that. So I'm gonna take that book as 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 a uh, uh, advice to help me stop eating pigs. Are we gonna have to call but, you by another name soon? What, what, like Cassius something, and we're gonna change nah, that to like. I'm not like X. that, dude. I'm not like. Look at look, look how healthy you are, Bob. You stopped what you was doing, and you look good. Thanks. You look better. Yeah. I look. I look. Good. <laughs> I look good. I look good. You look better. <laughs> no matter what you can lose, you're never so gonna I'm get saying, a chin. I'm saying, what I'm saying is this. Don't. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Don't don't attack don't attack me because I'm I'm just I just I, it's it's what I found to help me stop because it's like someone arguing why cigarette smoking is good. It's it's like somebody who smokes cigarettes going, dude, it relaxes me. It blah. It's like it's causing you cancer. Just shut the fuck up and smoke. But don't try to make me an asshole because I'm saying it's no good. So you're done with you're done with the Brazilian restaurant on 49th no, Street. No more. Oh, you're done. Is that place. Really? No more platform. Come on. God. No, no more platform. With the meat paddle, Bobby? I used to go in there, though, with Patrice, and he was like the governor of Meat Town. They, they love me in there. They would just they would high that, five them, bring them everything. That, I'll be the governor of whatever shitty vegetarian Robert, restaurant around that, now. Robert, West Village. With some fucking asshole Vietnamese bitch looking at me strange, and, and I ordered my fake fish dirty. and my steam my steam broccoli surprise. Ugh, broccoli smelly sucks. NYU student. Broccoli sucks. <laughs> I would rather eat fucking just two socks. <laughs> fucking broccoli stinks. I like broccoli. Oh, uh, I know Jack Osborne, young version. What well, young? Leave him alone. He's just doing the best he can. Yeah, it's Jack. What is it? What is his shoulders take a vacation? Together. Did the shoulders get the day off for Martin Luther King Day? Yeah. Jesus <laughs> fucking Jesus. Christ! You guys a high school shooter if I ever seen one. <laughs> <laughs> if he can find a trench coat that fits him, <laughs> he's gonna murder everybody. Is that a boy? Yes. Huh? Last time I checked. Huh? Oh, wow! You know Snap! He got you, Bobby. Did he? Yeah. You do, uh, no, not really. He has a little feminine face. You know what? I like him, though. I can already tell he has a great personality, and he has to. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I feel the same way. He has a small dog on his head. Leave him alone. He's a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> what is the name of that dog with the fucking... Thank oh, you. someone help me oh, out. Raggedy Ann doll? No, a, the dog that has the fucking brown hair that's just ridiculous. We'll find a picture. This poor It'll kid. be a great visual for everyone that came to where, see the show today. Where's our fucking uh, little Jude right. dude? Fedor's here? Well, I'm saying just David. Yeah, we're getting ready for Fedor. He's not here today. What? Oh, he's not here today. 
Oh, well, Dave. Jude, dude, David? I thought, thought he was oh, gone David. for a second. No, David's still around. David's a good boy. Uh, that Brazilian place, though. Dude. It's the best it's restaurant the on the planet Earth. Yeah. My favorite my, restaurant. My brother went green the entire time he was there. Never turned it to red. I turn it to. I have to turn it to red because they just keep bringing it. And it, it, my fear when I'm there is that I turn it to red and that that's when they'll bring the baby back ribs out. Oh, that whole pig. Red means I've stop, obviously. So and they just keep times. bringing meat products until oh. you turn that powder I can't, to red so you can take I've a break. Been, I've I wanna, been there so many times that I know that exactly how to eat in there. Yeah. Like, I I know what to do. The lamb chop, I know that I want my lamb chops. Yeah, lamb chops. Wait, you, you Skirt eat steak. a steak, you can't just go, ooh, that. I get. I was getting two sausages, and they come out with sausage. I know what they come out with. Sausage and chicken. Sausage and chicken at the same time. Boom, right off the bat. Uh, it's a nice chicken leg and two sausages, yeah. and good sausages, too. And they come out with a filet wrapped in bacon. Bacon filet, then they come out with a giant beef rib. Oh. On a table, God. then they come out with a. They never come out with ham unless you ask. I guess ham is. You gotta ask for ham, and then they slowly bring out the baby backs because because oh, that goes fast. Well, right? it goes on a rolling table. Anything when yeah. I see a when I see a a table on wheels, I know something. And a whole pig out. with an apple in his mouth. Type can of I, oh God! Can I tell you something? I want to eat a pig. Patrice, either. how you're talking? You're gonna be a meat eater again by fucking Saturday. Yeah. You just I, don't I have it, it in like your like head. A, it's like, but, you don't have it in your head he, to keep but this here, up. But here's what it is. You if hear I, yourself talking about the meat I, products at this point? He's not only going to eat veal, he's going to fuck it. Right. <laughs> I have not. <laughs> so I have teach not, a lesson before you say. When I look at veal, <laughs> right. when I look at veal, I, I go, this looks like it probably would be a good. But the way I don't eat it, I have never eat, I haven't eaten it never have in, that, since, I, since I was 11 when I first saw it. You ever have, uh, and I'm not a fan, what is it, uh, uh, pate or whatever? Yeah. And how they have to, like, enlarge the liver of yeah. the goose to get the good pate? It's so good, though. Well, you see how cracker. gooses treat us, fucking U.S. Yeah, Airways. No fuck, <laughs> fuck them and their pate. The two of them, they were the suicide bombers. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker. Absolutely. I, I mean, right. I'm, I'm just saying, dude. I'm, I don't. I'm will never argue Look with it. anybody who wants to eat meat. I, I hear what you're I saying about. I had, a, I had to kill a duck once, and it, it fucked me up. Why? I, 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 I worked duck? on a farm when I was on a juvie hall. They made me work on this farm, and we had to take care of animals, and yeah. we had to take care of goats and sheep. And this duck got fucked up, and the guy was like, "Get to chop its head off." Yeah. And the kid was like, "I'll do it," and he didn't. He kind of. He went to do it, and he pussied out at the last second and just sliced its neck. And then when I can't do it, I can't, and ran away. So I had to take the axe and lop and it off. And don't forget, we eat animals, dude, that we Tim eat animals that we don't give a fuck about. We don't eat dogs and monkeys. And a lot of people, a lot of fucking places eat dogs. Yeah. They eat animals that we consider cute and very and charming. But the, imagine well, we the fuckers that fucking chop up our pets. Well, we eat animals, though, that uh, like we can reproduce in a year. I mean, like J Japan, they'll fucking eat whale meat. A fucking whale can't just have a baby and then <laughs> right. it, it takes like a, a fucking a hundred years to have a fucking kid and which they just is why kill it. we don't why we don't drink squirrel milk is because cow milk right is just easy to come by. Yeah, well, yeah squirrels but... are so small you have to fucking <laughs> ring one, you have to ring one out for a month to have cereal. <laughs> You can have a little espresso. Punch it in his asshole for months. Exactly. Just to get some good cereal. You have to get some lion cum. Something else to fucking make your cereal edible. Hey, it's all fucking funky shit, dude. Uh, it's funky shit. All right, listen, we got I appreciate Noriega, by the way, for that. We got to clear the field because uh, Fedor might be coming up, uh, coming in any second here. Uh, what do we got oh. going on, Jimmy? The MMA event. It's called Affliction, right? Entertainment yes. returns with Affliction M1 Global Day of Reckoning. Live on pay-per-view, and that's why Fedor is here. It's this Promotors. Saturday, yep. 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, explosive six-fight MMA pay-per-view event. will be headlined by Russian sensation Fedor. Amelia uh, go. There you go. You got it, actually. <laughs> and he's going to have a translator today? He has to. He's, I think he speaks English. Cool, but man. very little. Let's fuck with him. And can we have a, um, a moment of silence for Bob May, please? Yeah, we're going to do a little Bob May after the break. As he attempts to defend his World Alliance of Mixed Martial Arts, believe it or not, this is a live read. Uh, I don't know. Against Andre the Pitbull oh, uh, Arlovsky? Yes. Uh, Blockbuster pay-per-view also features MAA All-Star. I don't know Josh Barnett. I don't like He's the fact that Josh... that's the first name you said, though. Like, you leave the Russian ones to me. Hell fucking like, yeah. I'll fucking struggle for them. Josh Barnett's been in the... He's, he's been <laughs> Pete a... Smith. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> he was a champion of the UFC. He's, uh... He's a, he's a badass motherfucker, too. Baby face. Yeah, he's yeah. been around for a long time. I'm more of a newbie, so I don't know the... Uh, he used to fight in pride. Josh big Barnett. time pride guy. What's his name? What's his name? Josh about... Barnett. You know him. Blonde guy. Yeah. He's, he's taking a badass on uh, Gilbert... Uh, oof, I know. Yeah, he's actually... You know he actually punched out a ref. Gilbert did? Yeah, he knocked out a ref. 
he uh the ref was the I think the other guy's trainer or something and was kind of fucking around with right. you know uh with make keep he, he kept <clears throat> making him get back up and stuff when he had him on the ground right, so right. he just punched him in the face. Nice. Okay. And he got kicked out. All the fe- uh other fighters featured on the card include Matt the Law Linlin. Badass motherfucker. You know all these guys, Bobby? Yeah, Bobby yeah, knows I, that a lot about the UFC oh, and, and MMA in general. Yeah. He's a badass I thought I was good because I know about ten of these guys right now. Yeah. yeah. Well, how about uh, Renato Babalu Sabra? He actually got kicked out of the UFC for holding in a choke uh, after the ref, after the guy tapped out. That's why he was great in the UFC. He got knocked out by Chuck Liddell, but he's a good jiu-jitsu Brazilian guy, but uh, he got kicked out of the UFC what for the fuck, holding Bobby? in a choke a little bit. All right, too I'm going to keep going with this. Chris uh, Horodeki. He actually, uh, he was, he's actually the hammer, the Polish hammer from Chicago. Which means he's, he's a screwdriver. <laughs> 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 I've been. That was fucking quick. God, they call him the Polish Hammer. That was Ivan Putski's handle. Yeah, he he's a he, cool he, WWF shit. He looks like he's probably fourteen. Really? And he was fighting like men, knocking him out. But the last, the IFL, uh, he actually, the guy held his arm behind his. It was stuck under his back, and the guy just kept punching him in the face Jesus. and knocked him out. But he's a he's a badass motherfucker too. And it's gonna Dan... be a good fight. Lauzon? Lauzon or Lauzon? Uh, I have no idea. Oh, you bum. <laughs> no, I do. You like this card, though? That's, oh, that's a great, fights, great right? card. Dude, it, it doesn't matter who it was. You could have anybody else as long as uh, Fedor's on it. it People want to see, see it. Fedor, yeah. you, you'll never get to. He, he fights in, in, in Japan. He doesn't usually fight here. And Anderson Silva and uh, Fedor is the only fight you want to see. No, no. And, and Fedor or Brock Lesnar people want to see. Or Fedor or Fred uh, Brock, oh. Nels, Brock Lesnar needs... <laughs> Three more fights and then I I I might fuck with him. Yeah, but Lesnar's he's a bad. He's Brock fighting is bad. He's fighting Brock, Brock is, Frank Mir again though. That's going to be a good. Who doesn't want to see that win? It's going to be a good fight. I'm going to tell you, man. People understand the first fight. Who's going to win that fight? Brock's going to win. It. No, he's not. Going to kick I'll his ass. I'll tell you, Brock, Frank Mir is is rejuvenated, which is going to make it a better fight. But Brock lost that fight. Because he didn't know what he was doing. But now you think he does a year, what, a yes, year later or whatever yes, it is? Yes, he nah. trains against that now. You, yeah, but you have to train for years to, uh, to, be, uh, to beat somebody. Who, All you have to do is... Frank Mir is a fucking black belt in jiu-jitsu. He's, <laughs> I know. He's I'm been not... that way. He's been going to karate class since he was 10. He was kicking. Was he not kicking uh, yeah, but, Mir's ass in yeah, that fight? Yeah, but Mir's that, that's happened to Mir a bunch of times. I mean, he snapped, uh, what's his name's arm. He broke his bone. Every guy Bob Dole. Wanted... No, no. <laughs> oh. I'm just saying. I'm saying that. Thank you. One person. He trains. <laughs> this is Frank. Wait, Frank first Mir- of all, first you know jujitsu back in the day is, with the grip. This is what MMA is now. Right. MMA is a bunch of guys. He's a. It, it's a bunch of dudes who knew what they were doing. Yeah. Who learned how to fight the the fucking uh, uh, the uh, the Gracies. Right. That's all MMA is now. It was a defense against the Gracies. That's all they learned is basic defense against what Gracie was doing. All fucking Brock has to do is learn basic defense against getting his ankle twisted. Yeah, but, he just has to recognize yeah, the, that that's what's going to happen. Yeah, that's but, it. Yeah, but you, you dude, there's so many ways you can tap Wait, a guy say, out. Uh, good question. We have to break real quick. Yeah. Well, yeah oh, but that, that was some good discussion. Like yeah, we got to right. get ready for Fedor. So we're obviously talking about uh, Affliction uh, M1 Global Day of Reckoning live on pay-per-view Saturday, January 24th, this Saturday at 9 p.m. and 6 p.m. Pacific. Contact your pay-per-view provider to order, hopefully, Fedor when we get back. A Fedor I didn't in the studio. See Patrice. Once again, a real man walking oh, into man. the studio, just humbling oh, everybody. Hey, this Patrice, is, I bet you he eats meat. meat. This, 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 uh, I don't know. This guy, is, yes. this guy isn't a, a, you know, a vegetarian, a vegan, you first thing ask is, a these, vegan, whatever. Are that, these guys going to treat me like that in the movie Hostel? Они, они будут меня бить, эти ребята здесь, или они будут спокойно сидеть? Да, no. no. Они, oh, они, они опасные, или они, они дружные? Right no, да. No, no. Вот ever ever маленький, он самый опасный, я вижу. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Fed- Fedor, could, wow. could you do us a favor? Could you hit him? Fedor, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> Fedor. Yes. We are, uh, thank you for coming. We're, We're very happy you're here. You. We're all big fans. Big time. Yeah. Big fans of uh, Fedor, and uh, I don't even want to look him in the eye. I, Why? I, I, I don't want to miss this up. <laughs> I, like, I like to live and... Uh, How is he 
is he the most dangerous guy to work? How amazing. look at him? You I, want I, to no, I'm, I'm saying, dude, this, this dude is the most dangerous man on the planet Earth. So how are you saying how? How? He looks like a nice man. He looks like a nice guy. He is a nice guy. He can just <laughs> mush your face with his fist. It looks like if I bumped into him, if I didn't know it was Fedor, and I bumped into him in the streets, yeah. I would go, hey, dude, watch your fucking self. Like, like I would think I would say that. Oh, my God, I hope this guy translated correctly. Yeah, dude, I hope. Don't tell you nice shit. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck shit up. Don't fuck shit up. Slowly. Man, was How like, does he get sarcasm? Because <laughs> <laughs> I know, Patrice, you know the Dutch don't get sarcasm. Yeah. Oh, Could you translate Russian, sarcasm? Russian. Russian. How get sarcasm, great would it right? be? Russians get sarcasm. Yeah, Dutch How people don't get that at all. How great would it be if Fedor just broke Patrice's oh, jaw? Oh, shit. As he's saying. As he's going, yeah, this fat nigga said he could take you. What? Now we got Fedor laughing. Zap out. <laughs> we got a smile on his face now. Patrice, Patrice chill, man. man. Holy crap. What? No. Let's go to the show. Let's go to the show. Let's go to let me shut the fuck up. He looks, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a even the Bobby was right there. We were talking about the stare down before. Yeah. And Fedor just looks like a friendlier guy. Yeah, like, he doesn't look like he's trying to intimidate. No, he looks like a really nice guy. He could be the Russian Santa Claus. Right. I made him laugh. Thank God. Yeah. Thank God he got that. So, question. I mean, this is my my real question. I know he's fighting. Uh, 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 Alofsky. But in his opinion, right? And I know he's not, he don't care about anybody because he fought that, he has not that giant Chinese dude in Boston. Korean. It was a Korean guy. Korean guy. Who, who is he the most? If he had to take himself out the mix, who is the baddest dude out there? The best fighter? Besides him. Besides him. Besides him. Besides him. Besides him. I could probably consider a couple fighters that are uh, well, you know, go besides me. Uh, Andrei Arlovsky, uh, Kim Silvia, uh, Frank Mir. Frank Mir. Yeah, yeah Frank Mir, Andrei Arlovsky, Tim yeah. Silvia. Those are, you know, those are guys in the top five. Top Is Rocky five. for his favorite Rocky? <laughs> Randy Couture. Какой твой самый любимый Rocky? Rocky Chidiri? Was that a happy ending or a sad ending? Yeah, no, I've, I've seen the Rocky movies, but I'm not that huge of a fan. Okay. How about... Um, How about... How about... How about... I like uh, the, the movie Knockdown with Russell Crowe. All right. I'm not sure what, what, what the uh, English uh, title was, but uh, it's a movie with Russell... Oh, I, probably... Uh, the, no, 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 the, the, the fighter, the fighter movie, the boxer movie. With, uh, uh, yeah, that was uh, that what we call we call the Cinderella Man. Cinderella Man. We gave it a little. You, Russians yeah. gave it a cool name. We gave it a gay name. Russians called it a nice name. We called it Cinderella. Cinderella man. How about uh, you? Didn't mention Brock Lesnar. Is Brock Lesnar? Do you think just uh, getting too much press and too much attention? Do you think Brock Lesnar is getting too much press and too much attention? Do you think Brock Lesnar is Нет, 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 ни в коем случае. Я хотел назвать Брока Леснара, но не успел. No, you don't know, not at all. I actually wanted to list Brock Lesnar on that list, but you guys cut me off. Who cut you off? I, I certainly didn't mean to. Was it me? Hey, so who, would you rather? Fr do you really want to fright Randy Couture? Is do you want to fright? Do you want to fright? I'm a little scared, Jimmy. Okay. <laughs> if you punched his neck, do you think he could fix it? I hate the fact that he pointed at me and they're both just laughing at my neck. <laughs> and his, his, fist, his fist would just. Go right through. He does. His hand would to become the shape of his fist. <laughs> you know, Norm looks like a Fedor clone that didn't make it. <laughs> is, is he bummed out that he's not going to be able to fight that Randy Couture? Yeah, that's a good question. Mm. Да нет, я не расстроен. На самом деле мне больше нравится общаться в жизни, чем хотелось бы пообщаться в жизни с, с Рэнди, узнать, какой он поближе. No, I'm not terribly, terribly disappointed because uh, 
you know, I, I like hanging out with him. We're, we're, we're friends, and I've got a lot of affection for him. So without meeting him in the ring at this point, uh, it enables me to uh, to grow our friendship more. So it's harder for you to fight somebody that you like? Is it is it harder? Do you have to not like them? Тебе сложнее драться с человеком, с кем ты имеешь симпатику? Честно говоря, не совсем хотелось бы, конечно. Well, yeah, I mean, in, in, in this particular case, uh, if I had my preference, I, I, I'd rather not fight him, I, as opposed to another opponent. Now, I, I think he knows that, I, I think Couture is a great fighter, but I think Couture is an older, I was worried about, I like Randy too, and I was worried about him fighting Fedor, because yeah, I think he's an older guy, he would have had serious trouble. Yeah, but that's not what he told Randy when he was in here. No, I told Randy, <laughs> believe me, I sucked up to no, Randy. Randy. <laughs> Randy was sitting here, Randy said, oh, Randy. Randy, you'll, you'll kill him, Randy. He doesn't have a chance. Is he married? Is he married? Is he not? No. So is, he, is it uh, some fighting uh, groupies out there? Так у тебя есть там, ну, девчонки, которые крутятся вокруг тебя. Girls love to fight. Которые, которые, Could you ever bang a Jersey chick? Да, ты когда ты тогда был с девушкой из New Jersey? Well, you know, groupie. I mean, I just want to hear that translated. Dude, did you translate what a groupie is? Though? You, you translate what a groupie is? Это девушки, которые висят за тебя, когда ты около ринга и все. <laughs> Little Sibiakas on the side, baby. Sibiakas. <laughs> <laughs> just some, you know, like they just love them. Ну есть такие девушки, которые приходят в зал или 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 стараются с тобой встречаться. Ну, возможно, есть. Я православный христианин, я не. Yeah, no, I mean these 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 type of girls exist, but uh, you know I'm I'm a practicing Christian and, and I, try, oh, I try to keep. Well, <laughs> you had the me too. You said Mirko Krokop was the, the toughest fight that you had, the, the, the toughest one. And he had a lot of trouble when he came over. Um, he lost a couple of fights. Why do you think he lost when he left Pride and, and came over to UFC? Mm -hmm. I said Krokop was the toughest fight that you had, the toughest one. And he Was it like the cage, fighting in the cage? Was it like the cage, fighting in the cage? No, the cage here Я думаю, что он э, наступил у него момент, э, когда э, Мирка не смог э, психологически. No, I don't think the cage made any difference. I just think that he 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 got to a point where psychologically, I think he uh, he, he had some issues and and he wasn't able to overcome those when he came over here. I like the way you put like in your translation, you act like the character. You act kind of like him in it. You put the emotion into it too. Thank nice. you. Very much. Just translate. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you, you have the little angry stare, like you're saying it. <laughs> the inflection is perfect. I, I heard something about about you too, which was uh, that you kind of you try to not hurt your opponent too badly. And then if he doesn't respond to that kindness and he starts to be even more aggressive, then you really have to put him down. So when you go to the ring, you try to not hurt your opponent, but if he does it on you, then you're going to get more on him. Is that true? No, I don't think so. I try to do my job perfectly in the ring. No, I don't think that's the case. Uh, I, I just try to, you know, perform my work to the maximum of my ability. So, if, you know, if I've got to take somebody out, I got to take him out. Who doesn't, he, who doesn't he like, like, in, in terms of fighters? Like, Kavo, where you just like, I'll fight him in the street. Who doesn't he like? Who doesn't he like? If you have to go to the street with him, if you have to go to the street with him, they don't like you. No, I don't like you. Со всеми бойцами в хороших отношениях и со всеми интересно общаться, узнавать что-то новое о них, не только в бою, но и в жизни. No, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty well respected, and uh, I, uh, nobody's you know, I get, I get along. <laughs> Nobody talks shit. Nobody's yeah, talking any also, shit. Nikko, yeah. Nikko yeah. 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 It's yeah. the yeah. same thing as Anderson Silva, though. Like it just seems like he's he's there. Anderson Silva's there. I can't even name who else would be in that level the where Silva, it's just people just don't want to mess around with him. Just avoid ni ni tiba ni trivoj. Like people just go, ah, this is gonna. Nobody wants to badmouth him because they don't want to get back to him in case they have to fight him. <laughs> That's exactly what's happening. Yeah. He, has, he, has he, ever, get, he likes to get to know the fighters, and not only in the has, ring. But has he ever been afraid of somebody? He's going to say no to that. Come on. Oh, I, the fighters are fight true. No, the fighters are afraid. Well, yeah, I mean, we're all people. I mean, you know, right. we, get, we get nervous. So, you with, know. with that, what is he afraid of in this, uh, in this world? Uh, uh, 
If it's not like another fighter. Ну, если не другой боец, ну, ну какие-то вещи, которые тебя тревожат. What scares Fedor? So, so... What if he says spiders? Like, what? Oh, 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 Неприязнь, что ли, или... Даже неприязнь, но боязнь, наверное, будет, как yes, okay. большого паука увидишь. Well, I haven't, yeah, I mean, I haven't really thought about it, but I mean, I'm sure, you know, I've got some sort of concerns or fears, like, if I saw a big spider, I'd probably be a little nervous. Uh, <laughs> 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 punch it in the face. It's fucking phobias, boy, why not? Yeah. Scared in the dark? What the hey, can I ask, can I ask I, a question? What, I don't, uh, what, what style of martial arts do you, I mean, uh, as a sambo, 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 but you have Brazilian jiu-jitsu, right? Нет, я джиу-джитсу не занимаюсь. No, not jiu-jitsu. So what is, I don't understand what that, I really, I don't understand what that is, fully. Where is it? Sambo is one of the types of fights. I think that he gave me a hand, initially Sambo gave me a hand. Подготовила меня к боям, а позже уже пришлось самому развиваться и брать какие-то приемы из самбо. Yeah, well, самбо is kind of like my foundation. Uh, you know, that's that's what I that's what I grew up with. It's a national sport in Russia. Uh, it's it's kind of like judo, it's and, a, and it's, right. it, it prepares you very well for mixed martial arts. But once I started practicing mixed martial arts, then I then I picked up different disciplines: boxing, Muay Thai. Right. It's, it's, you can't, in, in, in this day and age in MMA, you can't, uh, you know, depend on one discipline of, right. of uh, martial arts, that's and you've got to become well-rounded. That's what I was going to ask. Like, my big, my, where I was, I most love watching uh, martial arts was back yeah, blue, okay. with, um, when the Gracies, so the Gracies. When it's, well, you know, movies like Blood Sport blood, and blood, stuff, blood where it's sports, like, Van Damme, your, yeah. what does he think about, okay, let's have a tournament where it's like, okay, Sambo versus, versus Kung Fu, you know? Kung Fu против другие дисциплины, если бы был такой турнир. Like, just your thing versus my thing and, and what, I, what I trained for for years. Uh, like would he would he put Sambo? What the, 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 I think I think I think ours would win. That's what I'm saying. Would you put Sambo up against? Would he put Sambo up against all the smiles on the couch right now? Sambo, Sambo would win, right? Here, it also depends not only on the kind of sport you play, but also on the personal qualities of the sportsman. Yeah, well, it's not only it's not only based on the on the actual specialization and discipline, but also the the, the athlete that's that's practicing it. Right. So, right. but okay. but sambo is 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 generally one of the most round well rounded uh, думаю, disciplines out there. Я думаю, что самбо один из наиболее эффективных видов борьбы. It's it's one of the most effective forms of fighting. Для боев. Just just top to bottom. Do they teach that to the military? Is that where? Yeah, it's it's actually originally it's it's uh, developed from from the there's there's two different sambos. It's sambo and combat sambo, which is the military sport that in, involves striking as is well. Is sambo like aikido's <laughs> where it's made to get you out of there quickly, like not yeah, not play around? Aikido, you должен просто быстро выйти или как как sambo. А, по времени или, или просто сразу наш этот спорт а, а, специфично да твой соперник а, ну просто выш, да он вышел быстро а, ну нет на самом деле конечно все направлено на то чтобы закончить бой как можно быстрее yeah it's it's everything's designed to basically finish a fight as early as possible бой может и затянуться то есть если два спортсмена одинакового уровня but if there's two athletes that are of, of equal levels um, then, uh, then it could it could take a while. I think, I, I, as far as I'm concerned, you're undefeated. Um, the one fight, the one loss uh, that Fedor took was uh, 17 seconds into a, a fight. It was uh, an elbow to his forehead, which the doctor stopped the fight. And you actually should have won because the elbow was illegal. Uh, are you bitter about that loss? А, ты, ты как-то расстроен вот этот один раз, когда он тебя ударил с локотом, и, конечно, ты, ты не должен, ты должен был выиграть этот бой, но просто не видели локот. А ты как-то расстроен от, от как да у тебя поражение одно на, на твоей, твоей истории? А, нет, совершенно нет. Сейчас я совершенно не, не расстроен, и что Бог не делает, все к лучшему.
No, I mean today it's, it's it really doesn't make a difference. I mean, you know what, what whatever it's it's God's will, and you know unfortunately that it, it turned out as a technical loss, but uh, I'm not. It doesn't really bother me. На тот момент, когда at, я получил, moment, на тот момент, когда я получил рассечение, uh, было, конечно, немножко неприятно, потому yeah, что я вы, ну, как выбывал из турнира. Yeah, I mean, at that point it was really upsetting because it was actually part of a tournament, so I was eliminated from that tournament because of that, uh, you know, technical situation. So he avenged that loss eventually. And he also, uh, is the, what, what's the hardest hit he's taken? I'm going to guess the Kevin Randleman drop on on the the on the neck. Is there any hit he's taken that's been harder than that? Was Samuel Samuel the the Kadata Propuskal? On do my the is a Kevin Randleman could answer even the Shayu or Neil. Ну, на самом деле, наверное, один из самых опасных ударов это был удар Фуджиты. Yeah, I mean, I think actually one one of the most uh, the most dangerous uh, uh, punches that I took is, is I missed the, I missed the strike from Fujita when I was fighting him. Конечно, Кевин тоже. And and obviously, yeah, Ken, Kevin also. You know, that that was that was dangerous because you know I could have landed the wrong. How did it feel when that seven foot four Korean fell on him? Как это чувствовалось? Ну, все равно, что плитой придавили. Yeah. <laughs> Бетонной плитой придавили. Yeah, it, it felt like a big cement block. It kind of <laughs> just, just crushed his, me. His forearm was on his face, and it covered his whole head. The, guy, the guy's forearm. На твое лицо, the, the, и мы uh, могли видеть твою, твою голову. Ну да, на самом деле, когда я оказался, думаю, надо выбираться как-то. Yeah, no, I, I just, I remember, as, you know, when I was down there, I was like, okay, I gotta get out of here, because... Because it hurts? Потому что болело. Нет, ничего не болело, но было ощущение, что он меня полностью накрыл. No, 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 it didn't hurt. It's just I got, I got the feeling that I was just kind of engulfed and, and just, you know, just covered by this guy. Yeah, he was, man. Dude, he, uh, he, uh, from the bottom, I don't know how, I mean, he's, that, that's what makes him such a good heavyweight is that he's a big guy, really strong, but he's fast like a middleweight. He's really fast. Yeah, it's just fast. Yo, you well, Did you fight Bob Sapp? Is Bob Sapp a male boy? No. no, you never um, fought Bob Sapp. No. Was he? Is he in the same thing? No. Bob Sapp тогда не дошел до меня. Он проиграл мне Крокопу. Yeah, Bob Sapp, Sapp was in the same tournament as I was, but he lost to Krokop, and so I met Krokop in the finals. Okay. Yeah. And, how, and how about what's his name when he was in his uh, prime? I never seen mm. tape of him in uh, Silver. Not not Anderson, but uh, the other one. Uh, Vanderlei, Vanderlei Silva. Silva. Mm. Vanderlei Silva, new male boy, prize, huh? Нет, тоже мы не встречались. No, we we just uh, you know it didn't work out where we we didn't get a chance to meet. Does it, does he do you, uh, you do you like the UFC or I mean because you guys have never got together you've never fought in the UFC тебе ever right? Ты никогда не дрался в UFC но тебе нравится ты бы хотел драться там? Я смотрю соревнования UFC интересно интересно смотреть конечно некоторые бои. Yeah, I watch the UFC fights. It's you know it's interesting to watch some of their fights. Но что касается организаторов, то мы не смогли с ними договориться о совместной работе. I, I saw the last affliction pay per view, the, the Tim Sylvia fight. I suggest if you get it, you watch all the fighters because Fedor's fights tend to not go too long. <laughs> you beat up Tim Sylvia the way Tim Sylvia would beat me up. You beat Tim Sylvia как он бы убил убил меня. How did you destroy him as easily as you destroyed him? Так просто закончится Тим Силы. Ну, с Божьей помощью удалось. Well, you know, with with luck, uh, you know, it was a quick fight. <laughs> I love all his modesty as he's beating the shit out of everybody in the world. Мне всегда нравится, как он такой спокойный, как он он всех убивает, но он говорит, это из-за счастья, не из-за из-за его рука. What was your fuel as a kid? Because I'm sure you trained as a kid. What was your fuel as a kid to even want to be this dangerous? What's the fuel? Чего ты хотел быть таким сильным, таким хорошим бойцом? Какая причина ты имел? 
убить людей или, или какое-то другое Хотелось набраться мастерства, хотелось войти в сборную страны на тот момент. Хотелось выступать, представлять Россию на международных соревнованиях. So I could I could uh, you know be on the national level and 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 be well known as as someone that was uh, the best at that sport and and for this is, for his country. Oh, this is big, all... it's big in Russia. This is a, it's yeah. big. It's but he never had a day job, right? He never did. This is. Не было другая работа. Ты всегда дрался. Чем больше боролся. Сначала боролся. Больше больше боролся. Yeah, no, I, no. First I was just you know I was fighting. <laughs> He's never had like a job like you know at a hot dog stand and <laughs> stop the park. He just said. He just said. Uh, he just said first he was beef, just beef, beef with, in general. That's it. Тренером и сторожем работал. No, I just I was I was a trainer. You know, I trained people how to fight. И был сторожем в своем в своем спортивном клубе. And and I would I would you know I, I worked in the sports club you know just kind of clean. Right. Was he a, there was he a fighter like, like uh, in uh, in terms of uh, someone bumping into him at the train station fighter? Yes, yes, yes. Drinking fighter. At a bar bar fight. 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 At a bar But not now, though. No, 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 no. Not, not, not now. I'm talking about just when he was a, before he was a trained weapon. Yeah, he just was walking down the street. Да, если ты просто на улице ходил и кто-то с тобой, кто-то тебя тревожил, да, ты с ними дрался? Нет, на самом деле у меня таких ситуаций не было. До армии был, наверное, молодой. После армии уже и взгляды были другие. То есть все решалось. Если и была была какая-то конфликтная ситуация, все решалось словесно. No, I mean, I, I, you know, I was, I was pretty young, and then I went into the army, and, and I was just lucky not to really get into any confrontations. And once I got into the army, it was, you know, it was dealt with differently there. Right. When is the last time you got beat up? I mean, it's obviously not professionally. Was it was was it when you were uh, in the army? Was it when you were a teenager? Когда последний раз кто-то тебя побил, кто-то кто-то ты был в позиции, где действительно кто-то тебя побил хорошо, или в молодости, или в армии, или или когда-то был момент, где ну, ты, ты получил. Ну вот, пару часов назад мой друг меня обыграл в шахматы. Well, a couple hours ago, uh, my friend beat me in chess. Но я его уже Oh, you like chess. But, but, uh, that's the, that's yeah. the other national thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Jimmy's a big chess guy. So. Yeah, like, big, big Bobby Fischer fan. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. Phys Phys <laughs> physically. <laughs> physically. <laughs> <It's good. laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> well, who, Bobby Fischer, <laughs> who, do you, who do you think is the, do you, who, the, next, the next guy beside you? Who's coming up now that is going to be the next Fedor? Who do you think is the next guy beside you? Who do you think is the next Fedor? Не знаю, не знаю. Я не задумываюсь над этим. Наверное, кто-то сменит меня все-таки. Может, это будет скоро, может быть, это... But, uh, you know, I know, I know somebody will replace me at some point. I just, you know, maybe, maybe it'll be soon, maybe it'll be quite later. Do they have a brother, too? You have a brother? Да, брат дерется, но... Yeah, yeah, he fights. He's, a, yeah. He's, he's really good too, though, right? He's yeah, yeah, very talented. Yeah. Are you uh, are you gonna are you training him? Are you helping him out? Maybe to get into MMA? And... Было время, когда мы работали вместе. Сейчас он несколько лет уже занимается отдельно. У него другие тренера. Он в Санкт-Петербурге. Yeah, there was a time when we were, when we trained together, but now he lives in a different city. He lives in St. Petersburg, and uh, he has different trainers, and, and he trains on his own. Right. I saw footage of you training. It was um, it was like it was outdoors, and then there was you were doing yeah, some video, wrestling moves, and it was it looked like it was almost in a little schoolhouse. It was bare bones, uh, not at all fancy. It was, it was very very low budget do you kind of train like that on purpose yeah the little простое место знаешь как маленькая школа и ты специально так тренируешься без без большой красоты и все это было на улице да нет я всю жизнь так тренируюсь это мой родной спортзал поэтому no i just it's it's the way that i've tra it's where i've trained all my life it's my hometown it's 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 basically the the gym that i grew up in 
and uh, that's why I prefer to train. And he, he doesn't do like uh, you know, a lot of MMA fighters in the UFC are these guys who just shredded. They go on these diets and you know the protein drinks and all that. He, I mean, he doesn't do any of that. He eats what he wants. He trains hard, and, and he's pretty much is what he is, right? Ты не как другие бойцы, которые кушают ну там витамины и как специальные напитки и все. Ты просто ты кушаешь что ты хочешь, тренируешься сильно и серьезно. И ты, ты как-то делаешь эти новые вещи, как другие бойцы делают? Или... Ну, я думаю, что в первую очередь не в этом заключается, э, скажем так, э, успех в спорте. Yeah, I don't. I just. I, you know, I don't think your fortunes in the ring uh, are really dependent on all yes. these gimmicky things that people do. Uh, я думаю, что в первую очередь зависит от внутреннего характера, от веры, uh, в, uh, веры в себя, в uh, веру в Бога и uh, от той работы, которую спортсмен выполняет, а, yeah. не, а не от того, какую таблетку он съест. No, I believe that, you know, instead of what, 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 you know, pill you take or, or anything else, it really more depends on what you've got inside of you, your determination, your heart. Uh, you know your your belief in yourself and 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 God and and, and your training and you know, as hard as you work to to get to where you need to be. So I'd never make it at MMA. Is what он, you're он, он не в MMA, да? Он он. Почему ты говоришь, что я не в MMA? Потому что ты сделал лист от всех вещей, которые я не имею. He's never laughed harder, Bobby. That's what I could translate that one. Do you think you could train a guy like this to be a fighter? Or at least a man. Sam, show him your body. Please. He said, of course, I, I can train anybody. You can train some, really? So that's it. You can train some, really? Ну, одно дело заниматься на серьезные результаты, другое дело заниматься для себя, чтобы быть в тонусе и чтобы уметь постоять. Well, there's one thing about, you know, working to to have some serious right. results, and then the other thing is just training to at least, right. you know, get to a certain level where you're considered. How, how hard would it be to okay. put a, a how hard would it be to put a rear naked choke on this chinless ass right here? Как сложно быть? just slip right out of it. Болевой прием сразу на этого человека, потому что у него нету у него нету много шеи. Ты бы мог сделать удушить его? Если голова на чем-то вертится. Uh, what do you do, dude? Other than this, you roll with him. Uh, you his, his... I am also his attorney. So, oh really? You're oh, a lawyer. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. For, for, for M1 Global, it's the, uh, the the promotional company that that promotes. Yeah, yeah. fuck yeah. It's M1 gonna, Global. It's gonna be a hell of a pay. You fight? Me. No. No. You just wear cool sweaters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's cold, man. I'm from LA, so I had, I had, I had, a, I had a bust out. The and you only take two percent from him, right? <laughs> yeah. So, I'm on. I'm on salary. <laughs> <laughs> so. Arlovsky, I mean, it, it's kind of hard to picture anybody having a chance in a fight uh, against you. I mean, you never fought Arlovsky before, I don't think. Um, what is it that makes this guy ready to fight you? Сложно представить, да вообще кто-то может у тебя выиграть, но Арбовский никогда с тобой не дрался, и он чувствует, что он имеет шанс выиграть. Чего ты думаешь, да, ну как ты думаешь, это Арловский, и да, да он говорит, да он готов на этот бой? Ну, конечно, у любого бойца есть шанс. Yeah, any fighter has a chance. Все могут реализовать себя в бою. I mean, you know, anybody can can realize their their best potential in in a fight. Андрей мне очень нравится как боец. I like Andre very much as a fighter. Он разносторонний, у него быстрые руки. He's very well rounded. He's got really quick hands. Is he on the upswing or or is he is he because he has some real heavy momentum for a minute when he used to wear his, his fang teeth and all that stuff and he was he was. He seemed to be the most dangerous dude in UFC for a minute, and then he lost to Silva. Is he? What's his status now in terms of? Is he? Is he? Should he be fighting Fedor right now, or is it like he's he's lucky to be fighting Fedor? Как его статус сегодня? Это он он в одном момент его считались очень опасным, когда он был в UFC, но потом он проиграл у Силвы. Но на сегодняшний день как он стоит? Он имеет? Он заслужил с тобой иметь бой? Ну, конечно, конечно. Он один из самых опасных бойцов в мире. No, absolutely. I mean, he's he's won his last couple fights in a row, and 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 he's one of the most dangerous fighters in the world. So he definitely deserves to be. But I mean, everybody's. I mean, you know what I'm saying. Not everybody's dangerous, but it's like, okay, like Tim Silva. He was riding Sylvia. He was riding high after he beat Olovsky, or even like. Uh, uh, 
was uh, Rampage. Rampage was riding high after he beat um, yeah. who he beat when he was riding high. Oh, like Ch Chuck, right? Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Is Arlovsky on this thing now? Like how Frank Mir is on, where he he just won, and now it's time to see him, right? You know, no, where's Arlovsky? Is he вверх и и вот как как Rampage когда он выиграл у Ладел, он тоже шел на наверх. Ну, Арлоски тоже сейчас идет вверх или он идет вниз в карьеру? Uh, я думаю, что Андрей карьера идет только вверх. No, I think. I think no, I think he's definitely on the rise. Uh, you know, he he fought on the same card as as uh, Fedor fought when yeah. he fought Sylvia, and, and he looked great. Right. And he won his la his next fight after that. I mean, he's so. a bad looking dude. Like he only did a couple of You know, and he wears his little fangs and stuff. Zuba, Zuba before Zuba. He's a bad looking dude. You know. No. That's what I'm saying. It's just like, so even if you know how to fight, you look at a dude like Orlovsky. He just looks. Just dangerous. He just looks dangerous, and it's just like, does that have any like? What does he do to talk to himself to go? This dude looks dangerous, and he is dangerous, but I'm dangerous, sir. Как ты себя успокаиваешь? Вот ты видишь на на Орловский, он выглядит такой опасный, но как ты себя уговариваешь? Но я даже более опасный. Нет, я я так не думаю. Я я совсем об этом не думаю. No, I don't even think about it. I don't. I don't think whether I'm dangerous, sir. Or uh, just, just, I just I just go along. You just don't. You know I'd like to see. Would would you ever fight a guy like uh, a guy like Gabriel Gonzaga? Um, would you ever see yourself? Because uh, he impressed everybody when he beat Crow uh, Cop with that kick to the head. I mean that was devastating. Uh, you ever see yourself fighting him? He's a guy I kind of like. But yes, because Gabriel Gonzaga, to him, he looks very beautiful. When he beat Crow Cop, did you think that he would fight him? No, if he gets close to him, I will beat him. And what do you know about him? Yeah, honestly, I don't know that much about him. But if you know, if if it comes down to it, where where you know somebody can organize a fight with with me and him, then I'd be more than happy did to he, fight him. Did he did he ever fight somebody that just stunk? That's what I'm gonna ask. You know what I mean? That just made him want to puke because it was like, oh, just smells. Oh, smell literally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't mean smell literally or yeah, just smell stunk? both. Well, you had to hit okay. mine and no, his. No, he's not gonna say. He's not gonna say. No, there's some guys that really guys are don't want to fight because they stink. Because after Drasa came to the country, Poska banyal. Yeah, well, banyal in ring, but banyal was just pachnul plocha. Запах был плохой. Это как Why would you say weed? How do you say weed? I don't know. I don't say C. With, 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 without the, just one good, one good, like just one mean answer. Without the, mo we know he's a modest, nice dude, right? Yeah, we know. But, but like really, just a, just a, a really dude answer. Who is an overrated bum? Ну скажи нам честно, кто кто в этом спорте не заслужил быть на уровне, который он он получил? Ну и какой-то боец, который просто не такой хороший, но люди думают он. If Rick Ross comes out of his mouth, I'll laugh. I know he's a nice guy. I know he's nice guy. Like he's he's a respectful guy. But who is just just like? In his words, he's like, just man, I like to. Just show everybody no, that he's slow. If there is some guy who you just want to show him that he's just slow, he's just slow. You're tiring him out. You 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 Well, I mean, you know, if, if if some guys in the ratings pretty high, and you know, that means just people put him there. It doesn't mean necessarily that he belongs there, but I don't really judge people. So, if, you know, if some guys in the ratings, and I got to meet with them and mm -hmm. and to prove that I'm better than than I will. But I'm I'm not here to judge whether or not he deserves to be there. As, as if if, he, if if Boss Rutan was at his peak today, would he be one of, like? Uh, would he be one of the baddest motherfuckers out there? Oh, you know, without cursing, because he's a... Oh, sorry, baddest yeah. person he's on a, he's the a planet. Praise God. Mm. Are we talking about Well, the fact that he was a UFC champion already speaks volumes. That's it? 
That's all I need to say. <laughs> okay. Do you, think that, do you think that in an attempt to make uh, MMA bigger here, um, like the, the, they're pushing certain guys through faster, like uh, Brock Lesnar had like, what, four fights before he got a shot at the championship. Good. He's a great fighter, but he only had four fights. Or Kimbo Slice was made this, uh, this household name before he had ever proven himself in mixed martial arts. Is, is that just an attempt to make MMA bigger? How do you feel about that? Как ты чувствуешь этот факт, да? Есть такие бойцы, как Лезнер и Кембл Слайс, где они не имеют так много боев, но они уже их подлокают очень быстро. И ты думаешь, это потому, что люди хотят да, спорт MMA как-то вырос быстрее, чем он готов? Или как, как твое мнение от, от факта, да? есть такие бойцы, которые очень после даже четыре боев уже э, считаются одни от самых хороших? Um... Есть, конечно, бойцы, которые выделяются, выделяются своим талантом, выделяются, с, может быть, своими габаритами кто-то. Есть, конечно, бойцы, которые хотят видеть, и от этого их раскручивают. И, ну, они занимают свою ступень, скажем так, гораздо быстрее, чем те, кто начинает бить, ну, пробиваться с самого низа. Well, I mean, there's fighters that, you know, uh, have, have, you know, kind of paid their dues and with their talent and their pedigree have, have, have really, you know, kind of gone through the ranks. And, and, and there's kind of one category of fighters. And there's another category of fighters that people really want to see. And so as a result, you know, they're, they're, they're marketable. And, and so they're, they're kind of put on a faster track. And, you know, if it's good for the sport, that's fine. So what do you do? Do you train? They say what two, three times a day you train. Like when you or, and when? How far before a fight do you actually stop? Do you, do you give yourself a day or two before a fight where you do very light training? I mean, because I've read two or three times a day. Ты ты тренируешься где-то два-три раза в день. Ну когда ты остановится до боя, я за неделю до боя или день-два до боя, когда ты уже перестал тренироваться два-три дня, как ты обычно тренируешься до боя? Примерно за десять дней. Yeah, about 10 days before the fight, yeah. I'm, I'm basically done with my training. The training's the hardest part. How come he fights every New Year's? Чего ты каждый Новый год дерешься? Ну, потому что приглашают. Because they ask me to. That's it? They invite me to. All right. Is he, is he bummed out that uh, Pride is gone? I mean, I know it's Dream now, but is he I mean, does he miss Pride? Ты расстроен, да сейчас уже нет Pride? Я понимаю, да сейчас уже Dream есть, но ты расстроен, да Pride не существует. Как он существовал? Ну, конечно, Прайд занимал свою ступень в мире ММА. И думаю, что он очень много сделал для развития этого спорта. Yeah, no, it's it's disappointing because you know Pride had its place in 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 not only the MMA world but also its history, and it's done, it, it 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 contributed a lot to to the growth of MMA. So it's it's sad to to not see it exist. Because the point. Japanese fans performing in front of them, they're really respectful. They don't scream out. They you know, you know, it's a different atmosphere performing in Japan than it is performing in Anaheim, California, with a bunch of savages who just drank a six pack in the parking lot. No, because it's the way when you're in Pride, Japanese fans don't have a lot of respect. They're such good fighters. But it's different than being in Anaheim, where Люди только что выпили много пива и кричат, как сумасшедшие. Say it right. Say it right. Oh, okay. I wasn't bad. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't, oh. wasn't dude, exact, dude, you really are making us nervous. Yeah. Yeah. One, yeah. one slip and we go. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, I'm trying to, yeah. Yeah. just say it's not. Пожалуйста, переведи на маму, потому что здесь как-то не так правильно, что ты скажешь, что он разозлится, так мы боимся. You really are improv in this thing. Yeah, since we heard sushi, we know it's all. He's just a, he's a actor. We big fans of this. He has a stare, like, that you go, you just want to go, and then you want to say to, to, to you want to say to Fedor, with all due respect, and then you want to say to these dudes, all due respect. Yeah. Они просто не хочет, я неправильно сказал слово, потому что знаешь, у тебя такой взгляд, и потом тем более у тебя есть четыре мужика сзади тебя, которые сидят, которые тоже могут разозлиться на меня. Patrice, he gives them first shot. He gives them first shot before he gets to do. Who are these guys? Он им дает раньше тебя побить, чем чем он будет. Они с ними с тобой разберутся. Их лучше совсем не сердить, потому что они настолько грозные, что их даже на ринг не выпускают. Yeah, honestly, you 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 really shouldn't piss those guys. Off because they're, they're such angry people, they don't even let them into the ring. Excuse me for a second. I can see that. Is this your family? Is that your relatives? It's like four or five guys on the couch. My trainer, 
Vorona Vladimir Mikhailovich. Yes, one of them is is my trainer, uh, oh, Vladimir Mikhailovich uh, Voronov. He looks, he looks fun. Yeah. <laughs> wonder if he's at the he's just, <laughs> like, <laughs> he's so much so yet. He looks like he's waiting to have somebody beat up right <laughs> now. <laughs> trainer. Vadim Finkelstein. Vadim my Finkelstein manager. is my manager. The, the, the Finkelstein? Finkelstein? Yes. Of course. <laughs> which one's that? Can I pick which they one? Really that is? Don't rule the world. Yes, the Finkelstein. <laughs> of course. Good Lord. Lord. Of course. Finkelstein? We all got something in common, all of us. Shit. All right, go ahead. Who's the who's the who's the other good? This no this is my brother. These are they're, they're all my friends, but uh, and, the, and the two guys uh, are my friends Slava and, hey, and Dennis. Is he yeah. a, is he a fan of Yakov uh, Shmirov? <laughs> He's nice Yakov Shmirov. <laughs> <laughs> A lot Never of no, no, no. A lot no, of Russians, the Russians don't know who he is. Oh, oh really? Oh, really? No. Yeah, he, that's, he, that's really good to know. That, does he like comedy? Like, who's his favorite comedian? comedian. Oh, <laughs> No, no, actors. No. Wait, there's no word to say comedy in Russian. Stand up comedy? But uh, what's his favorite movie? What do you want to date him? What kind of question is that? I just want to know. So when I watch him on TV, I can say it. You know, his favorite, his favorite movie is... Uh, what is we got, some of your, you got mail. Your, what's some of your fears? Like, yeah, one, of, one of his favorite movies is... Uh, one of his favorite movies is Die Hard with Bruce Willis. Uh, uh, yeah. All right. See, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, Jimmy will repeat yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Bruce Willis will be more of Danny. I say hi to him, he ignores me. I'm going to guess him as the Rovers, but I'm not as the Rovers. That's not part of me. Who well, lives in the building? Yeah, tell, 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 him, tell him I say hi, I'm well, a big fan. A, tell him it's amazing, dude, because we're all, we are big fans. Oh, yeah. we, no, I mean, and not because he's sitting here. He's the, he's the, he's like, you know, he's the real deal. We're just like, he's the baddest dude walking around, And just to show our respect for you, you can take Sam with you. He's yours. He's the one. He's the one. We're giving you a story. We're giving you an American to wrap? Okay, we have to. They're going to get him out of promotion. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's uh, this uh, Saturday night. It's called. It's affliction. A day of reckoning. Um, and we have. Uh, we'll do the read after. Yeah, but, but we, we got something going on tomorrow. I do believe. What, what do you guys like? A, uh, Tuesday Trump Tower. Yeah, we got a, we got a press conference tomorrow for the uh, Affliction M1 Global it's uh, open Day to the Reckoning public, Show. Right? It's open to the public, I believe. And uh, mm -hmm. Tito Ortiz is going to be there. Oscar De Hoya is going to be there. Fader, of course. Nice. It's going to start at uh, ten thirty tomorrow uh, at the Trump Tower atrium. And he is uh, he's fighting uh, uh, Andre the Pitbull uh, Arlovsky. That's the headline fight. Uh, this Saturday, but it's a great car. I mean, there's a lot of great fighters on it, but I would suggest watching the whole thing. You know, you don't want to just tune in at the end. Just watch the whole, no, the whole, the whole, the whole definitely card. Definitely watch the beginning. One of the first uh, undercard fights on HGNet is uh, is Baby Fedor, uh, Fedor's protege. He's a 20-year-old uh, kid. That's what I was trying to get to get. That's what I was trying to get at. I forget. But yeah. Yeah. yeah, but nice. Right, right, that's so the whole the next, great. the next Fedor. Let's get him out of here. Let's hear it for Fedor, everyone. Got a nice live Thank audience. You. Good. We're going to take a quick break and we'll uh, wrap up next. Opie and Anthony. I must say, uh, we've had a lot of scary dudes in this studio. Yeah. We just saw the scariest. That no offense to some of the other the tough guys that have been in here, but that Whoa. Fedor, you felt like something could happen at any moment because he doesn't speak English, so you're just praying that the fucking translator was going to say the right thing and not slip up with his translation because maybe he's hung over or I've something. Only, I've, only on met Russian Randy vodka. I've only met Randy Couture yeah. when he was in here. He has... He understands sarcasm. Yeah, like he that's just what I'm un he gets it. Remember right? when we went to he, Amsterdam? You start you, like foreigners sometimes don't get American sarcasm. They, they, that's sarcasm shit. And I'm like trying to say, look, you can't. I'm trying to sarcasm. say that he doesn't look dangerous. He just looks like a who that average, guy? Not like an average size dude. He doesn't look like holy shit. Like Andre Olavsky, when you see him, you're like, this motherfucker looks dangerous. Like he's just a big and Brock Lesnar. Right. He looks dangerous. This guy looks. Well, he had his nice little sweater on. His little winter sweater. Even even when he's fighting, I always look at Fedor and go, "He's how is this guy? He's not. He's kind of not the Dude. the way the other he, dudes are. He, he has seriousness look, to him. He yeah. look, it's in his eyes because when he you look at him, to him. He's got he's got big hands, and uh, there's almost an odd gentleness to him when he's talking. Yeah. And that's because he's he doesn't need to talk shit. He's such a devastating fighter. You, he doesn't need it. You find yourself uh, stop breathing until uh, he smiles and then you breathe again. Like yeah. oh, that, didn't, that didn't make me feel any better. I just he just <laughs> he looked like he was smiling as he's murdering you. Like 
And Patrice, you nailed it with me. Like I was thinking, Dude. how can I like mess with him in a way where it'd be cool? You would have fucked like, everybody. I'm up, like, man. no. I was like, I'm out. I'm, I, I, I have no problem Obi, admitting it. I'm like, I'm out. I wanted to write you a letter and say, don't do it, and hold it up. Don't. Oh, I thought about it. Do it and but, push that boring button. But so. I'm not, so that, that this guy can go, leave, 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 leave. I'm not he that says, boring. I'm like, I would have oh, fucking shit. walked out. Dude, I would have walked those out. Those four guys on the couch were intimidating as fuck. Well, once I found out it was Finkelstein, though, <laughs> well, it did everything. It helped. It, <laughs> it certainly helped. Finkelstein, the Jew lawyer. Yeah. It's like, oh, we all have something in common. Yeah, that fucking helped us. What? <laughs> <laughs> he's a very he's a very quiet uh, dude. That's just the way he looks in the ring. He doesn't show a lot of emotion. It's Hell like yeah. he never looks afraid. He never looks. This at guy it. has never lost a fucking. He but the thing fight. is, he just lost his Sambo tournament. That's why you were bringing that up. I didn't want. I didn't want to bring it up. Well, no, not that. One. I'm talking about the one in 2000. He, he just lost. he just lost this year. For, he lost Sambo. This year, who beat him? Not in, uh, I don't know who beat him, in, but not in MMA. No, Sambo, which is more actually probably more important to him than oh, okay because uh, it's you know. But he he lost this year, which is kind of fucked up. Really, Blue yeah, Heel, I mean, I wasn't is it on up. YouTube? Uh, I don't. It's yeah, gotta I don't be somewhere. Think... Blue Heeler from Kentucky. Patrice is a translator's worst nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> you were gonna screw it all up. Uh, I, look at if this motherfucker didn't if he not because I, I didn't. How about that you, motherfucker throwing sushi at him? Like, that's what I'm saying. Dude, we said that the big giant Korean. It smelled like sushi. No, we didn't, you motherfucker. Right. <laughs> Say it right, you he goddamn said, translator. We said dog and cat. Say it. Yeah. yeah. Was, his favorite. And, and you his, and Rocky IV, uh, he didn't on. even get the reference of, like, why that but would he, mean anything. He, he answered it seriously. No, I do not like Rocky. Yeah. That's uh, what I'm saying. Uh, I, I want to hear who he doesn't like. Like, all right, who's would, fucking, he, who, who do you fucking, who, who don't you like? He was some cool. wrestling shit. He's like a quiet dude. That's not his nature. His nature is to just be. Oh, he's a good yeah, fighter, the thing. and then punch your face off and break your arm. But that's but see, this is the that's the thing about I guess when you're when it's real fighting, but yeah. but but boxing has that 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 pageantry, right? Where yeah. they they need they need more like a uh, 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 they need more Quentin Rampage. Jackson, they need more dudes. More Liddells and who, more... Who yeah. talk shit, who go, I don't like this motherfucker's haircut. Like Tito, Tito yeah. Ortiz. Is... And Liddell said that. He goes, Tito's afraid of me. I mean, Liddell has said that, yeah. that, that Tito's afraid of him. And, and I mean, he's... He, we understand this quiet fucking monster, but it's like, give me something, motherfucker. Give me, like, I'll kill you. Not me, but fucking Andre Olowski. Like, just go, yeah, I don't like his dumb teeth that he puts in his mouth. Or... or it's something that where it's like it makes it theatrical. It makes it like, yeah, but oh, he's, shit, he's I want to watch this. He's, fight, he's been fighting in Pride, which is a totally different organization that re they respect it. The, the fans respect. They don't boo. They don't do weird shit. And, and the fighters all respected each other. It's, it was, it, UFC is more, they, they added that shit into the mix. Americans at, like that stuff. Over in Japan, they don't like that. Well, I was over there. You, it's, it gets a lot to be loud in public. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's weird rules. Of, it's really. It's, I'll be in danger. Right, listen, uh, you'd be kicked out of the country after, at the airport. After meeting him, though, <clears throat> looking at it, that dude is a—he's he's just a, a bad dangerous dude, man. That is just. You see, his eyes are kind of half squid. I, I wanted to do the stare down with him. I should. I wanted to do oh, that. I forgot to do that. I know. I should have asked at the end. He probably would have just give me a little. Low. You know, he's not. No, nah, he would have done it. So uh, what do we got, Jim? We've got to do the live read officially. If you misunderstood, stare down and, and beat down and just pummeled you on the ground. Well, I, don't, I would say please don't pummel me again. Yeah. <laughs> As he pummels him. And, and I hate to pumbles, be pummeled. Pummels and crumbles. I, I would like never... Pummels. You ever use the word pummels? No, no, no one ever pummels. has. It doesn't no exist. Problem. I've pummeled a couple kids in junior high. Why don't we do a little... Uh, we got to do a live read for hey, the Can I have a banana? Yeah. Can I have one of those? I, I, yeah, you should. The way you talk, that's what you should eat with your feet. <laughs> <laughs> We're following the success of this is the uh, the live read for Affliction. <laughs> following the success of their initial MMA event, Affliction Entertainment returns with Affliction M1 Global Day of Reckoning. It's live on pay per view this Saturday, January 24th, uh, nine o'clock is from Anaheim. It's six o'clock uh, on the West Coast. Yeah, it's an explosive six fight MMA pay per view event, and it's going to be headlined, of course, by the great uh, Fedor Emelianenko. Uh, he's going to defend his World Alliance of Mixed Martial Arts Headweights belt against uh, world top-ranked heavyweight Andre the Pitbull Orlovsky. I'm rooting for Andre. What? Me too, to make it yeah. through the first round so you don't spend this much money and watch <laughs> 10 seconds of fight. Every fight on there is really fucking good. I don't though. think yes, Andre Orlovsky yeah, is going to go down in one round or anything like that. Man. Fedor's thing is, though, he just he just knocks you down, and then and then he's an amazing submission guy. I mean, he's just Ugh. he's an amazing submission guy. He doesn't make it pretty. He doesn't make it pretty. <laughs> I just can't even imagine. 
I know. They just twist your arm back oh, and you tap, and oh, that's it. Please. This blockbuster pay-per-view also features MMA All-Star Josh Barnett as he takes on the experienced Gilbert uh, Ivel. Other fighters featured on the card are Matt the Law Lindland. Did I say it wrong, Ivel? Well, well, someone's going to get pummeled. <laughs> Somebody's going to get pummeled. This card dude. includes Matt the Law Lindland, Renato Babalu Sabrell, Babalu. Chris Horadecki, and uh, Dan uh, Lauzon. The event is presented by Golden Boy Pr Promotions, Affliction Entertainment, and its partners, Donald Day Trump and M1 Global. Affliction M1 Global Day of Reckoning. It's a live on pay-per-view. It's again from Anaheim this Saturday, January the 24th at 9 o'clock. Contact your pay-per-view provider, your cable people. It's very easy to oh, get. What are they doing know? tomorrow? Tito Ortiz is probably announcing that he's got a big fight coming up. Well, Tito's Affliction. coming in. Tito. He's coming in he's, tomorrow. He's not, with any, he's not with anybody right no. now. He's no, he's I tomorrow. bet he's got a big uh, announcement. So that'll that'll be cool. make it on our show. That'd be cool. So he beat Nogueira in 2004? Yeah. yeah. The, Which the, Noguera is that, though? Is that the, that's, that's Minotaur, right? Ted Noguera. I don't know. There's two of their twin brothers, and they fight. Oh, he... Oh. All right, let's get out of here. One has a big scar on his back. We did good today. Yeah. I want to thank uh, Patrice O'Neill and Robert Kelly for stopping in with your knowledge. I didn't realize you knew that well, much. Bobby knows a lot of that that's fucking uh, uh, MMA. Pretty cool. Uh, for the people that are going to stick with us until Ron and Fez do their noon to three, Bob May died over the weekend. Who's Bob May? He was the man inside the robot outfit in Lost in Space. Oh. Uh, if you remember, Big Kev, this is a legendary bit, was at a convention and got Bob on the phone, and we played the silent game with this guy. Well, he's now dead. Jeffrey Ross was in studio. We're going to replay that in honor of, of him dying, I guess. I don't know. We're going to start that in a couple minutes here. <laughs> Warning. He was the voice, too? Or, or he just was the dude in the suit? Uh, I, I, uh, we get into that whole thing. That's like uh, that's like saying a guy who's in Barney's suit died. Exactly. Guy. I think we learned that he wasn't the voice. He was Steve just repeating. He was dead. just in the, in the fucking suit. I think. I think I, 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 I'm he listen. had to be warning, too. I don't know. <laughs> he was warning. Warning. Too. If he wasn't warning a danger, <laughs> fuck Bob May. I think he wore a suit. I think that's the beauty of uh, the bit you're about to hear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was it, Patrice. <laughs> he didn't even get uh, to do warning. The, the guy that was Big Bird's chest. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Snuffle up against the front part of his face died. Yes. <laughs> Everybody can imitate warning, but he wasn't allowed right. to do it. This guy was was Gordon's balls. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, so that's for the people really? sticking around. True. And that will be brought to you by Direct TV. Call eight 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 nine six one Direct TV. Direct TV. Eight 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 nine six one Direct TV. Fucking Bob, man. <laughs> Want to thank thirteen year old JC for stopping by. We didn't get to you over here, JC, but I hope you had fun. Your mom's hot. We all know that. The, the, the Annette Benning looking broad. That's uh, JC's mom. Yeah, she is. She's, she's a lawyer cute. too. So, yeah. uh, whatever. All right. <laughs> what else is there? Jimmy's going to be in uh, doing the comedy festival Miami, in Miami. Miami, which is a really fun festival. We work in Jackie Gleason Theater, the I big one. I don't know. No, it's Lincoln Theater, probably. It's oh, it's a big one too. It's a few hundred seats. I'm not going to sell it out. Like I said, it's not that big. Hey, Robert, but it's going to be a fun time. It's awful. I think yeah. you're coming back to do the whole show when uh, Jimmy's gone. Uh, I think so. One of these days, I think. But this we're trying to figure that out. And Patrice, yeah. what do you got going on? Just tired. <laughs> well, eat some meat. Yeah, get some meat in your I'm some protein. Exactly. <laughs> you fucking had, you had dirt tea for fucking breakfast. Patrice, you know I support you, but how you were talking about that Brazilian yeah. uh, meat house, uh, I'm like, there's no way this is going to last. I'm, I'm trying to be healthy. I think I'm going to make it through. <laughs> Good. Exactly. Call me when you crack. We'll go over there and have some oh, fucking steaks. Let me be there for that. You're just going to stick a fork in some like in some, in some, in some hardened oh. animal fat. Some just eat it. Some garlic, uh, nice yeah. garlic steak. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God, how good is that? What's, this, what's the steak that is, there's like three of them on one and they go picanha. small? God, is that what's the that? best picanha steak? Picanha. Is the best yeah. steak? At what's the, the name of this shitty restaurant? Uh, you been there, Plataforma. Manny, many years ago. Forty nine, yeah. the best restaurant in New York City. Yeah, number, fifty bucks a head. Number number one. Rated cleanly, cleanly, cleanliness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You drop a and napkin, there's five and guys the fucking there. fucking New York City, dude. Plat Plataforma, 49th Street? Yeah. yeah it's fantastic. They have the dessert yeah. tray that goes around that oh! Patrice would <laughs> stick his finger in every dessert and go, what's this? I, everybody cracks up when he does it. I did it with my wife trying to fucking imitate him. I got in trouble. They, got, they, out, they, right? they pulled yeah, the tray. Don't, just, no, don't do that. No, don't. Yeah, you just do the... the, the he sticks the his finger in all go, of them. This one here, what is it? He, he just swirls up the <laughs> yeah. You know why? Because he's fun. Yeah, You're I'm, a charmless ox. I really am. <laughs> my wet, and my wife said, don't try to beat Patrice. I was like, fuck oh, you, oh, fucking that hurt. twat. That's right. It was true, though. That's Bob has no hurt. charm at all. I have nothing. <laughs> Bob's got fucking dead black doll eyes. He looks like mean shit. Fucking creep. 
You have Fedor eyes and fucking <laughs> right. puffing stuff body. You make everybody sick. I'm not fucking fat anymore, stupid. Shut up, Grossberger. Take your shirt off. <laughs> You know, what, I, shit you know up, what I can't even roll with you? You can't tease a man for his past fatness. Sure you can. As if it's still and his future fatness. <laughs> <laughs> He's lost at least 100 fucking pounds. Yes, he has. Bob, looks, Bob looks very good. I've told, I told Bob. 75 fucking pounds? Right, 75. Yeah. I was 280. He was my fattest. I've told you Bob go to my MySpace. He looks good. And you can see me last December. And I, I just looks like me inside of somebody Bob, else. Bob is after. In a fat suit. That's his new nickname. Yeah. After Kelly. I don't got any of the stri I don't got any of that flabby skin, thank God. Either. Well, you wasn't stretched out long enough. Wait, was that it? I was putting yeah, on. I was putting. Out. Dude, I was putting on firming cream and like you a thirteen year old. Every day. And every, you had roundness to you. Like you weren't. You weren't obese. You just were. You just had gave up. And now you're back to fucking. You're not as beautiful you, as you used to be, but you fucking. You, you look good, man. I'm in spitting distance. Bobby was beautiful. You seen young pictures of Bobby? That's Kelly. when I met him. Yeah, I'll, you were like one. 16, no, I mean, we had all no, his fucking hair. I, I met him one, with his hair and everything. 180, 185 was, was, your my, was my lowest yeah. weight. Yeah, really? That yeah, was good looking. Fucking and your woman, little... your woman's working out with you too, right? Everybody, yeah, I told her to go work out. I go, look, I'm getting my shit losing, together, so you better get your yeah, shit together. Yeah, yeah, you. She don't... was with you, and you were a manatee, so you got to give her. <laughs> <laughs> you got to give her a little That's bit of fucking true, Don't be fucking pressing her like that. Yeah, yeah you're right. she looks good. But you're you're right. woman, your woman keeps looking good anyway. Yeah, she's like one of those the women, though. Like certain women, they just don't get fat. They, you know, they sure boobs get big and whatever. Get that fucking Everett, Massachusetts body. That you know, like little and I little hate bum. your body, Norton. By the way, good. Yeah. I don't want you liking my body. I, don't, I just don't like. I just don't like someone who's out of shape, but they're not fat. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Really like that one. I, he knows the deal. He, yeah, I he just li- don't want to look, look at you with your uh, your horrible yeah. figure, you just, but you're not fat. You but I'm, like, I'm good from the waist down. I'm I'm in very good. I have very solid muscular legs. No, you, you don't. look like you you're made of clay. Oh, if I put you in a in a sand timer. You could go right through. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. If I was upside down, I would get stuck at the top. <laughs> my legs are good. You're not going to sell me out of my legs. He's I'll never the bam out the pin, gams. Uh, calves. I have all... solid fucking yeah, calves. You want to check them out? You I have great them? gams. Yeah. Show them your calves. Yeah, let's see the calves. Why would you work just calves. your legs out? I don't just work them out. It's a gift from God. Her... Let me see these legs. <laughs> good jeans. My legs calves. are very good. Let me Let's... see. Look at this calf of his. You, you think he's kidding? Now that's a calf, my friend. Let me see. see? Look at that. All his muscles are in his one yeah. calf. You can see the blood pumping through his calf. <laughs> that's why the rest of his body. I swear to God, he looks like an unfinished clone. He really his does. His calf is like a hard it, dick. It takes all like the he, nutrients from the rest of his he's, body. He's still in the matrix. Just, <laughs> his, his calf is horny. He just <laughs> all his, his blood. Just pump it away. Look, he's lightheaded. Get the shit together. Everybody is hating on my legs, but I got good, I got good right, games. Don't be jealous. You don't have to Norton, get the good calves. Norton, Norton has some beautiful legs. I just saw. I got beautiful he's legs. Got good calves. You I got know, great legs. What's up with the upper top? He just said, "Fuck the torso." I'll yeah. keep my underwear on. I'm yeah. my underwear let's, on. Let's see the uh, upper legs. All right, let's go. What are you, what are you doing? I'm showing. Sure I want to see his legs. I want to see the whole thing. I'm not in my underwear. I have my underwear. I'm not being crazy. Let's see the legs. Let me see these legs. Is that right? right? Oof, let me fix that. I'm not pulling the... He's, like, adjusting his clock. No, I'm just making sure. I'm not going to be privy. I'm like your fucking vacuum salesman belt. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, my belt stinks. Let me see these legs. All right, right. let's go. Let's legs. Oh, you just seen your, your mule. <laughs> look at his fucking mule. Jesus. He doesn't look pathetic. He really doesn't. He no, yeah, said he looks good yeah. from the waist down. He told you. I mean, it's solid. Very solid. I got solid. I got great legs. I don't like how you have hairy hamstrings. But other, than, <laughs> other than that, sexy legs for Norton. Yeah, he's got all right legs. I got, no, I got better all right legs. I got damn good legs. shirt off. I'm a little messed up top, but I can lose that. That's easy. Yeah, how can you lose bad. it? Just stop eating bad. He's getting there. Not that bad. Let me see. No. How can your legs look that good? He hasn't squeezed his fat and yelled at it lately, so that's a good sign. Yeah. It's hot. That's where men put it on. We put it on our stomachs. You built like a stress doll. <laughs> <laughs> it's very hard. <laughs> I very the cat squeeze, the benefit of that. Squeeze his stomach, <laughs> see if his eyes pop out. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> squeeze the rest of it. That's why it's cap the benefit. That's why <laughs> squeeze his midsection and see if it fucking puts muscle on his arm. <laughs> I happen to have very good strong arms. Let me see. I'm not going to uh, show you, but you can feel them. They don't, they don't, I'm not, they're not going to show but They're all very strong arms. Well, take the sweatshirt off. You don't, I don't need to do all that. No. <laughs> but his legs, I, don't, I wouldn't blame you for being proud because I would think you would just I wear knickers you wherever little, I go. little meatly legs, but you don't. No, I don't. Strong legs. Yeah, not at all. Got to get that. I wear old getting... school wrestling body suits. That's people, what I wear. People are trying to get in shape. I think this show's becoming quite metrosexual and faggy. Yeah, we're fucking... Everybody's losing yeah, weight. The work in the but arms. You would, I mean, you would have, you would have faggy as either Ob since day one. Since I first well, coming, you was eating. Fucking, yeah, but uh, yeah, but you know what? Multi so, multi grain right. Fruit Loops, dude. I'll tell you, <laughs> I had a I had an uncle drop dead of a heart attack before he was fifty. My dad had major heart problems. So back in ninety three, when he did his, why are we getting serious? But when he had his quadruple bypass surgery, that was it for me. I didn't know. Most of you guys at that point, I didn't know any of you guys at that point, and that's when I changed my eating habits. There you go. That scared the shit out and of me. And you've been losing weight for a while, Norton. But before yeah, that, it was fast hard. food and all After that. After the crap. holidays. Yeah, yeah. Bob. Is. Bob mm -hmm. Let me tell you why Bob did it real righteously. He fucking said, fuck that. He didn't make an announcement, because usually people make an announcement. <laughs> like you that they're gonna do. That's what I'm saying. I, am I, a fucked, vegan. Up. I fucked up. Yeah. I should have just kept it to myself, yeah. but it was just out. And then but one day Bobby's... people go, what's going on with you, Patrice? You want people to ask you. You don't want to make Exactly. So that was a, a disingenuous thing I did, but yeah. I just announced yeah, it, whatever. Well. But um, Bobby didn't announce it. He just came one day fucking looking good and healthy, and, 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 I, and I'm, I'm proud of Bob because yeah, he was a fucking sad mess. Yeah, it was bad. It was the positive bad. energy you're throwing out right now makes you want to step on your fucking hat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying Bobby came in. I know. Bobby had become so fat. That how fat was he? Yeah. <laughs> that, that he people, couldn't get any fatter for his body the fat, And here's what how evil yeah. Bobby was when he was fat. I was a 40, would, 41 waist. He Jesus. would wonder why people didn't tease me for my fatness. He would go tease him too, but I just been I didn't let myself go. My fatness has always been a part of my. But you showed up my fat. Problem, yeah. I showed yeah. up fat. <laughs> You came in a, a sex symbol. Right. You were like uh, Tyra Banks. Like you, right. you're like a who, where are they now? And you just go, oh my god, Bobby. Right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like one of the Goonies. Wait, exactly. and take us back to that when uh, <laughs> when he first showed up on the scene down at the cellar. He was like the sex symbol. Well, and me you guys were all, each other back in Boston. In Boston and, Bobby, and, you, and you guys would roll your eyes. Let me tell like, you the two, the two most beautiful men I've ever seen, and and without even <laughs> fatness involved, a young oh, Bobby really? Kelly, right? Yeah. Where you look at him and go, this guy is a beautiful dude, but you know who trumped his beauty as a man looked like a bitch? Who? Nick DiPaolo. Nick DiPaolo was you a motherfucker. You could fuck Nick DiPaolo when he was younger yeah. and you wouldn't be gay. That's how beautiful Nick yeah. was. <laughs> you could actually go see a movie, like a drive-in with him and suck his cock and kiss his neck he looked, slowly. I'm telling you, he looked like... Um, what's the silent movie motherfucker? Charlie Chaplin. No, the... the Valentino. Real, Valentino. <laughs> With, with makeup and he used to he had pictures where like real faggy pictures but he but that's why Nick's so mean cause he was like a beautiful woman that's how he got pussy he got ah, pull your pussy out you fucking cunt and they'd be like oh. like he used to have pictures where half his jacket was off his shoulder and yeah. and near his his elbow, you know yeah, those kind uh, of pictures. Yeah. And he just would look at with his, his with his with his tragedy and comedy oh, tattoo. Oh, that's poor shit. I'm really into my, what I do. Comedy, I'm an artist, bitch. <laughs> Anybody that puts a fucking comedy, that's like if I put a carrot on my arm and let you know I'm serious about this veganism, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but he uh, gorgeous. But Bobo in his fucking young days, man, good looking dude. And then he just let go. And it, I and like well. You get a stand. That was only I, recent I let go. years, man. When I when I when I fucking hurt my knee, man. <laughs> but he was looking. Can I just say something really he quick? He was looking though? bad. He, was, I, he wasn't looking sexy then either. Yeah, not at all. You know what happened? But I, not at all. Here's the worst <laughs> curse, worse than his fatness. His he stupid was, hair. He was going bald. Yeah, man. he oh, was. Yeah. He was going bald. But he had a that, full head of hair then. But I don't mind yeah. that. The the knee really fucked me up. But can I just say one thing? There was that one rap song, I Broke My Knee, Dude, I Broke My Knee, Man, I Broke My Knee, Dude. Love that. that yes. I listened to that the other day, dude. That is a fucking good song. Yeah, who, did, who did that? And look, at it took him 80 uh, pounds later know, to be able to listen moment, to that uh, with any... Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, now you can listen and laugh, right? Uh, that was a fucking great song. But, uh, dude, you know, all those like, remixes were fucking great for the I, show. When I hurt, I hurt my knee, the guy did the operation. I didn't have a knee for a year after that because he did the wrong operation. <laughs> you know he did a shoulder <laughs> operation. Yes. He did a shoulder <laughs> operation <laughs> on my knee. It's like a different... <laughs> Dorsal fin. Yeah. <laughs> he did a shoulder operation. So then that 
that <laughs> that one year, well, I didn't have a knee. That's when I fucking gained, I think, around uh, 50 pounds. Because I got up to 230 was my biggest weight. Bobby, I'm glad to see you like you because you was a fat fucking pig, and it bothered me. I'm <laughs> yes. happy you. I'm just yeah. happy you're back because you, yeah. you yeah. look. My, I don't have heartburn anymore. I had heartburn every night. I had a t- yeah. I she was five foot two. 860 yeah. pounds, you uh, fucking walrus. You your bio said you were the young Dom DeLuise. <laughs> 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 fucking pig. Let me tell you what I had to have on my phone. when you. Yeah. I had Fat Bob yep. on my phone yeah. when you call Fat Bob. I, right. I took it off. No more yeah, Fat I'll Bob. I'll tell you what I, I had, had on my phone. For me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Fat, fat nigga. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> then I have a step on it. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I didn't have that. And I don't like what? the way, I don't like the fact that, that Fedor does Sambo. <laughs> I wanted to say something about that shit, yeah. you motherfucker. <laughs> you were as brave as everyone else in this thing, though. Kung Fu. <laughs> <laughs> Piece of shit does something called Sambo. <laughs> Fucking bastard. I didn't even want to. <laughs> and you notice he had a translation for nigga? That's that snip, 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 snip. His actual <laughs> main one, though, is Sambo. Goddamn nigga chucks. <laughs> <laughs> and he's also very good at jujitsu. <laughs> Oh, that's fucking awful. God damn it. There's something better than that. Let's roll out of here. We got the Bob A thing, uh, Husband Corner thing right around the corner for everybody. Bobby, you want followers, right, for Twitter? Uh, Well, you know what? I only did that for that comedy showdown. I'm literally 19 on that. Right. Uh, I'm, Out I'm, of how I'm, many though? I'm tw- twenty. Who's nineteen? Fucking Voss is beating me. Nice to see this show has a lot you of knows, influence. You know, yeah, exactly. You know who's winning? Kyle Cease has ninety thousand votes. Who's Kyle Cease? Who's exactly. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? He's so exactly. somebody we know. So why does this bother you then? Well, oh, no Louis on it. Billy's on it. Yeah, uh, we're like, all on. But I'm nineteen. Fixed. It's fixed if it, a guy is one of the no All you have to do is vote stand up Kelly to 66333. No, I just want to beat Voss. That's Bobby, all. Bobby, do you I want to I just want to You understand what would happen to Voss if he if the last day which is coming up this week if he saw me catching up? He be but he's he's he got ten thousand more. He got more votes. Huh? Get a voting machine. One of those voting nah, machines. No, they Voss. Someone did that. Voss one of your own eight fans. He, he was number one race. for three days. I, I'm. He was believing it too. Dude, he was so awesome. happy. He as soon as he got booted out, I got the phone call. What the fuck happened? What ha- I was now. I, this is crazy. Somebody put a, a voting machine. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Voss is Voss. <laughs> somebody had this go. Voss could not be getting these votes. Let's investigate. That's what I said. And <laughs> I want this Kyle Cease looked into. I don't know who he is. But nobody <laughs> fucking a 90, knows him. 000, a ninety thousand, a ninety thousand vote person that, that no one. He really, went from he went from like number eight yesterday to number one today. Someone. I never him. heard of him. I mean, I can't yeah. say I, I don't know. I, I, maybe I did and just don't know his last name. You don't. No. No, you don't. Let me say it again. You're, you're yeah. losing. Nineteenth to a guy. You know who's number one, two? Who, who? who? The uh, uh, the puppet guy, Jeff, Jeff Dunham? Dunham. Jeff Dunham. But let me tell you something about Jeff He's Dunham. Big. YouTube. He's big. He YouTube has the made fourth, him huge. The yeah, fourth huge. highest. Like he has seventy million hits. On what? His with his shit. fucking. He's the, the biggest. The, uh, Dude, they, the they eat it up. Yeah, big They're it up. They're eating up his YouTube video. You know the number one YouTube video, by the way. You. Nope. <laughs> um, hold on. Uh, uh, Baby Bird. Dance, dance, dance. Nope. The dance video. Dance, dance, dance. Yeah, yeah. yeah the dance, dance revolution. Yeah. Whatever. Well, uh, Avril Lavigne beat that with dance, Who? dance. Avril Lavigne or something like some. Well, Avril Lavigne. Avril, 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 Avril Lavigne. Oh, okay. And she, this guy, a hundred and one million hits. A third of yeah. the country watched this horse shit. Yeah. Well, a few people. A and it's the, times. the Christian, yeah, exactly. the Christian comedy of this asshole doing disco duck. There's and, a new version of that that just came out. And people, what? A new dance, dance revolution, whatever video just popped. My f- my favorite one like that was big was the the, the fat kid singing that yada he yada. I watched that fucking. I never all saw day. it. What is that? It's one? the funniest fucking video ever. Oh, I got. He out. sings a German. Well, I think it's a German disco song. This fat kid, him in front of his webcam, but he knows everything word for word. It's fuck. Oh, I could watch it all day. Oh, let's yada he yada who. Out. We better get out. Ha, ha. <laughs> Bye, everybody. See you tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Bye. Uh...
I joined Twitter, so Opie Radio. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Twitter you today. All right, what's your thing? Uh, my Twitter my is twit. uh, suck my twit. What is it? It's uh, R R K under slash Kelly. Oh, oh no, it's R. Why it's R, so R under slash Kelly. R under slash Kelly. Comedy Central did it for me. All right, Opie Radio on Twitter. And uh, Bye, Patrice, you rule. Let's hear it for Patrice. He did a great job filling in for Ant today. Jimmy, thank you. Robert Kelly, thank you. Uh, oh, the, uh, that Robert Kelly remix as we uh, end the show. Here it is, the one Bobby really likes.